All right, I think we're live. How you guys doing? Hopefully you enjoyed that awkward introduction. And uh, let's get a lobby up. We're going to be opening it with uh, FFA. Of course, the Grima Worm Chunk thumbnail calls for it. And uh, let's do multiplayer, custom lobbies. And yes, we will play the Sigmarites. We'll play the Holy Romans and uh, we'll have a good time doing it. So let's go ahead and create game. And anyone's welcome to join. First come, first serve. We'll do multiple FFA games today. If you make it into one, just don't join another one to give other people a chance. Uh, we might just do three free-for-alls today. We're not sure. So FFA game, uh, turn. All right. There we have it. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and switch it off. And do we want to do like a mega random map? That seems like it could actually be pretty fun. So we got Pyrvik in here. We got Dark Hunter Ezra, Apex, Emperor Jarn, Chris, Ara Pressure, and Melvin. The crew is assembled. We will be on mega random for today. And it will... No, no mad today. Let's just do a standard one. Get it going a little bit quicker so we can get more people involved. All right. How you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. Sigmar bless his ravaged body all day. Yes, we're going to be going Holy Romans, trying to get those relics. Trying to get them big men-at-arms. Hey, don't worry. Your chances of getting in today will be pretty good, considering we will um, we will uh, have multiple games. And if you get in one, you can't join another. So we should be able to get 8, 16, 7, 14, 21. 21 unique players in. I might have also fun. cast a uh, FFA game today, too. All right, I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. We'll start in just a second. Are you ready to battle? Oh, oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. And we got a lot of new faces in today, yes. All right, so looks like we're all good. We have two Holy Romans. Start the game already. Oh my god, look how impatient everyone's getting. Jeez. Okay, wait. Is everybody off a team? Okay, so Melvin... No. You need to not be on a team. Because otherwise, Aura, Pressure, and Melvin would be uh, put on a team. Yeah. That would be pretty funny. I know, gotta get the relics, man. I'm a greedy uh, relic bandit. So, Aura, Pressure, and Melvin, you guys need to switch off teams. There you go. All right. As long as only one person is on there, it should be okay. Look at the delay. Jeez. All right. Yeah, Look. looks like they got Attack it. We're all good. Green player. Yes. Let us get the relics, Precious. Come for us. <laughs> you were once a man of Rohan, Grima. I know. I love it. Look, I think we're just going to do Lord of the Rings thumbnails for every single stream now. It's just my favorite. After we had the Saruman on the last one, I think it just, it's just, it's caught. It's the, it's the way to do it, man. We had Malians. Yeah, Emperor Jarn is going to be playing Malians. Malians are probably my favorite 1v1 sip right now. They're so much fun. Oh my god, my hands are like icicles, dude. They're just so cold. Okay, we got a French, double French, double English. So some really, really strong FFA sips. Obviously French and English. French just build stone and then just at their guild hall and they just build a wonder with like 50 keeps around it. That's basically how French win FFA. English just win by out attritioning everyone and steamrolling you with better units and attack speed and trebuchets and all that kind of stuff. Holy Romans, uh, they got some teeth for sure. They can get really scary armies. Definitely pretty good quality armies. Lord of the Rings is the best franchise out there. Oh, for sure. No, oh, for sure. There, there's some that try, but Lord of the Rings is the, uh, is the champ. Look at that. Is my, am, I, am I the potato today? Have we evolved to uh, ascend to another level of existence where I'm the potato who loads last? Let's see. My computer is from 2016, so it's getting up there. It's six years old. It has had some minor updates since then. I think I updated something. I don't know what, but uh, it's it could definitely use something. <laughs> the Africa-based orc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do him. His. Uh, oh, man. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I, I'll remember it once I uh, wake up a little bit more. Yeah. We have the dreaded English here, or a pressure. Melvin. Ottoman Empire. Ottomans have really good trade. Like, if you're playing against Ottomans and FFA, you pretty much just expect that they're going to be trying to set up, uh, like, a big trade trade network. Because with the Seagate Castle, and uh, they also have the ability to increase their efficiency with speed, I think they get 40% faster, which is pretty nuts, if you really think about it. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, let's grab you. Oh, my God, my hands are literally ice schools right now. I, I'm, like, struggling to click the buttons. One of my neighbors who do you guys uh, do you guys ever like have a neighbor who's always doing construction like always some sort of a project? 
so I have a neighbor who literally just like I don't know what it is with this guy. He's really nice. I like him actually, but he um he's always doing a project. There's always some construction going on. It's like he just can't he just can't chill. There's always like a roof being redone or like some add-on to his house. I don't know, man. I think there was a character like that in Married with Children, wasn't there? Or was that um was that Home Improvement with Tim Allen? I can't remember. Okay, we're actually having a pretty bad run with sheep. Our spawn sucks too. Our spawn blows pretty bad. Yeah, it doesn't seem great. Seven sheep together? Lucky you, dude. I'm like, I found one so far, and I've done a pretty good lap around the base. I know, there's two Holy Romans. We're going to have to scrap for those relics. We're going to have to come for him. He never finishes the projects, though? He, he always just starts them? This guy at least finishes the projects. Yeah. My family was that neighbor. <laughs> at and thanks for becoming a member, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, I don't know what to do about it. It's just like so. There's and it's right outside my window too. My window is um is like bordering their their home. Okay, we might have to just straight up go berry bushes, guys, because we're kind of striking out here a little bit. Oh, I'm having so much fun with age lately for sure. Uh, I'm I'm kind of saving my Total War streaming energy for this weekend because we have the World Championships. That's why I'm not streaming so much Total War this week because this weekend we have the uh, World Championships. All right, little sheep, you're gonna have to make a run for it. Yeah, I think we're straight up gonna have to um, set up berry bushes here. Because we're not finding enough sh enough sheep at the moment. All right, so let's get you. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's going to be less efficient. Hey, thank you, TNT. I'm glad you enjoyed the content, man. So we'll have to see what it looks like in the uh, corner here. Little sheep is like hustling now that he's getting a little bit closer. Hey, finally. Okay, so we got you. We see a relic. Let's just hug the top of the map. So far, we only have one relic. Hopefully, I can get a couple at least. And uh, ideally, we don't want to be too close to the other Holy Roman player. That would be the plan. Okay, we see a second relic, both of which are pretty close to our base. We should be able to secure those ones rather easy. Also a sacred site, one of three sacred sites on the map. And great. So now we just need to cancel this. Grab a couple of you guys. Let's go up here, and we can start on the Aachen, which we'll do right here. And that looks pretty good. All right. So I'm happy with it. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the uh, the Jesus food. We're not going to get the church like reaching the food here. Ideally, if I got enough sheep, I could have just done it to the north side. But really, uh, I don't know where the sheep are at. They're just uh, they're just they're off somewhere in the shadow realm, never to be found again. I can always get another prelate and just have him go down there. Probably what I'm going to do. I'll just do it right now, to be honest. All right. So we haven't found any other players yet, which is weird. How many people are playing in the championship? A lot. It's it's been a big event. Yeah. There's a lot of people. Okay, so we got um, Aura Pressure. We have an English player as our neighbor, which is not good. England can pressure you Feudal. They can pressure you Imperial. They just they don't have any weaknesses, really, in my opinion. All right, so let's go mid, see if we can find any relics. I feel like this is a, gig a gigantic map instead of a large one. Maybe I'm wrong. Not sure. Probably need to get another worker on here if we can. And uh, let's get Fire Chuck down here. He could just chill right there, motivate the food workers, and give us that extra stuff. Yeah, we're striking out. I, I don't think I need pro scouts. I have two berry bushes near us, so that should that should get us where we need to go. It's not it's not the best, but it'll have to do. It'll have to do. Yeah, man. <laughs> Ally Trex needs to be the the Oliphant on the thumbnail. Yeah, for sure, he would definitely be the Oliphant. All right, let's get another house up. Down here you go. Hey, look at that. We're finally finding sheep and relics. Okay, let's go kind of explore over here and see. We're sandwiched, which isn't good. We're probably between two players, I would wager. Okay, house is coming up, so that should uh, be good for us. Can have you turn in, jump on the wood here. We have a green scout, which is the dreaded Melvin. All right. Melvin's here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, another relic. So I think we've spotted four relics. Now that's going to be our goal, is to get those goodies. We're getting to the next age here in just a second, and we'll set up a proper lumber camp to make sure we can get the goods. And let's get you down here. Fire Chuck can go chill there. And the Feudal Age has been reached, so you guys can come down here. And then we can get Fire Chuck jumping in there. You guys turn in and set up your uh, lumber camp right here. All right. I mean, if we don't get anybody over here, that's gonna be pretty sweet. We see a neutral trade post right here too. Yes, we're streaming, man. Life is good. So let's go get the berry bushes, let's get the wheelbarrow. And uh, yeah, now we just try and teleport to the next age. Okay, so we have Chris's back. Chris is going to be on the uh, Ottoman Empire. Oh, it's tricky, man. We're sandwiched. Like, uh, how do we play it? Do we just play, like, hyper-defensive and just hope they don't come after us? I always feel like that's the weak way to play, but I could be wrong. 
Maybe it's just my bro ego. Okay, another relic here. Wow, we actually have a, a really good relic spawn. So we just need to make sure we get to castle before the other players do. And then we can grab the relics, ideally. Uh, what is the big circle in the heart? I'm, I'm not sure it's eBay. I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea, man. All right, go check it out. Don't need more on lumber, really. We'll just kind of switch over to food a little bit harder. Cut you in there. Do this. And this fire tuck can just follow these guys around and motivate them. Aachen is getting our food and gold. So everything right now is technically motivated, which is good. Let's go see what else we could find. All right, get those little berry baskets. I don't know why they, like, got busy all of a sudden. We'll set that up preemptively. Okay, here's orange. So, yeah, that's Chris's... Chris... Yeah, thumbnails. <laughs> he is trading, my lord. I thought you guys would appreciate that. It's a pretty apt meme for the community, for sure. So, if we're going to be going for early relic control, okay, we got a spearman. Oh, wow, there's water on this map? Oh, shit. Okay, somebody's going to be pretty strong. Probably Chris, but like the problem is if I attack Chris, the Malians, not the Malians, but the uh, English to the north are just going to run rampant. You know, there's, there's a lot of like interesting paradigms to this, for sure. I'm going to try and build like orderly houses today, see if we can. You got that picture off? Oh, uh, no, I just, I just Googled it. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I don't think I, I used IMDb. Yeah. Okay, so people are reaching feudal age. We'll be going to castle pretty soon here. Get a single horseman just to get the relics. And uh, not going to build any more horsemen after that. I don't think I need to. All right, cool. So we got the double uh, berry camp. Let's get another fire tuck coming out. That'll be three fire tucks, which we can send to get these relics. And, uh, man, that's always the thing. When you're playing Holy Romans, like, you just have such a hard-on for Castle Age. Well, the relics, I don't think I need to. I mean, these ones in the middle will be contested for sure. But, um, I think I'm okay. Yeah, so we'll go down here. Let's get you motivating. And come down there, buddy. And the other fire truck will pop out there. And now we're just waiting on food, basically. Uh, do we want to go double stable? I don't know if we do. Okay, we found another English player. Oh, okay. That's actually decent. The English players... Oh, is that a bunch of long women? Shit, okay. It's actually good that all the English players are really close together. Because maybe they'll fight each other instead of, like, you know, teaming up against everyone. Okay, he's walling his empire. He's being very conservative. And let's get you going down here. Let's go here to the berry bushes. Now we're just saving up. We're just chilling, man. Life is good. Get a bunch of you guys to do the Regnitz Cathedral. Uh, let's turn in and do the Regnitz. I mean... Whatever, we'll just do it over here. Ah, yeah, that's fine. All right, so Regnus is gonna go down here. You guys move over to the berry bushes here. Fire tuck number one, go here. Fire tuck number two, I can go up here. I think I accidentally grabbed a worker to go with him. Not exactly what we were looking for. And uh, let's get our third fire tuck to go over there and grab this uh, third one. Those are the safest ones. We'll take our horsemen up there as well. All right, so we need to find another food source. Looks like there's one up here. So we'll do that as well. And then we can go ahead and get a couple stables because we're going to want knights. And yeah, we'll just do that for like early map control to get a decent knight army. And then we can switch to barracks after that. Okay, looking okay. Yes. Yeah, inti. Blue, hit red and traitors, not my dock. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of drama going down. This is good. I like this already. And after this, you guys can go up here. Actually, oftentimes it's a pretty good idea to switch into, um... This happened to me last time with HRE. I didn't make any military and I just went straight castle in that uh, FFA tournament and I, we, I just lost because of that. Yeah, it was bad. Some Roost player just like rushed me. I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're rushing in FFAs now. Alright, so a new age begins. One, two, and let's take it back to the Regnitz Cathedral. And we should have someone up here as well. Wasn't there a third one? There was. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's a pretty ideal start. Uh, let's get knights coming out. Yes, please. Get you guys up here. Get the food gathering increase. We're not going to need much on gold, so we could switch most of our income over to food at this point. And now we need to get some knights out and just, like, go real, real ham on that. Yeah, because we're going to get the triple relic here, which is really nice. Okay, do I need a wall? Is there any sort of, like, weird pressure that could be coming? I'm not sure. All right, maybe we're a little bit too heavy duty on the food. Holy shit. Wow, I was not expecting this, I must I must admit. Okay, so let's get the horseman. What the hell is this, like some just random longbow raid? Okay, I guess we gotta go for him, man. Yeah, if he's gonna be raiding our, our lands with these dreaded longbows. All right, let's go up there. We got the relics, which is good. Let's get you guys over here. 
Go chase the longbows. I feel like those longbows were like coming back from some like mission of sorts. So we're going to focus on wood now. It looks like he was just passing by. All right, so let's get you down here, buddy. And uh, yeah, we definitely are going to need some knights. Okay, and then we got our dudes coming. And uh, I think there's two relics in total. All right, so let's get you up here. We just need to stabilize to make sure we don't die to some nonsense now. It's good, so let's set you up like so. The dreaded English longbows have come for us, yeah. All right, so we're going to set up a tower there before we start working that area again. We're going to go for, like, Regnet's food. I might need to um, get a marketplace, too. All right, let's go do a little bit of raiding once we get our next night. We do get the relics. Looks good. Okay, red is trading already. All right, so let's get the relic back. And uh, let's go ahead and run with you. And you can get this relic, buddy, and take it back to the base here. And you guys just head back to the old... Uh, the old... The old church. All right, so let's head up north. Let's go. Let's go, kind of hairy a little bit and see what's going on. We're saving up for farms mostly at the moment, um, and yeah, we're gonna need some towers for the relics to kind of sit in. So we have a couple, but yeah, we we have five relics, which is a very very good start. Is trading? Okay, here's a couple uh, longbows. Let's run them down with our uh, old knights. They should be able to bully those guys pretty hard. I had to yell "red is trading" in all caps just for the meme. <laughs> Red is trading. Yes. All right. Let's uh, chill out and just kind of mass out knights for now. We got you going. We have eight workers here. We just finished, so we need to get onto a proper food source. We got a blacksmith coming up, and uh, we're going to be fighting the old English in the north. Come on, buddy. Drop it off. Okay. Looks good. You guys can do this. Let's just get some farms going here. Our eco kind of sucks a little bit, but we're about to get real crazy in the eco department once we get this like food economy going. All right, let's move back up, attack again, see if we can pick some units. One, two, three, four. The ranged upgrade is on the way. We got the farms going. Drop the relic in here. Uh, he actually has spears mixed in now, so we have to be careful. Yeah, and we we probably should um, also build some men at arms because we're holy romans and that would be silly if we don't all right so we, he he mixed in spear units so we need to switch up our, our army comp now we can't just rely on that like we were let's go put this relic in here get a spring all tower here and a spring tower here we're gonna just be really defensive and really cautious and get this farm economy going all right sigmar will, will prevail maybe i mean you never know man you never know there's there's there are uh, strong players out here. That is a thick English army. Yeah, I don't. That's something you don't like hearing this early in the game. Okay, let's get all the upgrades coming along. We get the men at arms upgrades. Men at arms are pretty good against English in general, I would say. All right, so we got you guys. We could just do men at arms and like knights. It's it's a pretty good comp. All right, so we got the relics dropped off. We now have the penta relic. Let's go up here. I would like to get some people on stone, but we'll wait till Imperial to do that, because my resources honestly aren't great. Okay, so the men-at-arms, we're just going to muster a big army, and then we'll uh, we'll push. We could go Fast Imp, too. Fast Imp is definitely on the table. All right, let's get you here. Set up a tower. We got five relics, which is good. But um, we have been relatively greedy, and our base is exposed on multiple fronts. Red is trading also, but I'm, I'm hoping that... If I, like, go to deal with it, then my situation at home is going to just get bad, right? All right, let's get fire chuck here. Nope, put the relic back in there. Sorry. And we should have a lot of free gold. We don't need to mine much gold, to be honest. We really don't. Food is, like, one of our pressing issues. All right, men at arms, let's go. Let's get up there. Mace upgrades. Let's get the two-handed. And uh, they will be able to give the English men at arms a little bit of trouble, which is nice. So once you finish that tower, we can do this. A couple of you guys go mine some stone. We got the sacreds. We don't need land snakes. Land snakes aren't that good against England because longbows just er eradicate them, basically. Okay, there's a literally a trader like scurrying through my lands. You see that shit? That was weird. It's like just some random, random old trader coming along. Okay, so that English player just got castle age. So the problem is if it gets imp, then they just beat us. Assuming they're of equal skill. Uh, we, we just start to lose the game, basically. All right, so we're going to move up here. Uh, we have the mace upgrade finishing. So let's uh, get the Ramstein going, and we can also get a siege workshop here for some trebs. And we can buy ourselves a keep eventually. Okay, so there's something funky is going on here, so you guys need to do this. Okay. 
So we're moving up to the English base to kind of go explore and see how the fighting's going to go. Yes, yes. Give me more infantry units, precious. Get you go in here. And we are under attack. Okay, so one of our dudes is getting focused. We'll just pull him back to the base so he can get healed. And we can pile in and fight. I think we got him here. From the looks of his army, our army quality is much better. Yeah, we're going to bust through that front line. And then he's got longbows, which are pretty bad against us. Although we might not be able to like straight up kill him right now, right? We're going to need a little bit more um, more units. But that was good. We, we crushed the front line of them. And uh, yeah, overall, looking pretty good. Good micro, though. All right, let's just pull back, gather our units. I feel pretty good about that engagement overall. And uh, now we can get a treb. Pull back. We have you guys. Let's get you on the old wood. Once again, our food economy just sucks. So let's just buy some, I guess. We'll just buy ourselves a good economy if we can't we can't make one naturally. It's the way to do it. And uh, cool, so we got a treb on the way in. We'll get a tower moving up, so we're gonna kind of get the slow, slow push towers going. Pull back the troop reinforcements, just get more men at arms. He should probably switch to crossbows if he really wants to get us. And uh, can we get the second? No, we need Imperial Age for that. Okay. All right, big mace men, let's gather up. Feel, feeling pretty good about this. Let's go ahead and get a tower here to protect our investment. I would like to have a home base keep too. We're actually like surprisingly vulnerable right now. And our food economy should pick up. Yeah, we well, now that we're getting like ample Aachen farm situation, it should be pretty good. All right, let's get you going. Let's get a trebuchet or a mangonel to kill all those archers. And we got a lot of mace men on the way out. And the relics are just giving us all the goodies. But you got to kill the English early. If you don't, if you let it get to late game, dude, you're just gonna you're gonna pay the price. It seems like yeah, our macro is also pretty good. Okay, let's get you. Mace man is chilling there. We're giving the English a taste of their own medicine, moving moving towers up on their borders. Just kind of the kind of the plan. Do we have enough to really break him? Probably, but let's just be safe. Get a tower up first. Get a little spring tower. We'll do a little like kind of push here and here. So let's start trebucheting. Okay, looking good. Here we can go take a fight, and we can get a couple more of you guys to do this. Get more production. Get you guys getting into the villagers. And we'll just keep gathering troops back here for now. And of course, some supply blocks, which is my favorite thing in this game. And great. So we got mace shots getting in there. Let's uh, run some of the guys into his eco. That's uh, that's one of the only ways you're going to beat English, basically, is, is disrupting the eco. And you can see they're running right now, which is good. We got a spring tower here. We got mangoes now. His base is being sieged, which is good. And good, good, yes. Go go get the villagers here. Manganel shooting to the center mass of these archers here. More mace men coming. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's taking big villager damage too. All right, so let's just start going after the houses here. Should be enough. How's our army looking here? Pretty good. Oh, hello, sloppy micro. That's what I get for playing cold. And yeah, in the base we still have these big men at arms just, just crumping a lot of units, which is awesome. Unfortunately, he did get our tower builder here. That's uh, not too good. Get you, get you. Do this. And, uh, yeah, great. Keep pushing. And we can get you guys running over to the farms here. Get a couple of you guys running up to the farms. That's uh, that's typically what you want to be doing when you're playing a really good, like, strong defensive civ like this. You want to just be harrying in this way. All right, so uh, let's get some more farms. And get you going to the farms. Looking good. Mace men. Villagers are going down here. So when you start to idle their villagers is when it, um, when it, the momentum of the battle can shift, right? And you notice we're also taking out the houses. That's uh, that's another big variable as well. All right, so let's get some crossbow tech here. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, a lot of longbows, but we're also in his uh, his wood line here, so you can see they're taking quite a bit of damage. Let's run you back. Gather up the mace boys. Do that and uh, cool, man. Yeah, looking pretty good. And now we're getting that that juicy uh, that juicy economy going. I don't. I never got the uh, the correct uh, the run speed, but yeah, look at that. Oh, he's losing so many bills. That's gonna be hard even for the old OP English to come back from. And that's for sure. All right, crossbows to deal with his armor. Not that we you know are lacking in armor, but it certainly helps. So let's uh, start doing stuff like this. We got to be smart. 
Yeah, and then wall. And wall. We got some mace boys running in on their own due to my lapse in micro, which is okay. But he just lost a lot. I mean, I'd be really shocked if he was able to come back from this. This has been a pretty nasty pressure. Was this Nomad? No, it's not. It's not Nomad. And then, where else do we want? Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Can we set this up? Okay, maybe he set up a wall there. I'm gonna have to see. Hey, Tyler, thank you so much, man. I will uh, I will read that as soon as I uh, stabilize here. I'm playing a, a strong opponent, so I, I don't want to be, uh, you know, going down here. Alright, so let's get in there. Let's push. It's time for Gotham's Reckoning. We're going to go for this and this. It's actually pretty uh, good to take those out. And then I think we still have Spring Towers here. Yeah, we do. I am weak. No, Please Aura Pressure. No. I'm sorry. You just spawned next to me. And you're playing English. If you weren't, pl if he wasn't playing English, I straight up would not have attacked him. So let's get you guys, and then we need to split a couple of these guys to go after the farm uh, up north. Yeah. So we're taking Eco out. You know, that's really how you beat English. If you trade unit for unit, you're going to lose. Straight up. You're, you're going to have a really bad time. We don't even need to mine gold, really. Yeah, a lot of eco going down. He's definitely running out of steam. And what, what what's good about this is we can get um, trade going afterwards, potentially. All right, let's go do some walls here. Yeah, a lot of eco's on the run. Let's get a couple of you guys down here. He's trying to build some archery ranges back there. And crossbows at the ready. Just kind of path those units in. And how's our farm economy looking? Pretty good. Pretty good, honestly. Yep, let's get all the upgrades. Dude, it's it's crazy how well he's holding on, considering. Like, I feel like I feel like it's just been brutal, but... Alright, land snakes, let's go. Turn, I propose a trade. <laughs> oh, no. If, if he wasn't English, I would maybe consider this. But you can't let English players live to late game. They just beat, they'll, they'll, they'll beat you every time. You're just going to lose. Alright, so let's get you guys going after the town center. Let's go after the Manganel. Get a couple of you guys back here, shutting these villagers down. And uh, we need more mace boys. We're Holy Romans, so obviously men at arms is the way. I have a relic? Oh no. If you weren't English, I'd accept. Alright, so are we being attacked here by something? Oh, it's a wolf. Lovely. I was I was actually getting a little bit nervous that it was like an actual uh, an actual creature. All right, let's set a, a keep up on our main base. All right, so let's just uh, if you weren't English, I'd accept. Yeah, we got to take down English. They're just too strong to be left alive. Oh, okay, that explains it. There's uh, some sort of uh, funny business going on here, and it looks like he's cut off my trade. Guy turn is in the base with my. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's go after this. And now we just got to finish the job. Next, we have to secure trade, which means we probably have to go through Chris on the other side. Potentially. Um, we definitely want to just go imp now. So let's grab you guys. Do this. Bring these bills up to this corner. And uh, build it there is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's, that's the I think, the proper game plan here. All right. Okay, so now we go after the last landmark. I don't think he's imp yet. No, he's still Castle Age, but so am I. And what the hell is this? Okay. We got this, like, great wall. Where did he put this wall? Where is his wall? His wall must be right here. Okay, so, uh, where can we build our wall? Oh, we don't have enough stone. That's what it is. Okay. Can we fit it here? Alright. GG. Well played, man. Well played. Sorry, it had to happen. You happen to have a market around here anywhere? Hmm. Alright, we're going up to the corner. Careful, wonder? Is there a wonder happening already? What? No way. There's some there's some villainous wonder play already? That couldn't be true. Alright. So we're going up here. We have a trade post here, which isn't great. Uh, looks like there's a monastery here for my opponent. Let's go see what's up in the true corner of the map. Because we, we our, our base position kind of sucks, to be honest. So we need to be very, very cautious here. All right, so let's get you. All right, so I know the other landmark would be pretty good. Um, but what I'm going to do to kind of just balance that out is I'm just going to build the second TC. So at least we can, you know, increase our eco that way. 
Okay, let's do that. Looking good. Let's get burning oil and whatever upgrades we can. These guys are going to do this, and then they can just go for the tree line here. And now I need to do a little bit of this as well. So let's secure you. One, two, three, four. Looking good. I need to definitely mine some stone also if I can. Yeah, there's still stone nodes. Okay, there's a little bit of stone action up here. Let's grab you. I could just keep buying it with gold, but that's obviously not the most efficient, right? So we have a good standing army. We have pretty good macro, I would say. And this trade post is what I want. Granted, this one isn't, like, too bad either. Yeah, but, like, I can't just let him have that. He says, careful wonder. Okay, so he's saying there's some sort of a wonder going down. Mace men. Let's get elite army tactics. We want our boys to be as strong and jacked as possible. These holy Romans eat their, uh, they eat their Wheaties. All right, looking good. Outstanding. And, uh, yeah, we want that. So let's just start knocking on Heaven's door here. And we'll go build a little gatehouse here. And then we will build one on the other side as well. Cool. So we're going to just start knocking here, seeing, seeing what happens. Playing it by ear. We probably want to start mining gold again, too. <laughs> we're relying just on relics right now, which is fine. But you guys need to turn in. Let's go up here. Jump on that gold node. My only regret was not having the mask to kill you off, Blue, says Emperor Jarno. Oh, it looks like there's some some spice going on here, huh? So we're in the ruins of a fallen empire, which is very, very good cover. Very good cover. But, you know, Holy Roman relics are good, but it's not necessarily, like, going to handle you completely. Sometimes you're going to need other sources of gold as well. Uh, he had a relic, but he hid it in his town, one of his landmarks, and then when he died, it, it takes it with it. It's it's like a like a spite tactic, basically. Um, he was trying to negotiate with me, to be fair. Seems like a great guy. But he was trying to negotiate, like trying to get me to stop killing him for a relic. But he, if he was... He's playing England, so um, I don't have a choice. Oh, Emperor Jaren is dead? Oh, wow, okay. The Emperor has fallen this day, it would seem. All right, let's go over here. Set up all you guys, do this. And we need to just keep hammering this wall down, because otherwise the trade post will just never be ours. Okay, so let's get you up here on the gold. Get eco upgrades, we want to get the food upgrades. I think our food economy is pretty sweet. Probably want to get another prelate to just stand there and motivate. Workers coming over to build this. Let's get the food. And uh, let's get walls. Uh-huh. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get these walls going. It's kind of a weird, a weird map spawn, honestly. It's very strange. Okay, Friar Tuck, let's get you standing up here. Hand cannoneers. We've knocked down the walls. Let's just kind of... I don't want to, like, blitz through quite yet until we can actually secure it. All right, so let me get you guys hustling down here. Going to have to save up. All right, so we'll start on some traders. And we'll build a keep there. He's, he's guarding my trade post, dude. He's wondering why I'm here, but, you know, I'm here for the goodies. We only have 91 eco at the moment. He says peace, Red. <laughs> he says peace, Red. All right. So let's just knock down this wall here. I love that, like, I love my favorite thing is when people ask for peace, like, right when they're threatened by something else. It's hilarious. I do it, too. Obviously, it's a tactic, but it's just the, the nature of it is funny, you know. Um, all right. So we got walls. We're kind of secure. We need to secure this open opening here. All right, so let's get that. Trying to knock these uh, these old heavens doors down. We need to make way for our traders. It must happen. All right, team, let's go. How are we looking? And I don't know if there's a way through here, but let's just do that to be safe. Uh huh. And uh, do we want to do something here? Can we? There we go. All right, so we're st starting to get a little bit of safety and security. Let's see what he looks like here. Come on, Trebuchet. Knock it down. Alright, so let's just rally reinforcements in here. And just keep knocking down these walls. I just want your trade post, homie. And your life. Alright. Let's keep going. Traders, why not? Let's go see what his base looks like. Oh, that's a good army, holy shit. Yeah, no, that army is pretty strong, actually. I'm gonna need, like, mangoes to kill that force. Uh, oh, those are Janissaries. Okay, they're not as scary as Streltsy. For some reason, I thought those were Streltsy, and I, I, I got a little bit nervous. 
He's got a good army here, for sure. He's got a lot of firepower. He's got artillery shooting. It's not going to be great for us to fight here, 100%. Okay, let's gather up. Yeah, we could probably take it in open field, but in a choke point, it's going to be very bad for us. So let's go around the back here. Yeah, you can see those mangoes are just doing brutal damage. All right, let's get you guns up on the walls, pull back. He's trading pretty happily here. So let's uh, run those guys back, see if we can disrupt the trade at all. He's pretty, he must be strong, he's trading. Yeah, we got guns up on the walls, which is awesome. And uh, mangoes on their way in. How are we doing back here? Nah, okay. So his, his gun line needs, we need something to deal with that for sure. Our traders here are just gonna have to go to the Haggard trade post for now. All right, gather up back here, team. Let's get basic archers, men at arms, land snakes, I think are gonna be necessary too. And uh, we might need to even build a keep here. Shit, he's, he's got like a, a pretty scary, scary quality army. Yeah, knights, janissaries. We need our traders to go here. So let's just queue that up here. So we're gonna have to do some in-base trading right now. Oh shit, is there just a straight up an opening here? That's not good. Oh god, okay. Let's get this going here. Do that, keep attacking. Hopefully we can just cut down these reinforcements here. And uh, we need to get the mango shooting into the Janissaries. Come on, get a shot in there. Okay, keeps coming up. Regnitz Cathedral is very vulnerable right now. But we're making progress back against the army. Nice, nice shot there. We got that going. The trade, the keep is done, so we got to keep up. That should, you know, blunt the pressure, I, I, I dare say. Okay. We need you guys to get back here with the mangoes. They kind of came in at a bit of a wrong angle, to be honest. All right, let's gather our troops back here. Oh, man, he, he's strong from this trade, guys. He's very strong. Okay, we have our keep, though. Hopefully that can that can do something. He's actually coming pretty hard in the paint. The traders need to go up here. And uh, we need to get you coming here with cannons, perhaps. Let's just continue to try and stabilize here. Land snakes will be theoretically okay. It's hard to say. Uh, the fact that Regnitz is that is is like this is not good. Okay, we need to get our prelates down here and start grabbing the relics out of Regnitz. Because if we lose the relics, we pretty much lose to him. Orange is really strong, dude. He must be trading like an absolute middle linebacker here. Okay, let's get you guys to rush up. Okay. Let's fend off these guys. And Friar Chuck needs to come grab relics. Dude, he is jacked. Holy shit. Who's been, what, is, what have they been feeding him in school? Okay, we only have two relics now. Thankfully, we still have like trade and other other stuff going on as well. Okay, let's do this. And uh, get a little bit of stone as well. Build that down there to try and stabilize. And we just need to get like a big enough force to repel this somehow. Oh my god, he, he is just loaded. Okay, I guess he's got mass crossbows too though, to be fair. That's part of it. So we probably have to switch our army comp up. Okay, let's get you guys to just hammer these berry bushes down. Give us a little bit of food for now. And uh, keeps. We buy this. Get cannon towers. Holy. Holy shit. Orange is strong. Dude, he's so strong. He's, he's so powerful. He's got so much shit. Oh my god. I'm going to have to just retreat. And just let him have this base. He must be trading like a heathen king. I think that's what it is. Dude, he's got like just a loaded army. Oh my god. Okay, can we get this keep done? Can we get it up? Okay, there we go. So what we probably do at this point, honestly... Oh, lovely. Okay, guys, well, I, I would have died anyways. Yeah, I'm being 2v1'd here, so I gotta, I gotta run up to the corner, I think, and, and just get there. Okay, so let's get you guys. Let's get you guys. 2v1 at the moment. I am dead. English, green, and orange 2v1. All right. So we just have to report to the world what's going down here. Unfortunately, it looks like most of our relics will be lost. Um, there was a small chance we could stabilize against this, but now that the English are attacking us with mass trebs... Yeah, look at this, guys. There's a lot. There's a lot coming for us. Okay, so we need to go fall back to the Ellsback Palace and just hope that this could be our, our like Bastion landmark. Okay, okay. Holy shit! We got this guy, we got a trebuchet player over here. Yeah, it's a pretty shitty spawn, but it's, it's part of it, guys. It's the nature of the beast, you know? Oh my god, look at this! It's crazy shit! Alright, so what do we do here, guys? I guess we get a... 
with what little gold we have left, we get another TC. We just build that, like here. I'm basically toast. I have to just Palpatine in the corner and just hope I can somehow survive. All right, let's get fr saving Friar Tuck. Let's see if he can make a Mission Impossible run with the relics down here. Go drop it in this keep. Come on! Okay, he's not going to make it, that's for sure. See, this is why you build a corner landmark, though. Because when you have a bad spawn like that, you could just get plowed. I felt like my resources were going down for some reason. I didn't understand why. I think it was because I was being attacked by the English on the other side. Like, I felt like some of my reinforcements weren't making it to the front line against Orange. I think it's because England was straight up killing production buildings on the other side. Well, at least they're going to meet each other now. They will, uh, they will, they could be best friends. Yeah, so hopefully England just gets a hard on and fights the, uh, fights the, uh, the Ottomans here. We'll see. And maybe some of the relics here are salvageable. We do have two prelates up here. Maybe they can go grab some after, after these two have fun fighting over the scraps of my base. Okay, let's get these walls up. And can we get these walls here? We need to finish off these deer. Okay. We're just going to grab whatever we can, man. And uh, we can set up farm economy in the ruins of the old English base. Yeah, the relic in Ellsback would be nice. It's not going to be easy to get a relic back, though, after this, this fiasco here. We're going to try, though. All right, so we're going to get you. And he's going to go mission. Unfortunately, green might know where we are because of this. Um, so, yeah, we could just be in straight up danger here. What other, where are there, yeah, there are relics here as well. Okay, strangely they stopped fighting. It looks like they might have scared each other off, which is pretty funny. We still have most of our eco, but getting our main base back is going to be tough. All right, let's get you up here, and uh, let's go scavenge the relics. We have to be like a little scavenger bird here, and let's grab a bunch of you guys. Oh, men-at-arms coming up here, okay. So we need to actually run back to our main base and start repairing a bunch of stuff, although the English are still kind of just trundling over there. I mean, Elsback will be able to kill these guys, but I, I just am concerned it'll bring the wrath of his full army here. All right, so let's get you up to the top of the map. Yeah, Elsback is going to be able to kill them for sure. And, uh, nope, Orange is still there. He's still chilling. We did manage to get two relics out of it, though. So let's, uh, let's go, like, here, 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 here. And I got these vills coming. I just need to repair landmarks to try not to die, basically. Because I don't know if the English will pull their full efforts to try and wipe me out here now. Okay, so we're going to go try and repair some of these bad boys. Kind of you guys just mine a little bit of gold here, whatever. And you can go up here. Yeah, it looks like they want to kill. Alright, so you guys need to just hustle back to the main base. This legion comes down here, and uh, what landmarks could we possibly repair safely? It seems like they have a hard on. Okay, do we have any other palaces? down here. It looks like a couple horsemen have done it. There's a keep there. Yell's back is going to get hit hard for sure. I don't know if we're going to even be able to get a relic to that. All right, guys, we're moving down here. Yeah, he knows where my base is. They definitely know. All right, we're going to go after the Aachen Chapel and just... Uh, it's in, within range of a keep, though, is the problem. And I can't, I can't really, like... Yeah, I guess we have to try and repair this one. Just to, so as to not die, unless he's got like big bombardos over there. Okay, so we're getting some repairs. It's not going super hot. I think we got to creep down here and see what's going on. Holy shit. They definitely have a hard on. I don't think any of my other landmarks are in good spots, sadly. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. Maybe this is our only bet, is to just desperation repair this, because the Trebs are going to get in there and, uh, yeah, they're going to kill that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, we just literally have to do this, I think, guys. We just have to, like, literally sacrifice our whole eco just to get, like, a little bit of repair action going. All right, are we going to get it repaired in time so we don't just die to the Trebs, maybe? Elsback is very hardy, but... All right, we almost got it. We just sacrificed, like, 30 villagers to just survive for a moment longer. Okay, so we're not going to insta-die here. Uh, we have a keep fending these guys off. I think the relic didn't quite make it. No, it didn't. Okay. And yeah, we'll see if Orange wants to go for the kill here. We'll set up some towers here. Why the hell not? Elsback is going to go down to the English. I just have to try and survive and hope other people start fighting. Yeah, maybe, maybe he'll lose interest here. All right, let's get a cannon tower there. 
We're setting up towers here to try and protect this. Aye, aye, aye. The, that spawn was rough. Yeah, no, we well, we killed one player. We killed one English player, but then there was another Imperial English player and a, and a fully trading um, Ottoman player who just steamrolled us, like, together, yeah. Ruined our chances of survival, that's for damn sure. Okay, so the Keep should be able to fight these guys off. We do have Vils coming back. I'm going to have to constantly repair this, also the TC. Hopefully Orange will just get excited and do stuff elsewhere. Obviously this isn't great, but it is what it is. We gotta just we gotta just build defenses here and keep an eye on this building. Looks like those knights have pulled back. We have farms to work too. We do have farms to work, but we have like no gold income right now. Uh let's do this. Hopefully they just don't perceive me as a threat anymore, which is I mean look, to be completely honest, I'm definitely not a threat right now. Okay, do we wanna mine this? Can we? Okay, so we're going to grab a little bit of stone. We have these towers, which we can upgrade at some point or other. Build a base inside of Blue's base? Yeah. Oh, God. It's flee. Okay, I need to go north and repair my uh, L's back now. We'll leave. We have some bills nearby. You could just have it, dude. I, 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 there's nothing I want here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's like keeps and towers and shit everywhere, dude. Okay, at least we have bills coming out there. We have no food at the moment. Green is just building a wall here, which is interesting. We're going to try and sneak some bills back. I feel like nobody is attacking him. Yeah, I feel like nobody's doing anything. All right, let's go after this. Green is buying stone. Yeah, okay, this is good. See, the other players need to get their shit together and start, you know, working against the evil villains. Okay, so we're, we're getting our way back in. We don't have emergency repairs here. Let's get... Can we repair that without getting sniped? I don't think so. Come on, villagers! You can cast the FFA if I die. I'd probably just start another one, to be honest. Yeah, because uh, it would take me a while to catch up to the live state of the game. So, Okay. He's got his little walls here, which is cute. And we are doing this at the moment. We're getting our, our eco going again. The, the rat in the north is, is scrapping. Okay, is there any way to get past these walls? Oh, shit. Yeah, lovely. Sure as hell doesn't look like it. Okay. And, yeah, he's he is just fervently guarding that last landmark. That's shocking. Okay, that was weird. He just, like, ran right past me. Strange. Okay, so maybe our best bet is in the base. Well, you'd have to knock down Orange's keep there, but that's not going to be uh, that's not gonna be easy. We're going to have to repair that eventually. Can we go through here? Is there any way to squeak past this? Ah! Vengeance! Get your daggers out! Oh no! Go villagers! Do these English, do these English troops just have nothing else going on? Doesn't look like it. There's no other wars they're fighting or anything? Oh, I actually get some stone back right now. This is nice. I, I had some walls, so that's going to refund me a little bit of stone. And then we'll just kind of hustle back to the main base here. Unfortunately, this keep's not in the best position. And uh, is there any relics laying around? I think all the relics have been picked clean, sadly. So we'll just go to the middle and see if we can get any resources there. Yeah, that's the problem with two English players spawning near you. You know they're going to be they're going to be pretty tyrannical. And you kill one, but then the other one's waiting for you. Okay, let's do this. I mean, unfortunately, this maybe brings his attention back to me here. Um, Regnitz is in a pretty bad spot, too. I might be able to get that, to get the Regnitz Cathedral, maybe. Let's sell some wood and get, like, a treb. I'm going to get two trebs and try and just knock down this keep to get my landmarks back, but it's looking pretty bleak. I can go work these farms up here. And uh, we can also cut you. And then we need to sell a little bit more wood. Sell some stone too and get a prelate. We're surviving, man. We're surviving. It's not pretty, but we're, we're doing our best. All right, so Treb's on the way out. Is there any way we get towers here? Not really. It's mainly just for the workers. Uh, I don't think he has an arrow slate here. So, yep, we're, we're farming. We're back in business, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe someone, uh, someone else will get karate chopped here. I'm going to wait till I have a couple trebs to try and knock this down. 
Hopefully Orange is like busy fighting someone else. You know, that's the dream. All right, so food is back online. We somehow survived, just barely. I don't know how. And uh, I, I guess at this point, what you would probably do is just mass horsemen. Or, I mean, you could mass spearmen, but it's all pretty jank, to be honest. Yeah, this needs to get some repairs. I, I think this villager will get shot while repairing it. Yeah, see. So we're going to have to wait for it to get damaged and then drop like a fat repair on it. Okay, so this wall's not doing a whole lot. Okay, the only issue with this is, is it's going to incur the wrath of... Let's cancel this, cancel this. It's going to incur the wrath of Orange, maybe. Like, right now, Orange kind of, like, I think forgot that I existed. But, yeah. I don't, man, I didn't even get my spears upgraded yet. Horsemen would be the best thing to spam, for sure. Worsemen, as they say. Because Worsemen can actually dive artillery and, like, save situations. So let's get um, let's get these stables going and just try and get, like, a Horseman Legion. It, it's our best bet. And uh, do we have Friar Chuck up here? I know we have one back here. So Friar Chuck needs to go motivate these guys. We got Trebs. No. No. Be gone. Am I going to have to just, like, make men-at-arms? Oh, God. I don't like that he's, like, coming over here with some rams. However, we do have a keep coming up, so that's good. Orange is, like, he's consciously building towers around me. So he knows that I'm still alive here. Okay, horsemen. Did they ever get them upgraded? No, not quite. He's got rams coming in. I think he's just like scouting with the rams. I'm not sure. Okay, let's get the horseman upgraded there. Here, I have to type this. I have to play the Palpatine. I am weak. Please don't kill me. Okay. There we go. Oh, he was just on his way through. He was just passing. Okay, that's good. That's good. He was just on, on the way through the neighborhood. A smart idea. He, sa he, says I'll, uh, he says he's letting me... He's not coming to kill me because he knows the English will have to kill me first. So it's like a buffer. Oh my god, that's so funny. Well, I'll, uh, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, beggars can't be choosers, man. Uh, missed the time you too. Just watched the Italian Spartacus' it's new Dark Ted video. Missed the time you hosted a turn. Yeah, those were fun. Oh, he actually destroyed the keep there. Interesting. So we'll uh, we'll take this down and uh, he is he is using me to like be a meat shield against the English, which is pretty damn funny actually. Yeah, unfortunately there's like not a whole lot of resources to work with around here, but yes, good, good brother. All right, so let's go repair this. The poor Regnitz Cathedral. I'm so sad that all the relics were taken from me. That just bumps me out. Okay, what can you do, man? What can you do? And you guys just come work these farms up here. I'm just knocking down all the towers and random shits in my base here. Okay, let's delete this. I'm the buffer, dude. Yeah, he, well, like, if the English want to come, you know, they're going to have to go through me. <laughs> Which is true. It would, like, it would, it would stall them a couple minutes. Like, I would dive their artillery, kill some of that, slow them down. Yeah, I'm I'm the I'm the sacrificial buffer, which I'm totally down to play that role. Cuz it means I get to live longer and get to keep trying, which is what I what I'm all about. Okay, so we're going to like try and knock some of this shit down. Okay, let's go ahead and repair this. We actually have a decent little farm economy now, which is great. Let's get into the prelate. And that's coming up, and Regnitz is, is going to be tricky. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have biology, which is unfortunate. Um, I could work on getting that, but we need to get some gold income by going again. There's just a random prelate sitting in my base. I wonder where all my relics rent, like who has them. Yeah, I don't know. An idea for another day. I definitely want to get the biology upgrade, though. That's going to be, like, one of the first things I get when I get my gold back online, if I'm able to. Um, I think most of the gold has been poached. This one might be here. It might be there. It looks like green was chilling there. We could go incur the Wrath of England again. Let's do that. That seems like a really good idea. Let's just take a bunch of horsemen down there and see what's going on. Okay. 
Yeah, you going. The Worstmen. I think they're fully upgraded in terms of damage capabilities. Let's go do a little bit of raiding now. Yes, prepare the horde. We will. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm happy with this. I am down. So grab whatever scraps I can. So see, the stronger nations are fighting while the rat in the corner grows strong. Yes. I like how there's just a wall. Just a great wall keeping me here. I need that uh, I need that sacred site so I can get a little bit of gold, though. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, okay. No, I didn't mean it. I don't want that gold. I don't want to draw the ire of another powerful nation. Okay, let's just kill these units. This is always like you... This is like the... This is like the I'm losing build when people start spamming horsemen. Oh, God. Really? No! Why would you come after me? Aren't you in some big war down there? No! Anakin! He's trading, my lord. <laughs> I'm down to chilling here, dude. How does he know? How does Red know that I'm suffering? I guess I said I was being 2v1, but... Yeah, I'm not sure how he knows that. Okay. Yeah, so he's trading here, see? We're gonna get our mass horsemen. We're knocking down the walls. I need some trade, too. I need the scraps. That's what I'm here for, dude. If somebody killed green, that would be, like, the best situation, hands down. I think our food is okay at this point. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, we might have poked the hornet too much. I don't think my guys can handle those. I don't know where those elite knights are going. Yeah, our guys are fully upgraded except uh, biology. We don't have biology. Okay, at least our trebuchets were allowed to live. That's nice. Uh, I would like to get some dudes repairing the regnants now, too. That would be really good. All right, guys. No, I know. Orange said he wasn't coming after me because he wants to use me as a buffer against England, which uh, makes sense. It's actually not a terrible play. Because knowing I'm denied gold and every other valuable resource, it's kind of like, okay, could be worse. We're just trying to get our villager numbers back up with our double TC. Okay. Uh, let's grab a bunch of you guys. Come back down here, see if we can get on this red. This gold. We're going. I mean, there is a fair amount of gold in the middle. Dark Hunter Ezra must be pretty strong. Orange vassalized me. Yeah, he tried to. Thing is, I'm not his vassal. I'm, I'm not going to work with him. I'm not going to, you know, bite something that could kill me, but... Vassal means I have to just declare my fealty to him, which is not going to happen. I refuse to do it, ever. He can choose to let me live if he wants, but it's, uh, you know... He could get backstabbed at any time if I see an opportunity. Oh my god, Red. You need to calm down here. Okay, his cannons... He's, he's killing the English, which I'm actually very down for. Okay, so maybe I should just chill back here while he kills the English. Okay. Let's get you guys. Build some more houses. Let's go. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm in between here. We could definitely, we could definitely probably landmark snipe someone with enough horsemen. So we have a lot of these bad boys. University's coming up. No passive gold whatsoever. Oh, I already have a uni. Okay. Uh, biology is 700 gold, which is just not going to happen anytime soon. Regnus is being repaired, but I don't have any relics. Okay. Hmm. A lot of elite knights. Looks like he's coming to fight red, maybe? I'm going to keep trying for that gold vein. It's going to be mine one day. You just wait. Okay, let's get you guys. He's coming through my base. He says, peace, Red. Look at him. He's trying to get peace with Red. What is this shit? <laughs> do I have any resources around? Oh, I do have... Oh, yeah, baby. A stone node in my base. That means I could get a keep. Okay. Let's get more horsemen. No, I don't need to dive red because I want I want red to kill green. Because if green dies, there's a chance I could get my L's back, palace back, up in the north. You know, I could I could get a little bit of love and go in there. As a matter of fact, let's go start knocking down some of green's shit here, like his walls, so I can like creep through. We'll take our horsemen back up there because if I get L's back, then I can they might not notice me in the corner, right? That's that's like the dream situation. 
in the so we're going to take our Unholy Legion of Horsemen and move up there. We have all these, which is fun. And, uh, yeah, biology is a ways off. All right, team, let's go. Orange out there playing like it's paired. Orange is very strong, for sure. We saw his... Dude, Ottomans, if you let them trade, they're just going to steamroll you. They, like, they, the amount of money they get. That's how uh, one of the recent FFA tournaments was won. Setting up a market here. Red was. Okay, so let's knock this down. Okay. Looking good. Let's knock this down. No, bad keep. Okay. Let's go up here, actually. Green, uh, green. We need to get the Ellsback Palace back. That's like our haggard safety net, you know what I'm saying? What's great about playing like a rat like we are now is that like we just don't really care too much about the world events. We need to go for Red's trade. There you go. Look at this. You're having to get like 210k. K Dude, Ottoman trade is pretty gross. I'm just moving through. Don't mind me. I'm just going to get my L's back here. Did I see the message from Red? Uh, no. What did he say? What does he want? Does, does he have some scheme or something? I, I really don't care. I'm just trying to survive. Okay. So Orange probably thinks I'm attacking the English, which I kind of am. Not really going all in on it or anything, but, you know. Yeah, Blue is going ham here. My Haggard Empire will endure. So we need to get you guys going. And then what we need is to pull a bunch of Vils. So one, two, uh, three. And get them to repair the Ls back. Because I think Green is too busy trolling. Trolling in war there. All right, cool. So the Vils will repair it, and then we can get that back online. Then we have like a safety landmark in the corners. Is basically what we want. Dude, Ottoman trading is gnarly, dude. It's it's serious. Okay, let's get Max out Horseman. He was building a market for me to trade with? Uh, yes, I think he was setting up his own trade. I don't think uh, there were altruistic intentions there. Based on what I could see. Okay. So now we get you guys back up here. We go repair the L's back. Go, my minions. No, no, no. Uh, we can start just knocking down Green's walls here. And let's go north and just make sure we get this back. I could backstab the English base here too, which would be pretty funny. Um, do we want to keep here? I don't think so. Kill that scout, I guess. That was this. Red's trade is insane? Yeah, no kidding, dude. No kidding, my friend. This is known Khaleesi. Okay, he's, he's attacking me with the scout. We'll prison shank him with our worker. Okay. All right. We got the... We got the... We're still alive, baby. We still got it. All right, let's get these up here. Let's just knock down all these walls. It's going to take a while, but then we can replace it with our own walls. And uh, cool, man. So that's a that's a big win for us. Although, I think we have more important things to do with the Trebs. What we need to do is secure our own trade, really. If we could get some trade going, maybe we wouldn't be, like, so terrible right now. Okay, so we got, like, basically all of our landmarks back, guys. We survived! We actually have an economy of sorts. It's not much, but it's something. Uh-oh. What is he doing here? What is he doing? Does he want to fight? Is that what's going on? Is he going for L's back? I have no idea what he's doing with these knights. Where's the English main base? West. It's green. It's where green is. Yeah. Okay. I think I think he's just chilling. So we're just going to clear out all this, this game here and just do that. In the meantime, let's get the trebuchets back. We can do this and set up this. Hmm. I think it might not be a bad idea to set this up here. Yeah, that seems good. Because that, like, that farm eco is like all we really got. I have a grudge to satisfy. Um, I'm not like a grudge player. I don't really get into blood feuds. It happened. It's happened to me a couple times, but typically it's like, it's not that I want to kill the player. It's that I just get hyper focused on trading, and uh, you know, 
Okay, so we're gonna go torch this down. We need to protect our, our wood reserves. Just 105 horsemen. We could definitely do some nasty damage if somebody let us in their base. They're just like, hey man, come on in. You know, come, come, come visit. Let us share, uh, share food and drink. Okay, we're gonna get biology here. All right. We could definitely do some brutal damage, is what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. Orange is just trading like a heathen king here. And uh, we need to take down this keep. So we can trade also. And that's basically that. Okay. Um, we have enough here. So we're knocking down Orange's keep. It's our only way to get back in the game. This we have to, we have to, okay, you guys need to get back on the farms. Looks good. Back to the farming you go. We're cleaning out all this food eco here so we can build walls around our ales back. So it doesn't just die to some random knights. Yeah, maybe he'll let me trade. I don't know. He doesn't have to. I'm happy to fight for it. I actually have a very annoying army now. Like, I could go raiding. I could do a lot of annoying stuff. All right. So for some reason, that wasn't getting back online, but now it is. It's good. And then we need to do this. So we need to get, like, a trade post going here. So that's nice. We got that keep. And uh, looks like we have a, a route with which they can go. Let's go kill that tower. Because I would imagine he's he's busy fighting bigger fish. Right? And even if my main base gets steamrolled, I now have this little rat's nest in the corner. So I can fall back to that. Alright, let's clear these guys out. Looks like, yeah, okay, he's coming with his bombards. Alright. He's going to be back. He's going to be like, how many times must I teach you this lesson, old man? Alright, so we need to just knock this down. Boom, boom. Like so. And, uh, yeah, just go clear this out. So we can start trading resources to try and get some gold. It's all we really got, man. You know, we'll make some traders have them just chill out there. A lot of horsemen. A lot of horsemen. It's like a random knight chilling there. A little keep up on the hill. I don't know why these trebs are moving in that pattern, but it's okay. They should be able to see that gatehouse, yeah. Cool. He might come and try and kill me again. I don't know. English has a lot... Okay, it looks like he's busy fighting the English. Which is good. Just let the rat live. Let the rat feast. Alright, let's get the guy motivating here. Trying to get my trade going. Uh, definitely have a lot of horsemen. Okay, we can we got We can actually defend our landmark now with the pure Zerg of Doom. Okay, the walls obviously don't light on fire. It's coming after some of my landmarks, which is pretty funny. One more shot. Come on. You can do it. Okay, see, so he's actually committing to attacking. I can't quite tell. Okay, so we took that down. Let's bring the Trebs back here, and back here, and. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Zerg! Just a million shitty units. Just, uh. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to flee now, but it's too late. Oh no! Villagers! Are they torching? Or are they... Oh, they're not torching. Okay. Look how long it takes my knights to kill that shit. It's hilarious. Okay, we need to get this up on the hill. Red is in the middle of trade. I just don't care. I just can't help at all. I'm just trying to survive. We definitely have like the Walmart Rohirrim, just like the crappy Rohirrim. Literally no other source of freaking gold other than just trading resources inefficiently. OJ arguably has better trade. Look at them. I like this. There's a little bit of infighting going on, which is good. Okay, let's get the Trebs. Go here. I don't want to get burning oil, so we're going to hang out. Uh, is there any other trade around that I could work with? I think it's literally just this one. Yeah, he's probably rebuilding the walls there. Alright, so we're knocking down all the keeps, which is good. Hopefully they'll continue shooting. We got you guys. Let's delete you. Get some more traders going. Looks good. We'll eventually have a legion of them. <laughs> Time the rats are. Yes. He, he says, is it time for battle? If you wish. <laughs> Just trying to secure my base. He can, he, can, uh, he can attack me if he wants. 
It's up to him if he wants to, uh, you know, deal with the Haggard Horseman Legion. <laughs> Alright, I think we had some bills up here as well that were standing idle. Okay, what can you guys do? Berry bushes! Did we kill the keep? No, we didn't. Lovely. I lost line of sight. That's the annoying thing about these, like, positions on the hill. He literally has a keep in my base, and he's wondering why I'm killing it. I can't be kept in a cage. Oh, we got burning oil a little bit, so let's just pull back. We just hold there to keep vision. I also need to cut some supply, too, so this works. Okay, looking good. Keep those bombards going, ladies and gentlemen. Got 14 bills here. And that one should be going down in a second. Freeing up a little bit of supply. He's helping us out. Yeah, you can use target ground. I always forget about that. If the line of sight, it's it's definitely one of the big flaws in my game. All right. So now we need to go up here. Very cool. So we got the horsemen. Let's grab you guys. Set up some bombards. And we need to get our walls back if possible. Doesn't look like it's possible here, actually. So maybe we have to do something like this. Yeah, there's all these like weird ruined buildings here that are kind of screwing it up. That actually works. That actually works just fine. Cool. So that'll wall that out. Now we need to go up here. And we need to... Um, how much is he getting? He's only getting 165. You have that weird tower over there, too. We need to go hunt that down. I'm not looking to, like, base snipe him or anything. I don't know. He shouldn't be listening to the stream, but, you know, obviously he could if he wanted the truth of that. Okay, let's get more of you guys. I'm more or less just looking to secure my lands here. And get a little bit of eco going so I can be a player in this game. Turn rebelling against the Overlord? Always, dude. Never, never say die. Alright, so looks like we got that going. He, I'm actually, uh, you know what? I'm actually not even going to try and shut down his trade. I'm not. I'm just going to try and get my own going. And uh, then we're chilling. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted. It's a nice little trade route here. We can go after this. I don't need to kill his trade. You know, I, I think he's working towards my interests of like killing other stronger players. And now we have the uh, trade legion coming too. It's it's a crappy trade route, but it's better than nothing for sure. At least it'll give me some gold. And uh, you guys are on the berry bushes, which is outstanding. He's got all his walls here. Set up a gatehouse here. And we'll see. Yeah, maybe I'm allowed to have my trade. Whatever, if something threatens me, my game plan is to um, use the classic rat tactic of just like like breaking a hole in their base and just running around with 100 horsemen. That's that's the plan. That's our that's our only deterrent against the uh, the great invaders. But now we're gonna get some gold, which is good. We got our landmarks, no relics. Hmm. Yes, my minions feast! Give me the 56 gold, yes! Yes, my minions. That's such a crappy trade route, though. This would be the primetime one down here. He really doesn't even have that much trade. I've only seen... He doesn't have a high density of traders. Oh, there's a couple. So who's in the game still? Like, we could go after orange. Push red, everyone. You see, he's, he's probably busy fighting red right now. He's almost down. Okay. Hmm, maybe I gotta work with that intel, actually. Maybe I gotta work with that intel. So let's come here, here, and here. I, I kind of just have to believe it at this point. I don't really have much of a choice. Okay. Selling some resources. Sell the resources, baby. Sell the food. Sell that Holy Roman food, and then we delete a bunch of bills and just replace them with traders. Red's a cool dude, he says. Oh my god, that's funny. Alright. So, you guys, is there any other food we want to hit? I guess we could just hit this. Maybe that maybe that resource in the middle is open now. Maybe we can go grab some gold and be greedy. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. We, we are the rat in the corner. We are. Truly. We truly are, my friend. Alright, where's our traps at? They're on their way. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. All right. Well, we could build a we could build a cannon and just bombard them down. Now that we actually have some gold income, we can we can. Uh, is this a good trade post? No, I don't think it's any more opportune. 
Okay. So let's just move here and then do this. Oh no! How dare you! Look at this shit! Oh my god, my horsemen aren't even elite! They're like, like potato age horsemen. Oh god. Okay, is he like trying to shut me down here? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, guys, back back north you go. Back north you go. He says chill. Dark Hunter Ezra's wonder. Was going for green. I don't know about that. Gotta go all in on red now, that's true. Red does have a wonder. So we need to, I can't really help here. I'm just gonna, there's a bunch of really powerful players. So this is like where we have to bank on the rat tactics. Yeah, we get our trade going again. Looks like our trade's mostly alive. Which is good. We're knocking down walls because I don't like them. So we'll knock down all these walls here. It's going to take a, a hot minute. we got to bombard. So let's start taking all this down. See if we can secure these, these resources here. Okay. Cool. I can go help in the middle a little bit. Our horsemen are now going to be elite. So it's time. It's real. This is my chance to get the trade going. It's true. It is true, brother. We have any uh, lumber workers? Yeah, I need to update that too. I'm going to go build some towers here. To try and shut down the Overlord's trade. Like while the Wonder is going. Because he doesn't really have too much of a choice. He's got to go for the Wonder. I'm kind of just a rat right now. So I just have to like take my best chances of getting strong whilst everyone else fights. Clearing out these damn walls. Takes time. Okay, I think there's one upgrade I didn't get. Do I still have a blacksmith? I do. I still have the Haggard blacksmith. Yeah, it's just a missile upgrade. Okay. Alright, let's bombard that keep down. Try and secure the middle a little bit. Looks good. And we got little towers coming up, which is cute. Oh no, red! I thought you were defending down there. What the hell is this? You actually have an army? We'll take you down with our, our, our Zerg of Zergs. We're doing our part, guys. We're helping against the Wonder. They should be able to get it. There's a, a huge naval. You know why red is so strong, guys? You want to know why Red is so strong? They, he literally has water. So he probably has water trade and fishing. Just like the Dark King over there just cackling. While like us shitters in the north are just like working with our, our wheat crops. Alright, let's get some more horsemen going. Okay, so we'll get cannon towers there which is going to be really funny. I do have elite men at arms too guys. I can still make men at arms. I don't really have much production for them but it's uh, certainly something. Did he destroy my trebs? It looks like my trebs might have died when I wasn't paying attention. Fall back to the... Okay, okay. It looks like green is coming. Let's just let green pass. And we can bring this treb over here. Let's get a bombard cannon over here. And how many siege workshops do we have, actually? It looks like we have two. Let's get the speed. And uh, now we can trade for a little bit of stone, maybe. Not quite. Yes, precious, yes. All right, let's trade for some more food down. All right, trading. And let's get, I want to get a cannon tower, but a spring a spring tower we'll have to do. I'll just make arrow towers, whatever. It's just to kill the traders. Uh, I'm not going to try and fight Orange Head Up. It, uh, there's no chance. He's been like gold capped for like, he probably has had 50,000 plus gold. It would be impossible to fight him Head Up and catch up at this point. Unless, you know, there's some big paradigm shifts in the battle. Um... My plan is to like just troll the trading here a little bit and then move in and, and do a little bit of a, you know, horse and raiding. That's that's basically my gimmick that I have here, guys. Yeah, that's basically the gimmick. Look, look. We have the, the dreaded arrow towers. Okay, I think the English took this out. All right, my minions. Go. Get it. Get the goodies. Okay, what we need to do also is build a lot of infrastructure, so let's just build more horseman tech and then we probably from there go archers, like to actually fight him, because although he has Janissaries, yeah we still, still should have that so we can put up somewhat of a fight when we get invaded, inevitably. Alright, so let's get in here. How are they doing on the wonder? They've got to be getting close, I mean they still have 10 minutes. 
Oh, hello. What the hell is this shit? Why are there just like random ass knights running into my base? Like it's been happening pretty consistently here. All right, so let's pour in and fight those guys. Let's go down here. We killed those knights that were raiding us once again. Look, look, look. Look, it, it's Mortal Kombat. Oh my God, that's so funny. All right, I think it's time we just fully shut his trade down. Yeah, because we, we need these traders. We can't afford to... <laughs> oh my god, it's so shitty, dude. I love it. All right, so you knock these walls down. And we'll try and do a, have a little bit of fun here. Hey, like, we actually have, like, an economy of sorts now, which is great. Yeah, we're not, like, completely helpless. All these traders are definitely under fire right now. Okay. Chris says he can't help with the wonder. That's fine. It probably means he's going to come attack me and my haggard horsemen. Okay. Let's go get the keep here. Let's hide our guys here for now. Oh no. We were mining gold. It was so nice while it lasted. Alright, let's get you guys here. How are we looking here? Yeah, archers are fully upgraded as well. I don't know what's going on there. Let's get these bills. We gotta, gotta hide these guys. Gotta hide them. There we go. Okay. So we'll go take these towers down. Yes. Yes. Let the hate flow. Yeah, totally palpatining right now. All right, that should be enough infrastructure. Dude, look how OP these traders are. Look how quick they are. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts, dude. Okay, so we're definitely getting some work done on those traders. We can start trading now. And uh, yeah, cool. So it's it's time to strike. We we've we've been oppressed by this overlord for far too long. Oh god, he's got troops coming in. He's gonna get my cannon. All right, so we just need to torch this shit down with our horsemen. Uh huh. And uh, even if he goes for the base, I think we're pretty secure. Let's we'll make archers now. All right, cool. So that's gonna go down. Should be able to secure this. So his trade is our trade now. And let's get some more vills coming in here. Eh, we'll lose some villagers. It is what it is. We're killing all his trade, so we still have some. Yes, my minions. Yes. Let discord and anarchy reign in the realm. All right, so let's get you guys going here. Let's mash out some horsemen, because why the hell not? We fully killed all his trade off, I think. Yeah, the trade is getting pounded, which is good. He's coming back for blood. But I mean, he's also lost a lot. So now we need to bring these guys back around. We have the reinforcements coming, which will hopefully be able to do something. He's coming for us. He could have helped with the wonder still. All I wanted was the trade. Uh-huh. We got the defensive force mustering. Do we have like fully upgraded spearmen? We don't, that's unfortunate. I know all of his artillery is kind of lingering behind the army a little bit. So that was that was a wild one. Let's see if we can survive this now. Our keeps are holding firm for Sigmar. Okay, now we need to dive this shit, like 100%. If we could just kill his artillery, then we might actually just straight up survive here. Thankfully, we have emergency repairs here too. All right, let's go get his arty. Come on, baby. Sigmar bless. Oh, the rat rises from the ashes. Oh. <laughs> Give him the Howard Dean yell. Oh. <laughs> this is why horsemen are the best late game units because they just do this kind of shit. I mean, I lost a lot of eco, but who gives a shit? It's whatever. I can I can rebuild him. All right, so we killed a lot of the artillery that's coming in. This isn't a blood feud, guys. This is me just trying to survive, because without trade, I, I'm dead. I have no chance of winning. This is my best chance of winning in the game, 100%. Is, is escaping my encirclement here. Okay, let's do this. We got 12 workers. I'm your worker. Let's go up here. Do I have any workers up here still? Unfortunately, he, he has blocked me off his trade. I would love to have, like, Burning Well, too. Why can I not get that? Not enough resources? Oh, we needed some stone, eh? All right, let's get that. Let's gather you guys up. 
Let's attack in again. The rat can always flee back to his northern hold. If I get overrun here, we can flee. The rat has grown strong in this time. Although now we're officially like out of resources. We should probably get some culves. Cool, so burning oil is coming. Trade is not going to happen at the moment. He's he's definitely pushing in from a couple different directions. Uh, we can send you guys up here to attack. Send the horsemen here and here. Okay. This rat has teeth. Okay, go my go my brave horsemen. Okay. Look at this. He's kind of on the run a little bit, isn't he? He's kind of on the run a little bit. Okay. Looking fine. Mace men doing a good job. Let's get a couple of you guys to go up here. That damn keep is doing the work of Sigmar. It's like seriously holding it down so well. Wait, why is yellow attacking me? Like, guys, yellow is... Why is... What? <laughs> yellow is is attacking me? What, is this the kill the streamer game again? Why are you here? There's literally a wonder in the corner. Oh my god. I don't believe it. It's because uh, yellow and orange are attacking me. For some godforsaken reason. Okay. This is just the kill the streamer thing. This does this makes no sense. I'm literally just barely surviving here. I don't get this. I understand orange because he's trying to defect, defend his trade. But um, I don't get this. This is so weird. Okay, let's see if we can get some of those. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a kill the streamer thing. No idea why he is. Yellow, why are you? Att I understand you, Orange, but yellow is across the map and coming at me. I don't get this. This is so weird. Yellow just like came in and just like destroyed my keep and like everything. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't get that. That's some weird shit, dude. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get the trade back. All right. So let's just get this going here. See if we can stabilize. Get some food going. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but we do have our army. It was my first game. But hey, man. Yeah, Melvin. It's been a good run, dude. It's been a good run. I don't know why he would come over and do that. Yeah, that makes no sense. There's a wonder in the corner, and he's coming at me. I have nothing. I have nothing of resource, of value. Yeah, that's weird, dude. Weird. Okay, so we're, we'll try and get this going again. Let's take some mace boys up here. You just let me. Yeah, see, Ezra's even like wondering why. Yeah, yellow is like I don't know. Is yellow a bot? <laughs> We have to see if he's a bot. That's that's the true conspiracy. Okay, so workers. Let's go down here. I have no idea what's going on there, man. <laughs> the haggard mace boys are going strong. He says, where's the wonder? Look at the map, dude. You can see it on the map. Oh my god, what is this Bronzodia shit? Okay, so we're gonna try and just get our eco back. I mean, you would they should be able to kill the wonder, all those other players, for sure. Okay. Looking good. Yellow, are you serious? The wonder is south, bro. Why are you attacking orange? Look at this! He's attacking orange now, dude! What is this? What planet are we on? It's a Twilight Zone. I think he's he's just memeing, I think, honestly. Yeah, I, there's no way I can really help anymore. I'm like, I had to expend all my resources to survive that onslaught. I had a nice little bank, though, for sure.
All right. Well, the wonder wins. Okay. The fact that yellow wasn't attacking. Yeah. That was very weird. Would he ever play some StarCraft 2? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He said that was so easy for me to kill, the wonder? Should have killed him when I said. <laughs> Look, Ezra's just like, why is this? What's going on here, dude? All right, so we got mass trade going. I have no idea what Yellow's doing, honestly. I have no idea. All right, well, we'll just ban this guy from our future games for sure. Yeah, you can't be saying shit like that. Come on. GG, well played, guys. GG. How could they have... I don't know. They could have won if they killed Terran? I don't think so, dude. I couldn't do anything. I could have gone down with some horsemen, but my best bet of winning the game was to just... Because they, if they, if Yellow and Orange had actually gone down there and... Like, he could have sacrificed his trade and they could have killed him, probably. I don't know how they couldn't have gotten that. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, Yellow's trying to back to our other players. No. Oh, no, my game crashed. Oh, no. No, come back. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to the game and see what that looked like. Oh, yeah, that's pretty entrenched. Oh, wow. That's a really OP spot, but any Navy would have won that. Dude, like, a couple of bombard ships on the coast here could have probably killed the Wonder. Yeah. You had hand cannoneers... Um, oh yeah, dude. If Orange had been able to build some Karax. Where, what was everyone doing? What, where was Yellow even? Is he down here? Yeah, Yellow was pretty, he was, he was pretty toxic. It will definitely. I mean, I, I won't ban people because of gameplay, but if they're going to throw around slurs, yeah, we'll, we'll ban them. Or use them in that way. Um, all right. So, yeah, Ottomans were fine, dude. He had, he had three relics. He was pretty strong for sure. I was just trying to get trade because with him there, you know, I, he would have just killed me after. So that map spot's pretty freaking OP. Look at this trade spot though, guys. This is, this is so broken. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell is this trade spot, bro? Yeah. Orange is worried about Turin while he had half the map. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot. He didn't like, you know, I was just trying to get some trade. Otherwise I just had no eco, so. Oh my god, look at Red Spawn! He had like the Navy protecting him. Melvin, well played. Well played, Melvin. Yeah, well played you, man. I got I got the English sandwich. I got the bangers and mash on the one side and some uh some some coffee on the other side. What would be the signature thing of the Ottoman Empire, right? <laughs> I don't I don't think yellow was helping straight up. I don't think he was. Yeah. He had a moat. He did have a moat, dude. All right, so we're gonna do another one, guys. So if you played in the last one, don't join this one. We wanna get uh, new players in. I'll do one more where I play, and then after that, I'm gonna cast an FFA. So uh, turn FFA. All right, let's do it. So no repeat players, everyone's new. Let's go with, um, who do we feel like playing today? No, that was mega random, it was not Nomad. Yeah. Let's go with the Malians. That'll be fun, I, I wanna play some Malians here. That was weird, dude. That was very strange. Yeah, Yellow was basically just griefing that game. I don't know what he was trying to do. Yeah, we're doing FFAs today, baby. We're going hard in the paint. I might do a 1v1 at the end just to close things out. Michael, thank you for the 100! The holiday gift, thank you! Yeah, I was close to getting back to being strong. Like, you notice I was able to defend myself at the end a little bit. Like, cause we got the trade, we had good food eco, we had a big army, you know, like the th my game plan that game was, um, obviously I got 2v1 earlier and there was no coming back from that. I, if I could have rebuilt and they killed the wonder and then I killed his have trade, fun. orange might've been weak enough that I could have at least held my own against him and had my own trade going. So there was Rebound. an avenue to victory there have for us, fun. but it was very Attack slim, like a 5%. Player. Dude, Michael, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Um, so it looks like everybody's good. All right, let's uh, get this party started. Smite me. Smite me? What is that? Oh, I've never heard that one before. Hmm. Yeah, here we go, baby. You want to see Ottoman? Ottomans are really... The trade is insane, dude. Like, I, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go down and try and take out this Ottoman player. And it was pretty unfortunate because the English attacked me at the same time. But, um... 
he had so much more gold than I did. He had like a ton of artillery and like good quality units. It was brutal, dude. Yeah, no, it was rough. And, you know, we probably would have died to the same thing again. Like, I think the English would have attacked us again late game if they had lived. And then we would have been sandwiched between the English and the uh, the Ottomans again. Yeah. We would have been in some danger. So, Malian trade is quite good. Um, 2TC, we have the cattle, which free up some villager supply, which is really nice. What do we want to go for landmark-wise? Farimba Garrison is, is good in a 1v1 situation, but I think in a big team situation, it's not going to be as strong. Hey, Aaron, enjoying the FFA content. Thank you, man. Thank you. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Oh, did, is that like just like a Christmas like emoji thing that YouTube's doing? That's pretty cool. The new civs are both really fun. Malians are um, a little bit squishy, but they, they're, they're fast and they have a lot of cool mechanics. Ottomans are just like straight up trading artillery, that kind of stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. I'll get you guys here. Okay. It seems like we got a better spawn this time. Last time we spawned in the middle of two strong players, and that was basically our doom. So hopefully we don't encounter such fate again. All right. Let's turn in. Go up here. Set up our little ore pit. Take you guys back. Take me home, my country roads. Who's going to host the FFA? Um, the next one, we'll, I'll let you know. It depends on how my hands feel. After this one. If this is like a quick one, then we can we can do something. Yeah, it was wild. Uh turn, that was the anti-night army that swung back up. All the siege was there. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it was it, it you were buying stone for a wonder. It makes sense. You were trading like a like an absolute monster, so I would imagine you were super rich. I had to try and kill you get rid of your, your shit in my base though, Chris. Otherwise I would just be basically in purgatory the entire time. We managed to get some trade back, which was good, but yeah, you were obviously a powerhouse in that game. There was no way I was going to fight you off with English attacking me. <clears throat> you guys just gave me the biz so hard. Okay, so building up houses to get the ore pits. So Malians have decent late game, like, infinite gold. We definitely have a, a good spawn this time. Like, last time, we deserved this one, I think. You don't care too much about relics. With Malians, trade is really, like, the epicenter of your strategy. All right, let's do this. Yeah, definitely have an opportunity. I don't even know what my wonder is with this faction. What is it? The Great Mosque? Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. Head down here. Let's turn the heater off because I'm getting a little bit sweaty in here. All right. There we go. Cool. You got six on wood. Now, I really um, am a big fan of sieves that don't need to mine gold early. It's like one of my favorite things when you could just, just greet it up. It's great, man. It's great. Hey, Ezekiel. How you doing, man? Yes, we're going to have another FFA after this. Uh, I'll probably be casting it, though. Just so you guys can see all the drama and, like, weird shit that's going down. I think that's going to be very fun. You know, would, would you guys want to cast um, 1v1s, too? Like, so let's say we get some people... Oh, that's a trade post in the corner. Okay. It's interesting. Would you guys want me to cast 1v1s on the channel? Not as, like, videos, because I noticed when I put them up as videos, people didn't seem too interested. But, like, on stream... We could grab like two people from our community and have them duke it out 1v1, which I think would be really fun. Oh, Masso. Oh, I remember. Ma you know, you guys remember Masso, right? He's the Dark Lord of the Spears. Yeah, a true Chad. Yeah, so definitely a much better spawn this time. Much, much better. Yeah, you guys would like that? We could do that. I, I like casting 1v1s. I'd love to see them. That could be fun. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, like a fight club. Like, we could do King of the Hills, too. 1v1 between viewers. Yeah, so you guys just join. But we would want to keep you guys, like, similar rank to each other. Because if we just have, like, some Conqueror players smashing a bunch of, you know, silvers and golds and platinums, it's, you know, that wouldn't be very fun to watch. But um, we could have people join that are... So I will, like, I'll declare... Um, yeah, FFA is really fun, but we, we could do more stuff. You know, we could do more. Okay, wow. I just literally just did not get, like, anything here. All right, so let's go up here and just get on this camp. I don't know why I'm attacking wolves either. Just some, some Bronzodia plays. All right, so Mansakori, or do we want to do the Saharan trade network? That's kind of an interesting one too. All right, so let's get you guys running up here. Lovely. I literally just ran out of food just as we were about to get to the next stage. Oh, it's going to slow us down. All right, we didn't find enough sheep, sadly. All right, go sheep, go there. You guys go here. 
And that's gonna delay our start pretty good. Please put in a Plastic League. I would put in Plastic League, yeah, of course. Plastic League is the best. So we're gonna get an early wheelbarrow. Yeah, people, wow, that's a really fast age up. Jesus, what is he playing? Is he Holy Romans? He must be. Bob, Bob, oh, Ottomans. Do Ottomans have like a super fast feudal? I guess I just started really late, so yeah. Greed is good. Okay, so let's keep lurking around here. Yeah, the drama in FFAs is very fun. It is. It's very It's very much a good time. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this, actually. Mansa Quarry is really nice, though, because it gives, like, good infinite resources, but we're going to build the Saharan Trade Network right here. Yep. That's going to slow down our tech, but I don't think it matters too much. It's okay. And uh, looks good. Let's get you on food. Turns my neighbor, GG. You're fine. You're fine. Totally fine, bro. I ain't coming at you. I got I got other plans this game. All right, so this is gonna slow us down, but this is a really good spot because it gives us uh, food with VR trade too. Yeah, the two v twos tournaments are really fun. They are. They're they're very very much a good time. All right, so let's do this. I don't know if like the two TC is as is as necessary as for the Malians. I feel like it's pretty good though. All right, looking good. Let's pull a couple of you guys. Turn in. And uh, we can get you good jumping down here as well. Okay, so our build's really bad this game. We, we had a sloppy build order, but it's okay. It's okay. And with the commentator, like, turn mid rank players making crazy plays under pressure. Yeah, it'll be fun. Oh, it'll be fun. We'll do it. Well, maybe we'll do that today. I love casting 1v1. I, I just need to soundproof my room better. It, it always haunts me when I hear myself on, like, EGC TV back in the day, and I had that, that crazy echo. I'm just like, ah. Oh. We moved to a house uh, about a year ago. Well, no, longer than that, like a year and a half ago. Okay, China's over here. And um, the room that I have to work in, that it's just like, it's impossible to soundproof without spending just a hell of a lot of money because it's just this huge wooden room. Uh, it, it, it haunts me for sure. Okay, so looking fine. And we have that going, which is outstanding. So Holy Roman's nearby. Um, probably want to get some Muso Fatty. So we're going to get a little bit of military, just so we don't die to some weird pressure or something. Keep exploring the map here. I would never kill the Spear Lord Masso. If you guys don't know the legend of Masso, he played in one of our FFAs, like, I don't know, like three or four months ago. And all he did the entire game was spam spears. That's it. Like, he was just the dark wizard of spear units. It was so funny. Um, and he just, like, would randomly appear, like, when all these, like, really high-level players were fighting, just with, like, a hundred supply of spears. It was just the funniest shit ever, dude. So that is the legend of Masso, if you guys are, if you guys want to know. His tale is known far and wide in the realm. Okay. All right, so we're getting a, a lay of the land. Okay, our food is really bad right now, obviously. It's okay, we're going for a second TC. And uh, hopefully we'll get that soon. We just need a little bit more wood. That's what she said. Food, though, really, really bad this game, man. All right, so I think we have enough on these resources. Could make some spears. Probably not a bad idea, just to have a couple. Although they do cost wood, so maybe we cut that. So we're saving up for the TC. All right, so these guys have done it. Let's go build the TC over here. Great. So that's going to give us some nice eco. Then we can go ahead and set up a trade network, which will be great. Go here. We got the lumberjacking, we have the Saharan trade network. So what's good about the trade network is we have something in the corner. Yeah, we still have something in the corner as well. So if we get our main base plowed by like two people again, then you know we can we can chill. First turn FFA packed, he says. I love it, dude. I love it. Oh my god, it's so funny. I think he's trying to like get an like an alliance, like, hey, it's my first time in here, don't kill me, kind of thing. Alright, so we need to get another ore pit now. So let's go get a big one. That's what she said. And, uh, oh, no. He says I am peaceful. I, I don't know how you can, like, truly be peaceful in this game. All right. There we go. All right, that should do the trick. And then we get that going. Should be able to hit the food pretty hard here. Oh, nothing beats the Big Cranny FFA. Yeah, Big Cranny's FFA is out of legend. And I know we had the, we had a pretty good FFA tournament recently with the Angelic Tuna, but... Angelic Tuna, in my opinion, was like 90% of Smurf. So that's not that legendary, right? It's actually legendary when like someone who's a little bit of a lower level, mid-level player like pulls off a big win. That's legendary, not when a Smurf wins a tournament. You know, there's no there's no honor in that. Um, all right. So let's do this. We can jump on gold now. 
We got the two workers here, so let's do this. I'm probably going to build, like, a tower here. Just so um, I can get a little bit of an arrow deposit. And then we can, uh, we can defend it from, like, any sort of pressure. All right. So gold is going to be mine now. My plan is to get the trade going. I don't know what's going on here. This is uh, this is Vice Bro. I don't know where he is. So we're going to come up to the middle and set up a market. Okay, uh, he's literally running right past my TC. So he's a brave man. I think we're going to go for the food landmark, the Grand Fulani Corral. I think that's the play. Big Cranny's win was like just pure legend. He should put that on his like, you know, when he... When eventually, you know, 100 years from now, when people look at his, like, his glorious mausoleum, which he is buried in, it's going to say the dreaded big cranny lies here, the victor of the this random FFA tournament. <laughs> All right, so we got you coming. Um, this is a bit of a risky spot, but it's like, I don't know how far I want to go. Probably here, and then we could just go for, like, a keep and try and secure that. That's pretty greedy, though. Yeah, that's pretty greedy. Okay, so we'll do the Grand Fulani Corral, I think, is better than the Freemba. Especially since we have all this, like, infrastructure already. So we'll, we'll build some Muso Fatty Warriors. Looking good. We got the double, uh, we'll gather some rock as well, so we can build a keep in the middle. That's kind of the plan. We're going to do trading here. And we're going to just go right back to our place, and we'll set up toll posts and, and everything like the sort. Alright, so let's set up a toll post. Oh, our scout's going to die probably? No, okay, scout's still good. Outstanding, so set up the toll bridges. And uh, we're pretty close to going to the next age, which is good. Honestly, there's not a lot of people in age 3 yet, so I'm pretty pretty happy with the pacing of that. The Grand Fulani Corral, we could go over here. Careful turn, my TT doesn't know peace. I know, I I almost felt that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just equal to Ratatouille. My mispronunciation, yeah. I love it. Alright. Let's just get a little arrow placement right here. Come over there. Looks good. And uh, we can get another trade post here. Get one here. Get one here. And that will basically give us the full toll system. Okay. So we finally died to China there, basically. They were able to get their, their blood toll. Let's get the Muso Fatty Warriors, which are an awesome unit, by the way. They have bonus for heavy, which means they're really good against um, a multitude of different things. Okay, I need to go to the next age. I'm getting too excited here. I think we need to build this one in our actual base. So we're going to go ahead and do the Freemba Garrison right here. Holy shit, well, the low's going down. Oh, that's right, we got Holy Romans. You know, lately, guys, I gotta say, I, I do feel like Holy Romans fall off in FFA. Like, they're really good at brute forcing one player down. Like, in the castle early Imperial, but after that, I feel like you get outscaled. Like, even, because, you know, Relic has been constantly nerfing, um, nerfing the, what's it called? Uh, they've been nerfing relics. Like, relics don't give as much as they used to, and I, I, I really feel as if I've noticed that with this, right? Okay. I didn't want the relics anyways, he says. There you go. Uh, yeah, the honesty is good here. Okay, let's go here. And then we can get the stables going. Get you to set this up. So let's set this up here. And we'll see what's going on. Yeah, life's good. Life's good, man. Yeah, uh, Farimba is better in 1v1, but in FFA, I think there's an argument to be made for the other landmark. Plus, we also get food from our um, Saharan Trade Network, so we're going to be just like the food overlords, hopefully. Okay, looks good. Now we just get some cows going over here. Okay, looks good. We got the cattle coming. A little bit of gold on the way. Pink trading. Uh, it, hey guys, what's the command to say somebody is trading? Isn't there a command for that? I think there is. Yeah, so the toll posts are going to be extracting food also, which is awesome. So we could like literally have like no one on food and it, it will give us, uh, and we'll still be getting food income, which is pretty hilarious. But we still want a little bit, obviously, right? So. Okay, let's set some farms up here. Oh shit! Oh no, we built the wrong landmark! Oh no, I wasn't paying. You guys are probably telling me in chat. Oh no, I built the wrong landmark. Oh, the whole food combo is just out the window. Oh well. You know, on the bright side now, if we do get attacked by someone, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be much stronger. So, you know, this was my plan all along. I was really, in all honesty, trying to throw off stream snipers. So, you know, they thought they could come for me and now uh, now you know. It's uh, it is what it is. It's going down, okay. So that's fun. Wrong landmark. Well, we'll still get the cattle in there. Okay, let's click on this. Got you guys chilling. 
Let's get you guys on uh, on wood for now so we can get more uh, stuff going. It's Hey guys, no, it was a plan. I was trying to throw off the stream snipers here. You guys know me better than that. I never make mistakes like that. Come on. All right, so let's set this up here. How are we looking here? Yeah, a little food camp. Turin is... I am a Conqueror level player, that's true, but... Um, <laughs> it doesn't mean I make stupid, horrific mistakes and play like a Bronzodia Master sometimes, yeah. Although right now, I don't know if I'm Conqueror level. I'm, I'm close to it. I was one game away from it the other night, and then I went on a losing streak, so... Eh. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, okay, so we can actually make units from this. So I should probably be trying to grab relics, but I honestly don't care that much. I'm trying to just get trade. This seems like a, a place I could be backdoored. So let's go ahead and get this. Set that up like so. And we got the keep coming up in the middle. Good, good. Just get the trade going. And uh, life's good, man. Not the best ore pit, pit position, but it's safe. That's why I'm going to take it. I think this is one of the best thumbnails we've had in a long time. This one is really, really good. All right. So cattle. Uh-huh. Just max out on cattle, please. And uh, we probably are going to want some archery ranges as well. We need to be ready for war in case the Holy Romans come for it. That's the thing. With Holy Romans, you don't need to... If you have a Holy Roman neighbor, you don't need to worry about relics too much. You just let them do all the heavy lifting with the relics. And then you just kill them and take the relics. That's what happened to me last game. It's, it's a great tactic. All right. We got this going. It's a little bit slow, but it will get there eventually. And uh, let's go ahead and DQ some of these. Probably build a couple more markets here. All right. Looks good. And yeah, we're getting pretty good trade, I would say. All right. Well, let's take the stone here now. Why not trade behind the mountain range? Oh, uh, this is a... It's totally an option. It's totally an option. Uh, so the idea Shetland right now, it's a greedier play, but I want the um, the map control. I want all these middle resources, so I figured let's like hunker down in the middle. And if I get compromised in the middle, then I can switch to a safer trade route. That's kind of my game plan here. All right, so. Okay, let's do that. Get a little bit more trade going. Looking good. We have our spears coming out. We definitely want some spear boys. Poison arrow archers are amazing. Get you guys going here and just get on the stone. I, I'm trying to take like really greedy map control basically. Because if, if there's no one coming after me, then I can just become an unholy tyrant. So far, really good too. But um, so far, I think are a better like harass opening. So yeah, and we're not going too hard on the harass. So yeah, I don't know what the Holy Romans are up to, honestly. I see their, I see their business here. I got to make sure I can actually like beat them before I go full Mortal Kombat into those guys. All right, so now we can get the proper amount of traders going. And uh, we don't have crossbows, so yeah, Musa Fatty Gunners are an option. I think just going Imperial, honestly, is going to be a good play. And then we can like try and kill someone there. So let's like fully develop, and then we can we can go a little bit ham from there. So yeah, the cattle are coming along. I think we can get two more in total. No, we, we can afford more. Okay, looks good. Let's get some siege workshops. One, two. Get our in-base uh, infrastructure. We got our keep in the middle, so this will defend our traders from like, you know, very topical attacks. We got the trade posts, which will be pulling us resources, and uh, life is good, man. Life is good. All right, so let's set up some houses. Boom, boom. Set you guys up. We can go to the corral that we didn't build, which is a, such a shame. Siege workshop's coming up. This is good. Yeah, we're going to the middle, man. I, I wonder how much we're getting. A hundred, a hundred is pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Red piece, the game is glitching. You see, that's a new tactic I've yet to see. The dreaded, my game is glitching. Please don't kill me. I mean, he's probably telling the truth, honestly. But, um... Yeah, that's that's fun. Okay. Okay. Can we afford any more? We can't. Okay, so that's going to be the extent of it. Let's go down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have the, the wolf attacking us, which is lovely. So let's get a villager. Go attack the wolf. Attack the wolf. Get back to that. And now we need to just go imp, I think. We're going to go for the Imperial Age of Doom. Okay. Some people are reaching imp. Chinese players. Always scary. Let's go ahead and go over here. Finish these walls off. You guys can do that. And uh, yeah, we can produce quite a few units here. Muso Fatty Warriors are like a really, really strong counter against HRE. Like very, very strong. They do super well. Okay, somebody's coming for the stone here, which I don't like. It's Vice Bro. Oh, how dare he. 
So we're gonna set up a tower. Unfortunately, he's just gonna take a bunch of this. He's not within range of my keep either, so. Joke's on us. I don't wanna send my army up there. Okay, so we got the walls coming up. Let's go get you. There's a random Chinese villager trying to do a little something something. Okay. And let's go ahead and, and like explore this mountain pass a little bit further. Okay, so we got the little tower. Should be able to pick off the villagers here. And let's take a lot of these guys to the middle now. And have them just uh, get the stone. We need the stone. Yeah, so he's losing bills there, which is good. It's so weird not caring about relics. You know, it's such a strange thing. Like having it not be like my number one priority. Okay, let's get some more infrastructure. We're going to need it if we're going to go to war with the Holy Romans at some point. What the hell is this shit, bro? Come on, get this out of here, man. Chinese walling off my thing. Look at that. All right, so let's go to the uh, the final age here. Um, where do I want to build my last landmark? Honestly, uh, have you guys pull in and we can do the, um, the Grio over here. We'll do it like right down here. It's like kind of off the beaten path. And uh, hopefully that'll do it. Okay, so China just trolling me here. Maybe they expected me to trade here. I'm not sure. Let's go see how far this goes. Let's go see how far this goes. He says, Turin, this is my stone, dude. You, we, you'd have to you'd have to pay a tithe. Okay, so let's go here. Oh, okay. So China, China is like... Got it. I don't think I can actually build a market in this little like avenue here. No, there's not enough space. So any cheeky tactics here are kind of pointless. Although I don't want to have a wall like in my lands like straight up, right? Okay, so let's do this, this, and this. Get this going. We'll go clear the walls out. We'll get the full upgrades and archery ranges too. In late game, we can always switch to... um. Yeah, we can always... Does he still have his workers over here, I wonder? Let's see. Yeah, he does. All right, so we'll just have the Manganel take this down, basically. You guys just go finish off this gold node. And we'll head over here. Let's get our elite units. You guys can get this ore pit. No, it's so weird. When you try and put ore pits on, like, big ones, it sometimes bugs out. All right, looks good, looks good, looks good. Now we can get some uh, bombards here in a second. Get the upgrades going. You guys have finished off this one, so now what we want to do is delete this. To maximize our gold per minute, do that, and then we can head on over and, uh... Okay, yellow's getting a little cheeky over here. You guys see that? We might have to go, uh, go have a little say about this. Okay, so let's see, get you guys going. Muso Fatty Gunners. We need to hotkey this in group 7. Take down those walls eventually. It's going to take, like, 10 years, but it looks like we have a great wall of sorts. All right, is there walls here? Ah, oh, China's, China's going a little bit crazy, aren't they? Who is this? I'm not sure which player this is. Alright, that looks good. Alright, so we'll get that. Gonna have to deal with this. Looks like he just took it and fled. Isn't that funny? He's just like, peace, I'm done. I don't want any of this. Our eco's a little too high. So we need to cut our villager count down, actually. Let's get you guys upgraded to elite. Uh, we need to get our archers upgraded to elite as well. Okay, so this needs to be six. Six. And then the torch landmark needs to be seven. Yeah, so we can, like, you know, do the different festivals and whatnot. Alright, bombard cannons. Let's get the walls going. Get the oil. And uh, do we need keeps anywhere? Probably having a defensive keep would be a good idea. I think to like secure the central trade route, so let's just do one right there in case we lose the fight. You know, it's always nice to have that like that fallback point, basically. You guys, let's get some more production. All right, looking good, and let's get the archers upgraded to elite because they're very good, and we need to get the um, university as well. Uni is going to give us access to those sweet, sweet upgrades. In the meantime, though, trade's going really good. It's going very well. You can see he's he's. He's anticipating some sort of an attack here. Um, China, let's go ahead and attack around here. That should deal with that. We got walls coming up. China trying to build some uh, build some stuff here. So I could send a couple warriors up there to go deal with that. All right, so let's go deal with that. Muso Fatty Gunners, please, because they're going to be very nice here. Do that. Yeah, because there's a lot of resources in the middle of the map, guys. That's kind of kind of the school of thought here as to why we're going for it. Okay, cool. So we're getting those workers down. 
All right, how's the uni doing? Uni's got to be done here in a second. We got a lot of gold. Uso fatty gunners will be very good against holy Romans. Army isn't that scary though, because our eco is a little big, so our army is like kind of small as such. All right, let's get you guys. Cut you. Delete you guys. And you guys torch this. Get a cannon tower here. And we are chilling. All right. So yeah, between trade and all that, we have our, our pa pa pastures aren't fully armed and operational. We need to gear those out to the max. How are we looking? Okay, so those Muso Fatty will take that down. Let's uh, start going in and doing some work. Well, stone is like super valuable in, in this game. It's a, it's a very sparse resource, right? Army tactics, uh, gunpowder. That's what we want. Okay, he has to know something's up now. He has to be very suspicious at this point. We got one side kind of walled off. We have like a bit of a Walmart wall on this side. Let's get you guys doing this. Oh, this is actually not even like a real wall here. All right, I think it's time we do battle with him though. I have no idea how this is gonna go since we mainly have an infantry army, which should be okay. Depends on how we build. If you built men at arms, we'll be pretty good. The betray? <laughs> Well, I mean, guys, it's like 25 minutes into the game. I could have attacked him early. I have to attack the legend. Do you guys remember what happens if you leave him alive? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, it's like a horseman army. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes here. All right. So, let's do... Yeah. Archers are good against us, for sure. Yeah, it looks like... So, he's got a lot of horsemen. I don't know. It depends. We're gonna, what we're going to do here is we're going to test his macro. Malian armies usually fold pretty light. So we'll increase our military production speed by 50%. Let's go after this. How are we looking here on the wall off? Okay, we didn't quite get the wall off there, so we need to fully wall the Chinese out of the middle. And then we have a fully like supplied army again. What are we at? 120? Okay, so we probably can turn that down. We just have way too many bills at this point. And let's get you guys doing this. Just some haggard long distance mining. And here we go. Yes, I, I betrayed the universal peace. That's true. That is true, I did. Okay, here he is. Is he ready for round two? I'm surprised the Lord of Spears doesn't have more spearmen. I'm surprised. What was our military at? Nine, yeah, we have 98 economy. So if that, I mean, that feels pretty good. Then you can come over to the middle and jump on uh, this resource node. Cool. Trade is going okay. We got a lot of stone. Could bring a lot of bills here, so let's bring you guys in real quick. That's gonna it's gonna hurt us in some regard, but I think it's it's good for the win. We just need to get in there real quick. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna set up a keep in his base just to keep the pressure on. Because then if he if he isn't able to stop the keep, and you know we can just kind of defend it here. All right, so let's get these guys into the archers. Nice. Ooh, big archer shots. Brutal. Yeah, it keeps coming up for sure. Okay, let's get you on the gold. I think we got this. It's hard to say. The keep is going down. Or it's going up, excuse me. So that's going to give us a good foothold with which to push. And hopefully we can gather some relics from him. That's really kind of what I'm, I'm looking for here. Okay, so let's grab the mosque here. Because now he's, we just have that constant keep DPS, which should help push him back. We're spending a lot of money, though. This is a very expensive conquest. Okay, let's get you guys just getting after the lumber here. All right, so yeah, we've broken his armies. Now it's time to go in for the kill. In the meanwhile, um, how are we looking here? Pretty good. Oh, wow, somebody's dead. Here he comes with a push. Let's go ahead and consolidate on our forces. Pull in, try and protect him. He might be able to get the mango here. We'll try and pull it back. All right, you guys have gotten that resource. Let's go ahead and pull back, finish off these walls. Yeah, we have so much trade. That's where we're getting most of our resources from here. All right, get in here, fully upgrade this. We need to kill this tower. And once we get the torch landmark, uh, or the torch uh, festival going, we should be able to definitely Finish him pretty quick. I, I just want his relics, though. He's Holy Romans. He's got to have some. He's got to have some. He's been Imperial for a while. Yeah. 
We gotta get rid of one of the big threats to us, which is the dreaded Spear Master. Alright, let's get in there. Let's get you ladies moving in. Going here. Did we finish that damn tower? We did. Alright, great. And uh, you guys just jump back here. I, I don't think we need more on food. Like, I think the... Do we have any more corrals that we could do? So, one, two... Yeah, okay, we're at the we're at the cow capacity. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. He's got the goods. Okay. Unfortunately most of my army's gunners, so they're not gonna be like We'll do Siege Festival. Yeah, that'll that'll give us increased damage to these buildings and stuff. Okay. Homeboys are on the standby. All of his landmarks are pretty close together, so that's nice for us. Alright, down here, finish that. Get some Bombardos coming. And uh, you guys, in the meantime, just grab this gold off the middle. And we need to... Is there a way to navigate this? Can we get through there? We can. Nice. Alright, so going for the other one. Let's go, baby. Let's get some more units coming in. I think he has a keep back there? No, he's got he's got the, uh, the town center landmark. Okay, so the siege festival has done it. Did we finally finish this off? We did. Alright, so this guy can join us now. Okay, pull you guys down, get you guys standing here, and let's see if we can win this fight. Maybe. Depends on how upgraded his units are. We don't have, like, the best supply lines, you know. It's uh, it's not not amazing. Good hold, though. Good good scrappiness by the Spear Lord. He's clearly been training in the shadows since uh, we've last encountered him. Okay, looking good. Let's get the food upgrade. We're going to have to remaster a push. Gather the forces one last time. Yeah, like, I, I, even with the cattle and the tax, the food thing isn't enough. We're not getting enough food. Yeah, the Fulani Corral would have helped a lot. But we will get in there and uh, hopefully get enough to uh, have a nice critical mass push. He's repairing things, man. <laughs> He's like, someone get turned away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, what's happening? Let's pull you guys back down here. Set you guys up on food, because, like, we're really hurting on the food department right now. Need to keep our religious characters here. Come on, team. Yeah, man, our eco just sucks. I guess we could use this. Yeah, we should be using this landmark. It's like some random knight coming, looking to do a little bit of trolling. So we're going to upgrade these cannon towers throughout our domain. So that if just random runbys happen, at least we have some DPS against them. All right, let's get you guys here. Teal is a tyrant. Hey, I'm happy to hear that other people are tyrants and I'm not. Although I feel like I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape. All right, let's see what's going on. Vice Pro says he doesn't think he's a tyrant. He's being falsely advertised as a tyrant. Okay. Looking good. Get the cannons going here. Here comes the army again. It's two landmarks down. Okay, we got him in a choke point, which is actually probably helping them. Let's get you going here. Let's get the cannons back. Let's get the reinforcements coming in. Okay, now we can fight now that we got him in open field. Like, would so so far wouldn't even be that good here. Like, I'm trying to think if they like I'm making a big blunder by not using them as much in this particular duel of fates. But I feel like ultimately we have the, a decent unit comp. But man, those archers just crump us. Yeah, so maybe maybe we, we do need like some, some good sofa type units. Okay, so two landmarks down, but he's still got a good food eco and everything, so he's he's definitely not dead in the water. Alright, so now we have some food actually, which is a start. Okay, let's go here. These guys should be paying a troll toll as they run by. Gather up team. You can see what I'm saying about Malian units being kind of paper though. Oh, he's, he's even doing the Palpatine with me, dude. It makes me feel bad. We gotta finish him, dude. He's clearly been doing good. He's clearly doing good. I don't even... I feel like my resource bank sucks for how, like, how much we're trading and stuff. Okay, some random knight moving in there, kind of scoping out the scene. I guess we just make the poison arrow archers and just do it. Do it. Oh, uh, we need to get the... Yeah, biology, health of buildings, why not? Is he being attacked on the other side? He might be getting sandwiched. He could have had the accursed position I had last game. Which is would be pretty unfortunate. 
He's uh, he's always ready, dude. He always just surges out with this army, just this scary ass army. Here they come. Just, ah. I am weak. Please. Looks like a lot of people are weak and don't wanna don't want them to be karate chopped, huh? Okay, I guess we maybe switch to some sofa because we we need to more efficiently um let's save up some wood. Okay, so somebody is somebody attacking from the north? I don't think so. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. Smite me. Got the Muso Fatty Gunners. The priests are healing, but I didn't mean to send them in. I really just want those relics, man. I really, really want them. As a matter of fact, we need them. Okay, so we might need to switch to horsemen, I think. So we're going to save up like a couple thousand lumber and then pull the switch. Yeah, because he's not making spears anymore, so I think that would be better. Our infantry just melt like fold like paper, basically. All right, so let's get you guys going. Turn is the cackle lord. I'm cackling for sure, but that's 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 always true, though. All right, gather up, gather up. So we're gonna switch to Sofa now. We just need to upgrade them a little bit and get biology too. Okay, keeping the war machine going. His base is very very nice. It's very very nice. I I do admit it's very well structured and uh, yeah, he's got that going for him. Okay. So we'll get the stables going. We can even spam out the warrior scouts. Just make the cheapo units. He's really been on point with repairing these landmarks though, man. Oh, he's getting attacked by Vice Bro. Oh no. Looks like Vice Bro wants some of the goodies too. Yeah. That's pretty unfortunate. What a, what a beast, dude. He's hold, holding on 2v1. I just want his relics. I'm sure Vice Bro wants the same thing. So one, two, and three. And then Regnant's Cathedral's down. Uh-oh, the relics are there. Oh man, okay, wow. Vice Bro is, is, is seriously going hard in the paint here. Okay, so we gotta get our boys upgraded then to fight this fight. Okay, so he is dead, more or less. Again, spawn position is so big in FFA. It's just like such a big variable. If you just get a bad spawn, it's so hard to win. Masso played very well though, all things considered. Looks like he's still scrapping up there. Let's just take down these last landmarks here. <laughs> oh no, anyways. I know, totally, totally a very apt meme for this. Let's do the festival for the military to get our units out there quicker. And uh, how are we looking here in the middle? Yeah, relatively secured actually. We do need a little bit of this though, because yeah, we could totally get backdoored here. Okay, let's get you going. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. Hey, see you later, man. Sorry I had to go down like this, that's for sure. Okay, so now we just are going hard in the paint here. Because we need them relics. Oh my god, are you guys seeing his, his like artillery spam that he has? Jeez. We're fighting over the scraps of his base. Okay, let's just keep moving in. He's losing a lot of his artillery, that's for sure. Okay, so far on their way. It's gonna be tough to break this position. Let's get another mango going. He's probably gonna get the relic, sadly. Just because he's like has a, a better stranglehold on them. We can make Sofa all day. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we actually got the goods. So how many religious characters do we have? Only two, huh? Okay, so we're gonna come over here and try and sneak these relics. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, Sofa proving to be pretty strong. Okay. So let's grab this and then come back. And you can grab the further one, my friend, and then try and get back with them as well. Okay, so the Rus have been driven back. Oh, he's not gonna make it, that's for sure. This one, this other guy might. Okay, let's go back here. Drop that off. If we get a little Tithe Barnes action, we'd be truly a tyrant. All right, so that's good. At least we got one. Um, the other priest made it like a couple feet, which actually gives me the opportunity to maybe get this. All right, yeah, so far, just a really good unit, man. Now, we do need to upgrade the warrior scouts too, though. Okay, how are we looking? I don't know if this is like fully secured here. It's kind of weird, and it's hard to tell. Well, anyways, 
All right, so go take the relic back. He's oh, the roost. No, not in my house. Not in my house, bro. No, that relic is mine. I've been fighting for these relics for so long. Okay, we got it. So now we can camp that. Okay, we need to finish off Masso though. Oh, hell no. Hell no, bro. You ain't getting that shit. Okay, so you guys just go chop a forest up here. These, all these like war Bruce warrior monks are like trying to grab the relics, dude. You see them? Okay, let's grab this. Take it back to the base. You go here, here, uh, and here. Down here and down here. We got to finish him off, though. We we got to get those relics, too. That's going to be, like, uber important. All right, you guys. Just get going. GG. Well played, Masso. You held very well, considering you were 2v1, dude. I, I, I was having trouble getting through to you and didn't know you were being attacked on the other side. All right. All right, so let's take the relic back. We can start researching tithe barns. And we need to make sure the roosts don't get the other other relics here. Give me your relics, he says. Uh, what is our eco? 132. See, we, we just get so excited with the eco. Okay. So we'll stop producing villagers for now. Let's see what's going on. It looks like there's a keep here as well. What am I missing? Did I miss something? I'm just I'm just focused on trying not to lose here, guys. All right. Eh, smite me. And can we get any of this? I guess we could do something like this. Yeah. And uh, man, I hate when you just can't like find a a nice connection point. All right, we got the relics. I can't resist the relics, guys. Wow, look at that. There's a big battle going on. Dark Age rush up there. A big royal rumble of sorts. So we got a lot of goodies. Um, there's still a big stone node in the middle. We should probably just take that with like everything we have. Let's just get more trading going because trading is OP. We got homeboy building some walls here. Triple relics is, is very sweet. That's definitely nice. So now we can just kind of go chill and bank our resources. Um, we never grabbed that sacred site. But yeah, you see what I'm saying about trading here? It like kind of fo focused our, our focal point on that. Turn has three. Yes, I have three relics. He says I have a lot of relics. I'll, t I'll tell everyone how many relics I have. I'll be honest here. Uh -huh, let's get all you guys upgraded. Did we get everything at the blacksmith already? No, that's pretty bronze. No wonder my armies weren't trading so well. There was a lot of upgrades I was lapsing in. All right, so how many people are gone? Masso's gone. Bob is gone. Orange, we still have a strong Chinese player here, but I think he's gold starved based on kind of the, the narrative I'm seeing here. Okay. He's saying it's mine or it's nobody's. I think I think there's some some relic spiteful relic action going on here. Okay, so let's get some more of these up. And then we can get some more archery ranges for basic uh, archers, which are really, really good with these, this faction. Get everybody upgraded. Now we just kind of chill out and take it take it smart. Let's let's be the clever girl here. I like how this cannon tower is like slowly kind of making progress for us here. Okay. Do we go and try and take out the Chinese next? Ominous Snooblet is his name. It looks like he's banging on my walls a little too. Yeah, see, so he's going after the gatehouse here. I don't have any like cannons or anything, do I? Yeah, we need more siege workshops. One, two. All right, looking good. Stone is being gathered. Although not as quickly as I would like. Let's grab you guys. Get you over to the stone. And great, now we got a gatehouse. Well, I guess we're going to be getting into the Chinese base here. Let's uh, let's roll in. Let's go see what's up. So we move here. That that should actually be getting destroyed in a second here. Kind of want to build like secondary walls here. All right, let's do that. So you go work on that, buddy. 193 on this, if the if it could be finished a little bit quicker. He says, go away, Teal. Okay, so yeah, it's going to take a minute. We don't have any siege there. This trade, though, is really good. That trade is very, very strong. You attacked me. Look at this. Are you guys seeing the drama that's going on here? This is great. I love a little drama. So we need to do this and just be very annoying about it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, looks nice. 45 HP on that thing. Chinese walls magically heal. So that's a little scary. Come on, break it down. We're gonna go see what's going on in China's base. Maso, GG. You're a true beast. Now, the proper play for me would be to just sit here and like let everybody fight, but that's boring, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go in and, and see what's going on with China. Let's do the uh, Torch Festival if we can. Increase our, our damage. Start torching buildings with the dreaded Malian speed torches. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome how quick Malians like torch buildings down. China's coming in to fight us. Oh, I'll probably lose this fight. You know, we're in his base, so. We'll, we'll gather reinforcements and uh, get the sofa on their way too. Holy shit, that is a lot of Fire Lancers, and I really don't like that. As a matter of fact, the fact that there's so many Fire Lancers... Uh-huh, uh-huh, and uh, yeah, because we could totally lose all our landmarks very easily. So we need to come and do that. Yeah, but Fire Lancers are pretty bad against uh, Sofa. You can see the Sofa are just chads there. Cool. So that looks good. Let's build a keep here. Uh, do we want to build a keep here? I don't think so. Dude, look at the Sofa still going, dude. Let's get this nest of bees. Okay, so we should have a big army here in a second. Our supply lines aren't, like, amazing. We're, we're trying to improve them by getting the middle spawn. He legit is just making Fire Lancers. Wow. That is a lot of those guys. Jeez. Okay, so we walled our last landmark here because if, if, like, he catches us and it's not walled, then, you know, we just we basically die, right? I wonder if he's going to try and counterattack. He might. We did kill a lot of his siege there. Honestly, mass like mass so far could probably just wipe them out. They trade really well in those type of units. All right, let's do it. Let's go see what's going on. Is he finding a way into my base? If he does, that would suck. That would definitely suck. All right, let's get the bombards in. Get them going here. So far, we're on the way. Uh, you guys probably want to go help with these tertiary walls. Yeah, yeah, he's he's trying to find a way in into the old rat's nest here. All right, so let's push in. He's looking for a way in. Attack her, and he's coming to my door. Says the ominous nublet. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like once again there's a lot of action going on in the Chinese base. Yeah, you know China. China's really strong. Understandably, you want to take them out. People don't really know my current situation, but okay. Here comes the dreaded fire lancer. You know, if anybody's making a mass fire lancer army, typically that's like a red flag that they are going to try and landmark snipe. So you. <laughs> You're going to want to kill them, probably. All right, we got our second layers of walls up, which is good. And yeah, we're killing quite a bit. Our eco is still way too big. That's Our armies are just so pitifully small because our eco is so colossal. More like Sofa. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of the Sofa boys. All right, so you guys have done this. Let's get back to the farms. And you guys have done that. Let's get back to the farms here. And did we actually kill the keep? You can't quite tell. Yeah, we did. We killed the keep. Nice. So we can keep pushing. Mm, China looking like they're trying to find a way through here, guys. Yeah, see, they're looking for the cheese. Ooh, there might be a cheese opening here for him. I don't know what's going on at this spot, man. It's so weird. Okay, he's he's maybe raiding into the other player? Can't quite tell. Like, is, can you get through here? Let's see. Is there an opening? There is. See, like, how can I seal that? God, how can I seal this? This is so bad. Mm -hmm. And, uh-huh. It's such a weird, clunky spot. Okay, so we might want to just reinforce here. Where the hell was that spot? Okay, looks like he's, like, busy battling the Roos. So let's continue battling with our, our boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should secure that. And yeah, you can see he's got hand cannoners now and stuff, so he's got some good quality units. Okay, archers. Uh, warrior. We can even just make warrior scouts, although they probably wouldn't do very good versus a lot of those units. Okay. So we got to be careful. Ventus is gone now, too. Okay. Things are getting a little interesting now. They're definitely getting a little interesting. So this could really go like right here, potentially, right? So we could do this. You're on top of the trade node. Oh, looks like they're fighting over something else. This is good. I'm not the center of the tension here. The archers, I need to start building for the hand cannoneers and stuff. Okay. So Maso has left the match. He was watching. The boy was watching for a while. 
We definitely need this. Let's do this. Get some more walls. Can we connect here? Doesn't look like it. Damn. Nope, there we go. All right. So layers and layers of walls to prevent flanking and back doors and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, I think we're mostly, yeah, not fully upgraded, actually. Very bronze. It's just so hyper-focused on other things this game. Okay, so let's just get mass so far. They seem like the best choice, considering how good our gold income. All right, so let's go into the Chinese base again. We have to keep the pressure on him. We'll just keep trading. I mean, he's taking, you know, losses against me as well, so. How's our eco right now? 132, dude. Oof, that's a big oof, how much eco that is. All right, so let's do the um, Siege Festival. Sure, why not? Let's start torching down some infrastructure. Here he comes. All right. So let's get you guys up on the walls here. The archers can just flee the scene while the sofa fight. Go loose formation. Okay, now they can turn and fight. Very good. Yeah, so it looks like we've gotten the Chinese army mostly broken, broken down. We can go into their base and start raiding shit now. And that's when, like, you know, battles start to fall apart is when the raiding begins. All right, Sofa, let's go find his food. We can even go landmark hunting, too. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just go landmark hunting. Screw it. Yeah, I know it's China, so there's, like, 100 landmarks, but... Once China's gone, we can try all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah, still, there's still a lot of players in the game. 100%. I could go for a wonder, but it's, like, uh, it's very risky. I would like to get more stone banks, but I just don't have too much. Although there is a stone node over here. So let's go after this. See if we can grab that. GG. All right. So maybe he's dead. Okay, this is his proper landmark. So the Rus might be coming for war. We need to cancel some of these to get bigger militaries. Muso fatty gunners. Honestly, gold, it's funny. Gold is like one of our less important resources. The Rus are definitely scary. I don't know if like killing the Chinese is... Yeah, we need to. They're really close to us. Teal is um, trying to secure trade of his own, but he's not currently... Oh, Teal's going to go for a sacred victory. That's what's going to happen. You know what? Let's let the Chinese live a little bit longer. Because I need... The Rus are going to go for a sacred. That's their plan. I don't know who else is still around. Yeah, Rus are trading. We need to deal with the Rus. Going to leave you alone. The new blood is going to get some peace here. I don't know if he can stabilize now, but at least he's been weakened. We need to go see what's going on with the Roos here, 100%. Okay, so let's build the walls. I could go wonder in the corner, but again, I need to make sure the Sacred isn't going to counterplay me. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, Vice Bro is still in the game. Myself, Ominous, Dark Age Rush. Okay, there's still a lot of people in the game. But we need to hammer the Roos. So we, we'll use the Siege Festival as needed. Which it's needed right now. Alright, so we're going to go do this. We're going to torch down all these buildings really quick. I'm going to get our Sofa Raid going. And you guys should jump on this gold. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. Let's get some, uh, some Siege up here. Alright. So just torching down all this shit. Okay. Look, look, there's a mass army of shitty horsemen. Look. I'm just like crap to your horsemen, guys. Holy shit, that's funny. All right, let's... We're going to get burning oil here probably, but I think we need to kill this. We need to like remove the keeps or else we're not going to be able to maintain momentum. China could backdoor us. That's for sure the case. But Teal is like seems to be the other strongest player. So I need to um, neutralize him before we go. Yeah, before we go too crazy. Did I get all my upgrades? Yeah, looks good. All right. It's down for the count. All right, so let's just run. Do a little bit of raiding here. Gather up the boys out front. Get archers against Streltsy. And I, I want to go, like, find his base. Like, see where his empire actually is. Okay, here's his trade network, which is good. We, we definitely shut that down. He's got a couple spearmen nearby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool, so we just took down, like, ten traders. Let's get a couple of you guys going to finish off that one. We gotta just crush his economy while we muster another push. Alright, let's go see what his base looks like. More traders, more traders. Some of you guys go over there to the farms. Let's keep going here, pull a couple of you guys to go attack this eco. 
It makes it much harder to defend if you do that kind of stuff. If you like split up your pressure like that. In the meantime, we're just gathering a fat army here. Yep. He's losing a lot of trade, losing farm eco. We're, we're definitely going to set him back to the Stone Age a little bit. So far, just such a good unit. They're really good. Okay, looking solid, looking solid. He's losing a lot of traders. Let's keep going. All right, that was a pretty big economic hit, I would say. Um, we're still taking out, taking stuff down here. Let's get into his, his uh, keep running this way, but send a couple over there to the farms. Do this. So this is going to screw like everything up for him, 100%. Guys, maybe don't five me, one me. Well, you know, it, it's you've you've uh, you've clearly done something to draw the ire of everyone. The new blood is playing possum. He says, "Don't hog the center." Yes, don't notice the fact that I too also am hogging the center. Okay, these guys can just chill here. We've got that going, so a lot of his his food is going to start suffering pretty bad. Let's go to gold. Grab you guys. Is he attacking me now? He might be. I'm not sure. What's good is like we did enough damage to China. Now we can like focus on this, right? And move you guys down here. Move up the main push. He's got bombard cannons and shit. So do we, I guess. All right, let's just trade with his main army now. Wear these guys down. All right, let's go explore and see what we can find out. We definitely need to push him out of the middle though. Let's make some warrior scouts. China might still be around, I'm not sure. Let's make some rams. And start like ram signing the Chinese base a little. Yeah, nice. We got some good damage here. Okay. Spears, just cheap spears are good. We got that TC. Dude, he has like five TCs. Oh my god. Yeah, pushing into the middle definitely can make you public enemy number one if you're not careful. Okay. So Fa, please. The Chinese ram sign is coming. He's making a lot of... Dude, he must be so rich. He's still producing already this way. Yeah, so he was getting rich like me from the middle. Obviously, the cheap, shitty warrior scouts can kill uh, artillery very effectively. Okay, he just lost a lot. That's nice. So we can't go for a wonder whilst he's still sitting on the sacred sites, right? All right, let's get you guys to get these traders down so they don't bring the gold back. Got to cut off that, cut off that cash cow for him. Guy's red. Well, red, red's probably cackling too. Red is rich. I'm sure he is. So am I. All right, let's do this. Buy a little bit more of this. He should, if I were Teal, what I would probably do if I were in his shoes is abandon the middle completely. Just be like, screw the shit. I'm going home. I'm taking my toys and going home. Yeah, he's coming with a big army now. So clearly he'll be he'll be pretty strong here. Okay. Okay, looking good. So wood is a little getting a little bit low. And these guys need a more efficient wood wood harvesting. Got to make sure to stay on top of that. All right. So now we can start actually demolishing like parts of this area. So first thing to do is to kill the keeps. Blue is here just with the haggard, the haggard stuff. Don't do it. Don't do it, Blue. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you, I saw your, your feudal age horseman eyeing me like a piece of meat. Okay, looking good. So we got to shut down his trade, shut down the sacred play. Okay, it looks like it's been adequately shut down here. All right, so now what we can do is we can start some fun business back here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh So you guys just do all this. Try a little bit of funny business. Got to start, you know, getting our plans going. We obviously will need to buy more stone, which is fine. Do we have any more gold around the base? I think we do, so we just go harvest that. Take down all these roost keeps, man. Yeah, he was he was really rich. <laughs> I I too have been in the desperate typing situation, yes. When you know it's going bad and Okay. See that. And uh, then this can go like so. Cool. 
and uh, then we're gonna need one here. God, it's so hard to get that like perfect, perfect trade going there. Cool. So hopefully we could just, you know, make sure they don't get the sacreds. We need to have everyone punished heal. Okay, so let's attack into the Chinese base with the Haggard Rams. You guys ready for this? The Duhast comes for China. That was that was just like, you know, to put a little bit of a dent in them. Okay, Blue is trying to harvest here. He's coming for my culverins. Nah, culverin, whatever. Let's just kill these bills. Keep pushing him back. I love that, like, Blue is just the dark king of just these, like, potato age units. It's just such a meme, dude. Yeah, we're going to get, like, a pretty good defense down here, I think. What we need to also do is get a lot of siege workshops. Siege workshops are, like, the most important thing for these type of defenses. Uh-huh. So let's just do this. One, two, three. You basically, like, the real cheese is just spamming uh, mangoes and stuff. Dude, he's, he's straight up using feudal units. I love it. It's just so hilarious. China has grenadiers, which are doing a little bit of work. But the rams are actually getting into his base. <laughs> we have to kill the Chinese infrastructure. Okay, how's army looking out front? So whatever. We have just like kind of a, a little mishmash of random units. Okay, so we got him uprooted, which is nice. Yellow's base, I think, is more or less destroyed. Help me. <laughs> Who's he? Who is he asking for help? Okay. Red, help me! Red is attacking me! Dude, totally Palpatine right now. I, I feel like the Sheev. I definitely feel like the Sheev. Okay. So we pushed him out of the middle, which is good. I will, I will not be denied gold forever. Oh my god, he's like, I will not be denied gold forever, brother. Alright, let's, uh, let's do a little something. something. Alright. So let's go hit the Chinese base in the meantime. And we know Blue is just kind of chilling with not a lot. And, uh, all right. Let's do this. Should have waited for workers to get a little bit closer, but it's okay. Now we need to just push the Chinese base and put some hurt on them. Keep them from uh, mustering a def attack against us. We have to crush the Rebel Alliance, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Finish this off. Let's build the gate here first. It's going to be more important. I don't think anybody sees the wonder yet. Oh man, my cannons. Well, I need to replace my army anyway, so... Cannons aren't really good on the defense, so... Okay, so let's just gather our troops here. Dominus Dublet says, oh no. Oh yes, oh yes, is what I say. Okay. Yes, looking good. All right, so we got the entrenchments coming. Get you guys building towers all over the place. Wonder. Yes, yes. Let the hate flow. Good, good Anakin. Use the torch festival. Kill their bases quicker. Torch the Chinese base. All right, so you guys get on the gold here. We got a bunch of workers here chilling out. Okay, it's like seriously starting to lag now, which is hilarious. Okay, wood is getting a little bit dicey though. We actually probably want to focus on wood. So we can make mangoes, otherwise we are going to be a potato. Uh, do we have any other wood sources? We do, we actually have some over here, a little bit safer. Yes, raid the base, leave none alive. Where are they all fleeing to? I'm not sure. Well, anyways. Well, uh, we got the dreaded Lord of Horses here. He's, he's ready. I think we just straight up make mass so far. Because they're just like, they cost the two resources that we have the most of. And yeah, I don't know what we're doing here. I guess we're just killing landmarks. It's fine. I wonder what uh, the horse lord is going to do there. He could get into my base and cause some havoc. We're going to start massing mangoes back here too. All right, cannons, cannons, cannons. And uh, there should be, oh, there's actually, see, this is why it's a good thing the traders were doing their thing there. Because I would not have realized that there was a breach there. Killing the barbecue doesn't really do much for us, but yeah, still causes some problems. At least he's not, he doesn't have like food eco right now. Oh, the Lord of Horses! Meet Shadowfax, the Lord of Horses. Can you guys unite? Oh, I love it. I love it. 
They can unite, yes, of course they can. Of course they can. Alright, so what do we want to do? Let's gather some wood over here in the meantime. Keep the mangoes coming. I'll push Shanner, says Dark Age Rush. Look at that. The Chad plays. Alright, let's go kill the Horse Lord stuff here. Looks like China is going to be able to defend itself. Fire Lancers definitely could cause some problems, but we're pretty entrenched here, I think. Alright, so let's do this. Like, we need to secure all this, too. Let's go kill the, the Horse Master's army here. Looks like there is a big push coming in the middle. Uh, we should probably get those mangoes up and have them help, honestly. We could build more back there. Alright, so let's kill all these, like, Potato Age horsemen. Looks like someone's trying to cut through here. Ooh, that's actually a little bit of a vulnerability. Yeah. Just don't block me so I can push. We have the this uh, this breach here. Yeah, we need to go get that stat. One, two. So let's get you workers. Take a couple of you guys and have you get in there. We have a, we have some weaknesses. Okay, right, we took out Blue's Haggard Legion. Let's make some archers. Uh, Muso Fatty, the gunners, are probably going to be more pertinent, actually. I can clear from the sidelines, says China. Look at that, dude. China coming in with the help. Are they not going over there? They are. Okay, good. All right, so we, we hammered that army down. Let's take our mass sofa and just see if we can steamroll these armies. If they don't have spears, it should actually be a steamrolling. The sofa are pretty scary with their imported armor. All right, so let's just make these guys. Let's attack. What we want to do is just look for siege equipment. So we just go after siege. And we just killed a bunch of blues workers. Okay, he has culverins, which I'm not too concerned about. The bombards, though, are another thing. Without bombards, whenever you're defending a wonder, you always want to do this. Just kill those each if you can. Okay, so we got that down. Looks like one. Not going to get the other one. Let's do this. Do we want to attack into this army? Can we actually win it? I don't know. I don't know if we can. And uh, let's make you guys. Looks good. China. Yeah, see, China's trying to... China's trying to get real cheeky here and, like, lumberjack through our shit. All right, do we have more reinforcements coming? I think we do. In the meantime, just keep the mangoes coming in the back, and uh, we want to get towers upgraded. So towers, towers, cannons, all the good stuff. Yeah, now he's pushing mid. We should be able to fight off just red for sure. And uh, yeah, see, this guy's trying to lumberjack through, but thankfully I built a second wall, so it wouldn't be so easy. Very, very cunning. Very cunning. All right. Ooh, we got some stone here. Nice. The things you find out in the late game, you know? All right, let's go push this army back. I think we can kill it. I think we definitely can. So do we have any vills nearby who could actually help repair this? I think that's going to be more important here. All right, so let's drive back the Red Army, see if we can. China's pushing from the side. Hopefully we adequately uh, punish them. Looking good. So we managed to hold on to the keep. Um, the other players have yet to kind of show up. There could be another one over here, 100%. So let's do this and just start on this. Uh-huh. Yeah. That looks like a good little wall. It's going to take a while to build, but it should be fine. All right. So keep the villagers there for repairs. Push out. We need to hit the Red Army while they're not prepared. Looks like they're... Oh, they're killing each other's stuff. Nice. That's what I like to see. Ooh, big shots there. All right, let's get the mangoes into the archers. Like, tightly packed archers there in the back. So far. This is where the cattle come into play, man. All right, let's make some more bills for the farms. Purple's trying to trade there, but it seems like they're not working together. Culverin's killed a lot of my stuff, so. All right, so the towers are still being built in the back. Got a lot of dudes on wood, which is good. That's what she said. Turin is... The, I'm definitely a Palpatine in this game. Ah, oh, look at this. Teal's, Teal's looking to sneak around here. I knew there would be a little flank pressure coming at some point. All right, so let's pull back. Yeah, this 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 engagement here is kind of kind of not good. We'll let them like overextend and then we'll do like a big a big push. Great, so that's gonna finish. Can we connect this wall? We can't because the enemy walls are in the way. The dreaded sofa. Sofa will. Oh, he's gonna get it. X gonna give it to him right now. I think. I need to attack the wonder. Yes, you do. You do indeed, my friend. I wonder what the Chinese are planning. They've got to be planning something. Are you close? Not quite. We haven't gotten through the front yet. All right, so let's creep around the side. Go snipe the artillery. Oh, wow. He's, he's very prepared for that flank, isn't he? Isn't he? All right, so let's get a couple of you guys. Go get the bombard here. Get a couple of you guys. Go after this, this, and this. We can also build warrior scouts. Uh, let's get the gatehouse going. And then build this down. Cool. 
So we killed all the Bombard Cannons, I think. No, there's still one there. Yeah, there's still one. So let's make just shitty Warrior Scouts, just to save resources. And uh, we don't have much food, so now it's basically like... Like artillery defense spam. What the hell is this? A cannon tower? <laughs> Red says attack. It's all me. <laughs> yeah. We need to get that farm eco back, though. We have a nasty siege ball, too. So we're going to um, mass spring alts and just, like, snipe people siege and then uh, mass warrior scouts. That's going to be, like, our army comp here. So we need to get the food back online if we can. Okay. Looks like there's a big assault coming from that direction. Thankfully, though, we are uh, adequately prepared. This one's going to take a while to get developed, I think. All right, so let's get you guys over here. And get, like, a bunch of towers up, like so. So go get that going, lads. Go, go, go. Red's going to take a hot minute to get through here, but our trade, gra our gravy train of trade is going to be over soon. All right, so let's pull back. China's attacking from this direction, but we're just going to Helm's Deep. He's got, like, just mangoes. Mangoes take, like, 10 years to get through walls. And uh, looks like... Is China... Wait, what the hell? Oh, China just has a random-ass trebuchet up on the hill. I love it. All right, Red's army's on the way in. Um, we're at 200 supply. Our eco got huge again. Classic. Just can't help myself. China, can I pass through your runes? Of course you can. Okay, they only have six minutes left. I don't think they're going to make it. I, could be, I would be pretty shocked if they made it. So let's go down here and just distract them for a minute while we get cannon towers up. Yeah, let's just get our troops down here, see if we can. So we got cannon towers all over the place. Gonna lose some bills, which will probably do me good. And uh, we can get culverins here too. Alright, so the bills are trying their best. Let's get a couple of these horsemen riding in, and just jump on all of his artillery in the back. Just the sacrifice while the gunners continue to fight. We just ignore red now. We just ignore red. Like, there's there's not a whole lot. We're gonna, we're gonna pull back and do a more centralized defense. Okay, we didn't get on his artillery, so it's going to be kind of ugly. Okay, he's got a lot of trebuchets, actually. We might actually need uh, some serious defenses for this. We're just so low on uh, low on resources here. Ah, shit. There's a way through. It's a good thing I just noticed that. All right, cannon tower's coming up. We're taking our siege core out. Uh, there's no other breaches at the moment, so this is definitely the way. Okay, let's get you guys coming here. Whatever, just all hands on deck. And let's get our springs. We can put them in group two and then uh, group three with this one. So two can go here, 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 here. All right, so this is where we push them back. Okay, that looks like it's pretty good. Blue's, holy shit, blue is the Rohirrim, dude. Okay, I think the teal push has been thwarted. We're just like straight up lumberjacking them ways into our base. I love it. All right. So now we pull back here. We don't give a shit about the other landmarks. Let's go get these trebs. If we can. Cut the bills, I think. They could just mine this gold, I guess. Whatever. Gold is good. All right. Take down as many of those as we can. Yeah, I was <laughs> shopping a wonder wall because maybe it's going to be the wall that saves me. Because after all, you're my wonder wall. All right, so we're chasing those guys down. And, uh, yeah, now we just pull back. Trebs might be able to range us, I'm not sure. We gotta definitely fight and just spend all this gold to get, like, cannon towers and just be super obnoxious here. I love how the dreaded traders are just going under fire. It's amazing. All right, so, yeah, we got time. I mean, our bases are getting torched pretty good. Um, we got the garrison there. Looking okay. Oh, there are some vulnerabilities. Okay, let's just do this. Yeah, I do have some vulnerabilities, which I don't want to say out loud here, but there definitely are some. I think we killed a lot of the Trebs. I don't think he's got too many now. I think the traders have done their part. It's time to free up supply. Okay, we need some houses. Okay, let's buy a little bit more. Oh, I don't have a trade post anymore. They straight up killed uh, the trade post I had. Nice. Two and three. They're moving. Taking their, taking their time, man. Taking their sweet time. Okay. Do we have a trade post yet? Soon we will. The traders can bring back the last of the gold, and that's going to be it. 
And uh, then we are chilling. Okay, let's build some keeps here. We got cannon towers all over the place. We definitely have a lot of in uh, static defenses that are quite good. See? Yeah, they're getting the job done here. All right, Sofa. So you go attack this army, I guess. No, the other armies are getting rather danger close. So we need to uh, we need to get back like in our entrenched defenses. Cannon. Yep, let's do it. Got the culverins out. He's going, man. They're going for the kill. They're definitely on the hunt. All right, so let's get some uh, big bombardments. Try and lure them into the cannon towers. We'll see if we can. I don't know what kind of actual uh, siege equipment they have. Yeah, we have a lot of cannon towers here. Villagers pull back to repair if need be. Got to be careful not to overextend. That's a lot of arty. Yes, it is. All right, pull back here. And set you up here. Go, team. Gather up. Wow, we have like no houses straight up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I could actually die. I don't know if I... Yeah, my wonder... I should have put a, something down here. Like one of my uh, my landmarks. But it's not going to be easy. Okay, they destroyed that. So let's get this going. How are we looking in the main base? I think we're okay from this side. Oh, God. It's all collapsing on me. Those are fire lancers. Oh, no. I think I threw... Let's see. Oh, God. It's the end. I, th I threw by not building a landmark in the corner. Yeah, I threw. Uh, you can see my FFA rust showing. GG. Oh, wait. Where's my other landmark? What the fuck? Oh, I have a landmark down there. Shit. I just, like, got lax and threw away all my artillery. Oh, no. I do have artillery. Okay, I did build a landmark down there. No, I did. I just forgot. Okay. I just threw because I sent my artillery out to defend, so I might have accidentally just given the game up. It's hard to tell. These trebs are going to be a problem. Oh my god, I could have just camped my artillery back here and I would have been fine. But now I'm actually in danger. Okay. I, I got my traders. Thankfully, it's like on the furthest side possible. So we need to go torch all these down. That's like our only hope. Go, my minions. Okay, so just target these, target these, target these. Uh-huh, target these down. Get them! Get them, my minions! Oh, God! Oh, no! Be gone, spawns of darkness! Be gone! Go back to the shadow! Oh, God, he's getting close. 12 seconds! Oh, mangoes, attack! I don't have any bills left. This is it. Okay, I'm hands off now. This is just it. Six, five, four, go, my minions. Yes, I didn't even know I had you, but I'm happy now. <laughs> we got it. We got it. GG. Oh, that was so stressful. I almost like panicked through that. Whatever, dude, I'll take it. Dense. It was, they were really close though. See, they're attacking it now. Like they were, they were like literally five seconds away. Oh, jeez, dude. That was a game. The W. Block the entrance with your bodies. I love how, like, the battle... Dude, look at how epic the map is, too. There's just so many strong players left. Victory, yeah, baby. Dude, that's how you have to win, though, man. Just, like, cheesy trade the whole game and nobody attacking you. Or just not too many people attacking you, yeah. It worked out because the Roos were really strong too. And, and thankfully they didn't perceive me as much of a threat as him because I think he was more like in their face. So um, I thought I threw too. I can't imagine. I thought I was done. I thought that last, I thought I was going to die when that last landmark died because I was like, oh, I didn't build something back there. Then I was wait, wait a second. The Saharan Trade Network. Yeah. Oh my God, dude, that got real shady. Yeah, with a little health to spare, right? A lot of keeps. We we're very entrenched. These guys were actually going to kill these. So I might have actually been able to survive a moment longer. And if these cannon towers finished, I didn't upgrade them quick enough. What a game, dude. Who would have knew the Forgotten Saharan Trade Network? I know. It saved me, dude. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, this uh, this didn't last long here.
Okay, I, I, it would have been nice to trade this way, but uh, yeah, I would have had to go here in the Chinese base. That dude, China actually had the most broken wonder spot. Look at this shit. So, or the French, we had the French have a, a hill landmark, and they have this little like alcove here with which to build a wonder, dude. Like, good luck getting to that one, dude. Frodo did it. He got the ring to Mount Doom. He did, man. Cody, thank you so much. All right, guys. Um, time for an FFA, which I'm gonna cast. It was. You were really strong. Thankfully, they saw you as more of a threat, despite my trade. Yeah, they everyone had a pretty big hard on for the roost for sure, which was good. Who had the most gold shit? I didn't check. Sorry. Um, probably I did for sure. I mean, I was trading and had toll posts and the trade network and everything. Like, I probably had the most gold. All right, guys. Um, so let's see here. So hosting. I'll just have a go. Allied, you can go ahead and host because. I know I've, you've hosted before and you always you always do a good job. So Allied's going to host um, and we're going to do a community one. This time, let's do an island FFA. Let's do an island FFA to close things out. Yeah, we're going to do a casted FFA now. Thank you guys for joining. Make sure to stick around if you want some more hot action. You'll get to see everything this time. Uh, I'm going to just call and make sure the lady is good. So Allied is going to host the game. And you guys get in there. Any chance for a Dune stream? I could do some Dune soon, yeah. I know there's tons. I know there's like tons of patches and stuff. I'd have to redo all that. All right, one second. Just shooting the lady a text. There we go. God, I'm so slow at text messaging. It's pretty crazy. I have um. So I'm 34. I have a brother who's in his early 20s. Because my dad got um, remarried after after uh, my mom and had some kids way later. So I have a, I have a half-brother who's like, I don't know how old he is now, I think 22, 23. Dude, it's insane watching the Zoomers on phones. They're just like, they're insanely quick on the phones. The one thing I've noticed though about Zoomers in general though is like, even though they're, they're really tech savvy on phones and with like phone applications, but they're far less tech savvy than millennials, I think, on, than on computers. Because there's so like so so much that part of their generation is the phone, right? Whereas like a lot of my mid thirties millennial friends will be like the terminators when it comes to building computers and like that type of tech. Drop a like, hey and a Losi, thank you. Really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. Nomad mode means you only start with three workers. Yeah, you only start start with three workers. So Allied Trex is gonna make the lobby. Maybe we'll do some casted one v ones after this too. We'll, we'll see how we're feeling. All right. Looks good. Let's see here. All right, one second. Looking good. Looking good. Life is good. And one sec here. Cool. All set, man. Usually boomers are equally slow on everything. Yeah, that's true. I, I know a couple tech savvy boomers. There's not too many of them. Like my my uh, my stepdad, he's a he's a tech savvy boomer for sure. Like he was in the '90s, he was the one who kind of well not '90s but early 2000s. He was like the one kind of always helping me like get a computer going and everything. So yeah, they're they're, they're out there. They're out there for sure. Watching this wants me to make uh, watching this makes me want to play. Then I try and don't actually enjoy playing it at all. <laughs> you I think FFA is a whole different thing, man. It's a whole different beast. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Always oh, surprised me when people think building a PC is rocket science. It's hard. Yeah, yeah it's it, once you do it a couple like first couple times. Yeah, like you know if you put a little work in, it's not too bad. But Doctor V, always fun to watch your AOE four content. Have a wonderful day out there, good sir. I will. Thank you so much. And uh, looks like they should be starting soon. They're doing a water map. Uh, when I get loaded in, I will. Um, I will go grab some water and then we'll uh, we'll cast. And it'll be good. Are you planning to upgrade your PC? I probably should. It's like six years old, but it, like it honestly handles things pretty well. So I'm like just kind of being stingy, you know. Oh no, where'd Ali Trex go? He disappeared as soon as I, as I saw him there. I feel like Gunhounds in the game as well. Let's see. All right, well, it's probably going to be many of the usual suspects waiting to strike in the shadows. Uh, where'd Ali Trex go? There he is. Okay, so I can't spectate yet. Should be able to soon. Game going sounds good. I tried improve UI, try it out turn. Um, I don't know if I have that. Do I need to like download it? Hmm. Hopefully it won't be a problem. 
I'm trying to spectate. Do I have to get like some improved UI mod or something? Because that would that would definitely screw things up here. Okay, friend request sounds good. Yeah, I have the improved observer UI. Is that the mod? I think I have it. Okay, still still no game. I think they actually have to like get through the load screen. So I'm gonna go grab some water. Yeah, we have a tournament tomorrow night in H. It's gonna be really fun. All right, I'm grabbing some water and we'll uh, we'll jam in just a second, guys. business baby where are we at okay it's happening yeah exactly uh you know but clay it's just kind of like future proofing because there will be games coming out this year that probably will be a little bit taxing a lot of me upgrading the computer will depend on um will depend on the f if i can run stormgate well like total war warhammer i run pretty well like even with an older pc i don't think that's going to be an issue i don't think i would need to upgrade for that um age i run fine uh, but Stormgate is a big RTS game coming out this uh, in 2023, I think, that I really, really want to play, like really bad. So if my computer's too potato for that, then, you know, it might be a factor as well. My computer was very good for its time, though, so it, it, holds, it holds up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the players for today. Many of the usual suspects. A whole new set of players, so we've had... Uh, Different players for every single game today, which is good. So hopefully many of you guys got a chance to play that haven't in the past. The, the Cursed Allied Trek's loading potato. He definitely has one, yeah. He definitely is the potato king. But yeah, I'm, I mean, there's not a lot of info out about Stormgate. I mean, we've seen like stills and, and you know, like honestly, the, the, like the trailer didn't really do much for me. It, it was kind of underwhelming. But um, if it's a good RTS game and it's well designed anywhere in the vein of StarCraft or WarCraft 3 in terms of quality and it's new, then I'm going to have a full erection for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like if you look at like, yeah, I don't know. It's just the, the trailer wasn't that fun. Oh no, somebody DC'd. Tron? Who's Tron? Oh, one of the Chinese players, huh? Well, our heart must go on. You guys just, you guys just keep playing. We lost the Tron. Oh no. Wow, an island map with no Chinese. Yeah, there's one Chinese player, but not anymore. He just dropped, so it's probably for the best. <laughs> Balance-wise, I know. No, you just keep going. It, it's going to take a while to load in anyway, so. Hey, I'm a silver gold player. Will there be a tournament for these ranks someday? I'd love that. Um, Yeah, we could. I don't know about a tournament, but um, yeah, maybe we could organize some like Bronze Odia. Although silver and gold players are pretty solid. Yeah. We'll see. All right, guys. Andrew. Holy shit, look at this mod, jeez. How do I, how do I like, oh my god, wow. Can I like move this thing around or is it just always right here over the minimap? See, that's, that's a little bit haggard, the fact that it's like over the minimap. Oh no, not China, anyways. <laughs> yeah. See, cause how can I like, okay, so we can go to, um, I've, this is my first time seeing this mod. Cinematic mode. Um, Caster mode, free camera, reveal selected player. Okay, so that looks like it's mostly the same. Reveal all. Huh. I mean, this is kind of cool, guys, because you can see the resources. What do you think? Click the small arrow. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, this is pretty good. Sorry, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a potato. I couldn't figure it out. Sorry to our Chinese player who dropped. We'll, uh, we'll try and get you in next time, Tron. Hopefully your internet is uh, holding up there. Ladies and gentlemen, spawning on the northwest side of the map, it is going to be our blue player, which is going to be, let's see if the colors match. Yeah, it's going to be Allied Trex. Very cool. Over to the west side, it is going to be our Mongolian champion, and this is going to be Uravity. To the southwest, it's going to be our home champion, the Gunhound, the mighty lord of hosting Age of Empires tournaments in our Discord and community, so shout out to Gunhound here. It's going to be Mongols. Due south, it is going to be purple. It's going to be Professor Finbar. Holy Roman Empire, getting the uh, the Jesus wood. I'm going to be gathering it at turbo speed with these inspired villagers who are going to be gathering resources 40% faster, which certainly feels very, very good. 
Now, over on the east side, it's going to be the French. It's going to be Nani Yori. Nani Yori coming in, going to be trying to get that uh, guild hall, get a lot of stone, and have some fun. Live and direct on the far east side, he is going to be the Malians. Malians, of course, have one of the most dreaded navies in all of Age of Empires. They are absolutely terrifying for some godforsaken reason. I don't know why. I think it's because the Siege Festival building um, applies, like, damage. Like, it buffs the damage of your cannon ships because they count as siege. So your, like, navy gets, like, an insane damage bike, which is really, really good. And this was the Fallen Chinese Empire, which I would uh, I would wager, yeah, like, colonizing this island would be super strong. And it looks like that's going to be the case. We do see CCN, uh, CNN here trying to build a, trying to build a early dock, maybe creep across with the ship and do a little bit of scouting. We'll have to see. We'll have to see it. Yeah, this UI is kind of interesting. We have a lot of information, like, right in front of us. You can certainly see, you know, who is really banking what, how everyone's food's looking, all that neat stuff. But are there going to be any island invaders? Who knows? Mongols are pretty good on island maps because of piracy. So if you guys haven't seen this upgrade, they do have the piracy upgrade. So they get 25 wood and 25 gold when they sink an enemy ship. So Mongols typically want to get very aggressive on island maps, just get, like, a ton of, like, cheap arrow boats and go sink fishing ships and just farm them for bounty. It's very, very lucrative, and Mongols also get infinite stone in the late stages of the game with the White Stupa. So that's going to be giving them access to infinite cannon towers on islands and all sorts of stuff, good stuff like that. So Mongols definitely can do well, and trading, of course, uh, Mongols don't do bad at trade. So No colonists yet, very, very early on in the game. I think we do a little bit of fast-forwarding here to catch up to the live uh, gameplay so we can match the current action. So here we go. Uh, another seven or eight seconds. There we go. And it looks like we're more or less live. Should catch up here at this point. Now, as far as islands go, I mean, definitely Live and Direct has the best island. If we're looking on the southeast side of the map, oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is so unfair. Oh my god. Live and Direct is just the dark king of wood. That's what she said. And, like, look how pitiful this island is. Down to the southwest, we have Professor Finbar, and he, like, literally his whole base is, like, almost in cannon range. He's got, like, these little, like, patches out here and then, like, this, but that's it. Holy shit. Dude, look at this dark wizard of the wood in the corner. He's going to be very happy. I mean, nobody else has wood. Like, this guy up here, um, this is going to be, sorry, I'm getting used to the new UI, Allied Trex. He has uh, just, you know, a decent little patch, but not much. That is an insane, insane amount of stuff. Well, no colonists yet. Nobody's getting too crazy. You definitely want to do it pretty soon. We do see the council hall coming up. I wonder if Council Hall is the right landmark. Probably is, honestly. Yeah, because being able to muster Longbowmen really quickly for like a naval invasion or a landing force, I should say, is, is probably pretty prudent. Whereas like the healing isn't going to be as relevant. Now, the real question is, could you actually park the Council Hall or the, Council, uh, the Abbey of Kings next to the water and does it heal your boats? Because you could actually get the English landmark, park it on the water and have it like healing your navy constant, constantly, which could be very, very good. I think that's a strong play. We'll have to see if anybody does that. Now, still no colonists. Mongols just kind of chilling. We got fishing going here. Gunhound, um, is he playing the water? So Gunhound doesn't really look like he's playing the water, which, yeah, he'll get a faster age too, potentially, than some people, but I think it's a big mistake by the Hound. Uh, the Hound definitely wants the water, although he's playing very conservative here. It looks like he's just getting pastures and playing a land-based economy, which will... He's going to be very, very behind, but, you know, the one thing is he could be playing possum. He could be hiding and, uh, you know, doing the Bronzodia schemes to try and throw his opponents off, because... You know, building docks is like getting an extra town center, basically. Like, these are all, like, villagers, efficient villagers working. So you just fall massively behind if you don't play the water on uh, these maps. Now, on, like, a small 1v1 map or something like that, there's more of a justification to, um, to you know, play land versus water if you're trying to be aggressive and get a faster castle and maybe push somebody's water to punish them or kill their docks. But um, I think on this map, you always, always want to go for that. Allied Trex putting some scholars in his dock. To get it going a little bit more efficiently, which is pretty cool. English here doing their thing. Up in the east, we do, have, of course, have the Malians. Malians on their island looking mighty cozy. A little bit unfortunate here with his first uh, pit mine. He's not going to be able to surround it with houses, so a little bit of a downside there. But doing some shoreline fishing isn't bad, so he is going to be getting uh, good, good fish. Shoreline fishing is actually a very efficient um, way to gather food. I believe it's one of the faster gather rates as it pertains to food gather rates, so... Here we have the French. French uh, do have the Chamber of Commerce, which is good. If you guys haven't seen this, the Chamber of Commerce acts to all traders and trade ships return 30% more resources to any market and or dock. So this is pretty cool. All of your French trade ships going to be bringing back more resources and you'll be uh, pretty happy. Over here, Holy Roman Fishing Fleet. Holy Romans have some okay ones. They have the fire station, so military ships heal um, when they're out of combat. It's okay. It's not bad. So Holy Roman ships have like passive healing out of combat. And it looks like there was a colonist ship that maybe landed up on the island here. Let's see. There's definitely relics. 
I think he's just scouting with the colonist ship. We do have the, the transport ship here. So um, it is uh, it is just looking to do a little bit of scouting here. So we will have to see. Transport ship's chilling. In the back, we get the Mindverk Palace. Hmm, I don't know if I agree with this. I guess you do get the cheaper upgrades, which is nice. He's getting marching drills? What the hell is this? He's, he's like hard teching to marching drills, which gives the speed of infantry and religious units, including your, your pastors. So he's, is he trying to get the dreaded prelate with the faster movement speed? I feel like Aachen is just so good. Like an Aachen like here next to your lumber and, and this and also late game for just having food. But mine work is it kind of becomes dead weight. Once you finish all your upgrades, it's just kind of a crappy landmark that doesn't really do much for you. So really, really curious play coming in here. I'm not sure what Professor's up to. Now Gunhound is finally going to be taken to the water. He does move up. He sets up his dock. Good to be setting up fishing. He's going to be very behind though. Very, very behind. Like some of these players are just rocking so many resources and will be basically rocket launching into the castle age and very good play here by cnn so cnn is moving down here he is going to be oh my god he could whoa low the villagers but he's setting up towers on this island to kind of uh you know plant his flag here this is a pretty sparse island as far as wood goes but it's not bad still a couple big wood outcroppings there's one here one over on the far east side so there are some options and he can certainly grab some of those goodies archery range is coming up we do have the uh the mosque here Looks like uh, Delhi, one of the weaker factions on the water. What does Delhi actually get? I think they get extra arrows on their ships or something like that. So yeah, it's okay for like early control and things like that. Delhi could for sure do a big fishing raid. They could like send all their fishing ships down here and try and crush their opponent, Gravity, out of the water. I mean, Gravity is a very scary player. He's a Conqueror level player. Very, very good. I believe he's Conqueror now as well. He's, he's, not, he's not like me. He's not like a boomer who was Conqueror once and isn't now and just kind of clings to his former glory. He actually is legit still a Conqueror, so... Yeah, he can, he can get these boats pull back if he needs to. Probably use his dock. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, Mongols, I would wager the Mongols are going to steamroll the Delhi at water and probably just take their island down. Like, I don't see it going terribly well for Delhi. I mean, that depends. If Allied Trex builds compound of the Defender and builds a bunch of keeps on this island, it might be enough to dissuade the Mongols from wanting to attack him. But Mongols want to get aggressive. They're going to want to take over your island, burn all your buildings down, and use it as, like, bounty, right? So... Oh, look at this. Okay. So live and direct is going to be landing on the island here. So live and direct here, setting up a tower. He does have a villager here. And both players, I think, are going to be going after that island at some point. Typically, what you'd want to be doing is building like a TC on that island. I think that would be the way that you really, really want to jam, but we'll have to see. Allied Trex has reached the Castle Age. Mongols in the Castle Age as well with the uh, step readout, which is going to be giving him a ton of gold. It's a shame that you can't pack the step readout up and uh, sail it across the seas to grab more gold, but it, uh, you know, it's still. Three big gold nodes there on the island. Is Delhi going to be building a navy? That's what I'm curious about. Like, who's going to be the first one to build a navy here? Yeah, okay. Exactly what I thought. Uh, he's going to be going for mass lancers. Okay. And when he gets lancers out, he is going to be uh, doing a landing invasion probably on allied tricks. That would be what I'm expecting. I mean, he could go for his Mongolian neighbor down here. Um, Gunhound is only age two right now. So Gunhound is pretty behind. Um, considering he went for a food economy on land instead of water. Here, it doesn't look like there's any big conflict. Just a prelate trying to grab relics. Did he get one? Let's see. So, Professor Finbar might have been able to grab the relic. Let's zoom in and check. And there it comes. So, Friar Tuck was able to grab relics off the island, which is very good. Did he get Regnet's Cathedral? Please tell me, for the love of God. Oh my God! Burgrave Palace! Bronze Grave Palace! Oh no! What's going on with the Burgrave here and the Mindverk? Okay, maybe he's straight up looking to kill someone. That would make way more sense to me. With like this mine work opening that he's going to try and land over on Nani Ori's base and maybe just go bananas. I mean, the French are really unprepared for it too. Like if the Holy Romans just... Oh no. Guys, the Holy Romans are gathering a naval, a naval pressure squad. Yep, we got some men-at-arms in there. We got the relic going in the dock here as well. How many men-at-arms do we have? So Burger Palace is producing a lot of men-at-arms. So they'll be able to kind of pressure the French potentially. Uh, we haven't seen the Mongol invasion yet. Yeah, Lancers are coming out now, so Lancers are on the way, so there's going to be pressure coming in. Most Mongol players just pass Lancers. I don't know why that is, more than other civs. Like, it's not like their Lancers are super unique compared to, like, French ones or something like that, but... Dude, the French could straight up just die here, yeah. If the Holy Romans just get a landing force, like, off, like, with, like, maybe, like, 20 men at arms. Yeah, we see floppy hats coming out. We do see the mace upgrade, the heavy mace is coming in. The French are not prepared. Um, they don't have a single military unit. Honestly, I think the French would maybe die. It looks like he's trying starting to build walls, but... It is an incredibly expensive endeavor to wall your entire island. Like, really expensive. Something that you usually don't do until, like, in late Imperial Age or mid-Imperial Age. Um, so, yeah. More men at arms on their way out. Burger Palace going to be pumping these bad boys out. Over on the northwest, we do see the Holy Romans here. Or the, uh, excuse me, the Mongols grabbing relics from the islands as well. 
So not the Holy Romans aren't the only ones doing a little bit of a theft on all these islands here. As we do see an expansion, a colony coming in from live and direct. Could to be getting a Malian colony? Going to be grabbing some stone, which is very, very cost effective on these maps. Nobody's doing naval trading yet. And here it would appear that we do have another shaman from Uravity who is going to be going after this relic here. But I don't know if the wolves are going to let him have it. This is, uh, this is going to be brutal, man. That is a lot of pressure. So where is the Ramstein? Is the Duhast in full effect yet? We have one boat filled with religious fanatics there, ready to go. And uh, the French have yet to build more military. They have an archery range and a stable. So it looks like he's going to be building a little bit. Oh, no! Is he going to make it? Come on, Friar Tuck! Well, that's not Friar Tuck. That's something else. All right. That's Genghis Priest. Okay, Genghis Priest gets in there. And he's going to be sailing to the other island. Oh, my God, the wolves! Your Avity, no! Oh, my God, that's so funny. Oh, get there! Get there! Dude, your Avity just barely getting away from the wolf pack there. Just barely. Oh my god, that shit was hilarious, dude. Is he going to be trying to steal a relic from this island? He might be. I think Gunhound already got his relic? Or maybe he didn't. Oh, I think he might have taken the relic from Gunhound? No, he hasn't. Okay. So, is du is it Duhas time yet? I don't think so. Um, Burger Palace actually stopped producing units. And it looks like the Holy Romans actually have a big navy, too. They actually have some, like, hulks and demo ships. I mean, they could really, really just pound the French here. Like, the French could be sent back to the Shadow Realm. The French are being really greedy. I mean, these are trade ships bringing back good resources. If the French are allowed to get this trade going, dude, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be pretty big. So, over on the west side of the map, it looks like we do have our dock coming down. And uh, now your Avity is going to be building his transport fleet. So, I think my wager would be in the next, like, 10 minutes, we're going to see two people dead. I think in the next 10 minutes, there's going to be two people dying here. It just depends on where the Holy Romans decide to invade. So we get more floppy hats coming out from Professor. Uh, he does have what appears to be one relic, but he put it in his dock, so he's not going to be getting a ton of resources from that. A little bit of a contested fishing. The fishermen shaking their fists angrily at one another as they kind of bounce back and forth. Yeah, they should have used that relic to convert the wolves to Christianity or uh, whatever their religion was. No, that was actually the Mongols, so it would have been something something different. A lot of knights loading up, guys. Double relics for your avidity. That's going to be really, really good. On top of that, Separate Out is giving him a ton of gold. I guess the reason why Mongols go for Lancers is because they have a huge gold spike in the uh, Castle Age from the Step Readout. Where's our hero, Tuna? Uh, probably smurfing somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. somebody. So, Tuna was one of our tournament winners, Angelic Tuna, last week. But he's for sure a Conqueror Smurf, so he basically was cheating, you know, unfortunately. It's a shame because it was a really cool narrative if that was actually a Silver player, but I don't think it was. It was probably a Conqueror player smurfing on that account with the micro and control. So, yeah. Sadly, probably somewhere else cheating, which is a shame. But alas, we now have an official rule in our tournaments that if, if you are, like, smurfing is banned. So hopefully uh, it won't happen in the future. It's not fair because, you know, people need to know who they're playing against. It's part of the variables in FFA, right? In a 1v1, you know who you're playing against typically. So thank you for the donation, though, Clayton. His play was very fun. It was very, very fun. But, um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure that was some Conqueror player. I have my suspicions, but, you know, who knows? There's no way to prove it. All right, so Double Town Center coming up for Uravity. That's going to be good. That will give him a lot of the hard wood going down here. So he's going to be able to clear off the wood on his island. But where is the... Oh, Gunhound, no. Gunhound, not like this. My 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 good friend Gunhound here. He has one haggard dock shooting at these. Oh, Gunhound, no. I see a couple crossbows coming out, but that is not going to be enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this, Gunhound. Well, hey guys, on the bright side of things, at least Gunhound is going to be able to rejoin us in chat soon. Our, our One of our favorite people to chat with is going to be back. Now, what is the Duhas doing? Duhas is just kind of chilling. I thought they would be invading somebody by now, but he's straight up going for the kill here. Gunhound does have, have, have a couple crossbows. He's going to be able to obviously fight back a little bit. Um, but yeah, Gunhound is basically dead. So he is going to just get run down by these Lancers. Uravity is coming for blood. He wants his island. He wants the bounty. And he wants there to only be one Mongol player in the game. Gunhound basically lost all of his villagers trying to repair the TC. Oh no, poor Gunhound, not like this. The French are trading, dude. If nobody stops the French, Nani Yori could actually become very, very strong. And Nani Yori might actually... Okay, Nani Yori can actually save the Duhas now. Nani Yori's greed hasn't gone punished, and there's like stables with a keep in the base. Um, honestly, those the French, depending on the micro and control, are going to be very, very scary. Crossbows are good against knights if they have support. Uh, they do a bonus for heavy, and lancers are considered heavy, so that is a variable to be taken into account. Yeah, your is for sure going to be very scary this game. Yeah, he is. They might have to unify against your He's a very, very skilled player. 
All right, so now we see the old Lancers swarming in. Good night, sweet prince, as that uh, deer son is going to pay the price. Or Mongolian Lancer is going to be heading down uh, his Mongolian rival's uh, crossbowmen back here. So the, those guys are down. Gunhound desperately trying to build towers, but Yuravity's going for the kill, 100%. Um, does Gunhound even... Yeah, he's got separate out here, so... But yeah, that's, that's a really strong play because now he can torch all these buildings for bounty, for the Mongolian bounty, and he gets all this wood. Right. The Duhas should save Gunhound. I do not know what the hell the Duhas is doing. Yeah. Professor Finbar looks like he wants to invade. He better stop the French, though. The French are going to become straight-up tyrannical here soon. Like, they're walling their entire empire. They have the best trade in the game right now. Nobody else is trading nearly as good. We do have a big English navy, though, the galleys. The English have shipwright, I think. Oh, they have a new one, Admiralty. That like, increases the range of combat ships by plus one. Oh, that's really neat. But rest in peace. Oh, look at Gunhound. No. Not like this. Oh, Gunhound. No. Well, he's going to be rejoining us in chat here soon. So GG to him. Well played, Gunhound. We appreciate you, dude. You had to battle the Dark Lord. Now, in the center island, we got the White Stupa. This is going to be the landmark for the Gunhound, but I don't think he's going to get it in time. He's been building that for a while. You can see he's been... Two workers have been building this. That would be really funny if he gets it, but I don't think he will. It's going to be really, really close, actually. So 4,000, that's going to be a long time, and this landmark is going down. No, the Hound isn't going to live today. I think it's the end of the road. He's trying to build Spring All Towers here to save, to save his landmark. Oh, no, Gunhound. Not like this. He was so close to living. He was so close. Oh, no, he's dead. He's gone. Gunhound, we appreciate you, dude. Well played. It, it's, it's a tough fight, you know, going against the Conqueror level Dark Lord next to you is, is oh my god, your Abity is just going bananas. Look at this, look at this naval force he's going to be mustering here. And look at that, oh my god, the Duhast. No, Duhast, don't land here, it's not worth it. Go, go to the French. Okay, so the Duhast is landing. He might have actually been coming to try and save Gunhound. Gunhound says I was 10 seconds from my landmark. Hey, Gunhound, were you, like, negotiating with the new host here trying to get him to come help you? Or did he just, like, show up randomly to come and kill you? I'm curious about the dynamics of this fight here. But, yeah, the French need to be stopped. They are just trading like crazy. Oh, it looks like they were. Okay, the hunting canoes of the Malians have struck. So, live and direct has struck out from the lands and has shut down the trade. It looks like the trade post has been compromised. So, now the French are going to be uh, set back a little bit. As the Holy Roman Expeditionary Force is going to be moving in. Yeah, you'll feast in Valhalla. That's right, man. That's right. Don't worry. We'll get him tomorrow night. We'll get the big W. Don't you worry. All right. So there's a Wololo going down. Look, he's stealing the workers. Oh, but he was supply capped. So only he gets two of them. Okay. He, 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 he chose only the strongest of those villagers to, uh, to join his horde. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So, yep. Yeah, just like that. Your Avity's going to flee. Look, the Holy Roman's coming in to avenge him. I don't know if they have enough. The Holy Roman army is pretty decent here. They do have some men-at-arms with maces and more and more guys piling in. I don't know. This is not bad. Just a random-ass fight with no stake and no real, like, you know, bad things for either player, really. The Holy Roman army going to be doing some big damage, but so too with the Mongolian horde. And it looks like the Mongols might barely just edge this one out. It's going to be incredibly close. But the Duhas landing force is, uh, is definitely not the main part of that guy's force. It looks like for uh, Professor Finbar, it is going to be the navy that's his big strength. Wow, talk about an attrition fight, man. Yeah, it looks like the Mongols just barely win it, but um, both sides take massive casualties, so that's going to be pretty painful. Yeah, all right, guys. This is where it gets real grim bones. We have um, Uravity just bananas trading here, and Blue is just like a hermit nation here. I'm not sure what Allied is doing. Is he going to be trying like an a Delifant like invasion? Uh, okay, men, men at arms and two elephants in that boat? Not much, dude. Somebody needs to stop Uravity. This is, this is, this is brutal. This is like straight brutality. Island maps, got to practice those. They're very different, Gunhound. Yeah, if you don't go water early, you typically just lose. So the Malians have controlled red. The hunting canoes of doom are here. Uh, do they have their cannons? Uh, burst attacks, we'll have to see what weapons they have. No, those are just the hunting canoes, right? So, yeah, man. And there's going to be a naval fight. We're going to be having the Galeuses fight against the dreaded canoe legion. A couple uh, demo ships do turn the peninsula. Going to be blasted by these uh, big French warships. Good night, sweet prince. You'll be missed. But this is just pure filth. This is pure filth. Yeah. Gravity is, is a dark lord. He's that. He's not even Sheev, dude. Sheev would be, like, pretending to be weak and wins in the end. You know? Well, I guess he could be, like, Palpatine when he, like, owns the whole empire. Like, after he's already, like, you know, more or less taken things over. I think that would probably be the way to do it. 
But the trade ships, back and forth, back and forth they go, ladies and gentlemen. And we do have the big legion of uh, warships here, of red, looking to battle the Malians. And a big colony as well. So the English set up the Berkshire Palace here, which I really like. Actually have their own little wall network here to uh, hold back what appears to be Live and Direct's little uh, Malian vanguard force. So yeah, England's kind of chilling, but it doesn't matter how much you're chilling. If, if you don't have like... England needs to have a lot of farms. Oh, shit. Oh, England just got invaded by someone. Oh, man, we missed that. Okay, it looks like Delhi must have invaded England. Yeah, Delhi invaded England, guys. Check it out. And they actually plowed them. Wow. Okay, I was wondering what was going on here with Allied Trex. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on there. So down to the south. The Duhast needs to go crush this. Like, the Holy Roman Navy is actually really strong and can totally kill the, the Mongol Navy right now and punish him. But right now, like, he's just banking resources and basically taking an extended vacation. So once again, Delhi's going to be landing here. Uravity sitting at, yes, somebody in chat pointed out uh, that he has 170 villagers, which is pretty insane, including his trade. I think that counts the trading ships and all the eco. But England has a backup base, man. I mean, they have the Berkshire Palace here, which is not going to be easy. They also have navies. Oh, God. Sneeze is coming. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, it's like one of those like teases, the tease sneeze, where you can't quite get it out. Oh, man. That one's just going to creep up on me, and, it, and I'm not going to be able to stop it. Yeah, Uravity is Baron Harkonnen. That's a more apt analogy, I think. Just like straight up oppressing everyone, yes. Dude, because Mongols get the extra resource too, so they get wood and gold, which are standard for uh, natal trade. And they also get a little bit of food, which is nice. Dude, this is just gross. Does he have a pasture economy back at his base? Looks like wood. I think he's getting all of his food from trade and fishing. More docks coming up, dude. Uravity is just going to take over this game. I wouldn't be surprised if he built a wonder. Because like, there's like little squabbles going down here. Like We see the Malian Navy is actually... Um, Probably going to be able to defeat the French. Like, Malian navies are just, like, super strong. I don't know what it is, but, yeah, they're they're doing pretty well. You can see just blasting through. French navy getting absolutely crushed. No, I'm not playing in this game. I played in the previous two FFAs, and I wanted to do a casted game, so I'm not playing in this one. So, down goes the French navy. And, uh, once again, Uravity. Let's look at the bank's resources. Yeah, dude, oh, my God. He's just... he's And he's spending it, too. He's, he's, he's going to be super rich. Um, the highest gold is actually Allied Trex right now, but that's just because he hasn't spent too much. Here on the base, we do have the Delhi fonts just kind of running through the English base, certainly causing some havoc as they tear down all the houses and the farms. England's going to want to get some farms going to get the infinite gold, but I mean, Berkshire Palace will make it very tough to finish them. The English also have hulks. They could have their hulks come and uh, punish the navy, maybe. I don't know. It looks like there are some Jebeks and warships. We'll have to see. In the meantime, all is peaceful here between Allied Trex and Uravity. I think Uravity doesn't actually, um, I think Uravity doesn't actually fear Allied Trex. I don't think he fears the Delhi. So that's why he's not kind of messing with that. He's still torching down Gunhound's old base. And look at this, the Holy Romans. I like this a lot. Really good play by Professor Finbar. Professor Finbar gets a couple uh, prelates to motivate these workers. And he is just taking all the lumber off this island with a keep. This is incredibly smart and very, very cost effective. So well played to Professor there. And now the Duhas is moving, um, pushing back the Malian Navy. But they really, really need to... Somebody needs to take on the Mongol trade. Um, Malians, are they trading also? I don't think so. I think these are all just like military ships that are coming out. Malians obviously just having a field day with their uh, with their harvesting of the wood here and just, you know, living their best lives, that's for sure. Direct and, and Nanny are trying to unite. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Um, I don't know, like, the thing is, the players in the game don't have the knowledge we have with the vision, so they don't know that the Mongols are trading like that. Unless, like, Allied Trex calls it out and says, like, hey, he's, like, trading, like, with a million chips, and then people believe him. Allied Trex has, in games of past, you know, kind of played, uh, cried wolf, right? Where he's, like, said somebody's trading, but they're really not, and things like that. So that's the thing. When you play that game too much, will people believe you when you actually need help? We'll have to see, ladies and gentlemen. So, Doc's being torched here. Looks like Delhi has fully plowed this English base. And it's a pretty nice little island. Still some resources left. We got like a big stone node. We got a gold node. Definitely would be worth Delhi sending like 20 villagers there. So now we're going to be having the English trying to fight off the Delhi. They do have their giant Karax, which are, you know, pretty cool ships. They do have extra range. They have the galleys as well. And the battle at sea is on. It looks like CNN is probably going to win this little skirmish as he does get some demo ships in there. No, it doesn't look like it. Those are actually just the dreaded fishing boats of England, but England's going to need to set up some farms and score some goals, hopefully. Come on, England, score some goals. So they continue blasting away, getting some decent pot shots into the Jebeks that are going to be fleeing. In the meantime, Uravity continues to become even more of a Dark Lord as he has 17,000. 
Uh, I think your Abadie's just straight up gonna go, oh, I knew it! What a Chad. He's gonna go for a wonder with like everyone alive, dude. I love this so much. Gravity is such an aggressive wonder player, and he like pulls it off too. Like there was a game the other day he won where like I think one person died and he just went for a wonder and ended up winning it. It was pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. So the Hulks are on their way over, and we do see the big warships. Uh, the Duhast is. I like that the Duhast is coming to try and stop them. The Khan has fallen, and uh, now you know the Mongols are gonna have to produce a navy. Like their greed could be their undoing. But maybe your Abadi just goes for a wonder right now. He says, screw it, man. I don't give a shit. I'm going to build a wonder. Like, you can, you guys can have all this. This is a big mistake if the dude Haas pulls back and doesn't come shut down the trade. That is a colossal mistake. Uh, he needs to get up there, and he needs to put some pressure on him. Um, understandably, maybe he's a little bit concerned about his French neighbor, but the French aren't trading. Nobody else is doing naval trade. Um, it looks like there's a fleet coming over to help. The Holy Roman fleet is really massive. Like, it would take the Mongols a massive amount of effort to try and shut that down. Like, a massive amount. Big trade going down as well. So somebody asking where the Mongols get their stone. Mongols do not need stone to build a wonder. Rather, they need extra resources of wood, food, and gold. So they, I think it's 9,000, whereas um, every other civilization is six, uh, six for every resource. The Mongols don't need stone for their landmarks, but yeah, you guys get the picture. So it looks like there's a little bit of raiding going down as we do see some of the trade ships starting to go. The Malians are going to be crushing the Mongolian trade. So I think Gravity has uh, kind of accepted his role as public enemy number one. And is going to be... Yep, look at this. See, he's upgrading cannon towers all up in his base. Oh, man. It's going to be some pure filth, guys. Here comes the fight. Demo ships on their way out. Will the Navy resolve? Oh, brutal. All the demo ships hit like one boat there, guys. And yeah, the Duhast actually flees. Well, the Malians are going to be taking over the torch. Check that out. So the Malians here are going to be just karate chopping all the trade, which is going to be, uh, you know, setting back the Mongols a little bit. Gravity is going to be forced to actually build some things, so he won't be able to kind of just greed as much like he was. The Malian Navy probably can beat these Chads. I mean, there's only six Chads there, and this is a pretty sizable Malian Navy. A lot of people get kind of scared when they see Chads and don't fight, but the Malian Navy with their cannon ships can definitely do some big damage. You can see big, big damage going down. One of the ships is uh, lit on fire there. But the trade has efficiently been shut down, but now the Chad Navy is coming out, guys. This is where it gets really scary. Yeah, the reinforcing Chads are going to easily win this fight. And the fact that the Duhas decided to go somewhere else and play some Ramstein uh, elsewhere on the map is probably going to let Uravity uh, take over this game. Because if the Holy Romans had come and helped close Uravity out of the water, it would have forced Uravity to go for a wonder, which then everybody could unite and maybe have a good chance. But now um, he has time to get a bow Chad Navy without any pressure, and you can see he's just gonna he's just gonna crush it. Chads are like probably the scariest ship in the game. They're not as good as the Chinese Chads because they don't have Nest of Beasts on top of them, which is just like the most overpowered shit ever. But um, they're still very, very good. So on the other side of the map, the Holy Romans would lose now. They would actually lose to the Mongols. I mean, they have like some decent, you know, Karaks, galleys, and yeah, like decent warships, but they would they would struggle versus, uh, versus this. All right, guys. Uh, it's time. You guys ready for this? The, the Bao Chad's probably going to start harrying the coast of other players. Allied Trex uh, stealing all the gold from this island, which I do like. Live and direct in the meantime, not trading, but enjoying all this wood surplus. Just totally comfortable. Just so much wood on this island. And, you know, there was a lot of trade that was killed. There was a lot of trade that was killed. I think he's down to 10 traders now. He had a lot more before, like up to 30 or 40, if not more. Yeah, the Chinese Bao Chads have nested bees on top. Yeah. Shit, Abity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he definitely is. Your Abity is a really good player. He's a really cool guy, too. All right. Big Bombardment's coming in. It, yeah, you know, that, that can kind of be a, a bit of a talking point. A lot of the, um, we've hosted a lot of tournaments, and the people who hands down get salty and complain the most and make the most excuses and this or that are always the, like, high-level pro players, you know? But Uravity is a super high-level, you know, borderline probably on that level, but um, he never, like, he's not, he doesn't complain, he's always a good sport, but it's always, like, the professional players who are complaining, even if it's just, like, a one-on-one. -on -one. And they're losing. They'll find some excuse. But whereas, like, whereas you get, like, these guys, like, yeah. Your Avity's, like, a great bastion for the community is what it, essentially I'm trying to say in terms of personality. All right. Voodoo Man. 1v1 Community King of the Hill you casting. Yeah, man. We'll do it. That'll be a lot of fun. I, I don't know if we'll do it at this stream. It depends on when my, when my wife gets home. Um, we're we're going to uh, go get some dinner together. But um, I will do that on another stream. I think it'll be really fun. Just casting 1v1 games. Dude, thank you so much for the 20. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Keeping keeping the old man going during the holidays. Nothing too crazy, honestly. England just scoring some goals here on their island. Um, they need to get some farm set up. 
Far- English farms like game, infinite gold, good food. England is basically just where I was in today's first FFA, where he's just going to be kind of a, kind of a, kind of the island rat. Yep, Bowchad Navy. What is it up to? Bowchad Navy's chilling here. Looks like he's got his villagers in the island. Going to be trying to grab some resources here. The Holy Romans do have an army here, so you know the uh, the Mongols won't be able to take the inland without landing a force. Which I don't know if your is going to do that. I don't think so. Yep, more cannon towers going up. Obviously, the wonder is going to be going down here in the corner for sure. <laughs> that's funny, Gunhound. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, all in, all in good jest, I'm sure. So yeah, good game. Honestly, the Dew Host is just kind of sailing around. They're just doing a sightseeing tour, which I suppose isn't bad. They could trade, but the French... How's the French Navy looking? The French don't really have a Navy, honestly. I'm surprised the Holy Romans aren't being more active. I'm surprised. Turn the Mista definitely seems like... Yeah, the Mista's a really nice guy. I've actually talked to him quite a bit. When Age first came out, I was casting more like kind of pro games and doing EGC TV and things like that. But um, the tricky thing is, you know, it's... um. When I would do those streams, I wouldn't be doing as many streams on my own channel, right? So I kind of like, I prefer to do stuff on my own channel, which obviously makes sense, right? Because it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's the way. It is the way. So big galleys doing their things. But again, if there was like a, if they had invited me to like Red Bull Wololo or something, I would have totally like gone and done those types of things. But for like those other community events, for sure. All right, galleys, boats, just hanging out. Holy Romans, just not really caring, man. I wonder if they're finally going to clash. I mean, they have a good navy, but... The problem is all these archer ships are going to be useless. Like, the chads are just going to absolutely obliterate them. Like, absolute unholy obliteration is going to be going down right there. Yeah, Gunhound's giving us updates. Live is calling on Professor to soften your avidity. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. We'll see if Professor's going to do it. He, he's definitely, like, feeling the pressure now. As we do see some wood being stolen. Um, how's the wonder situation? Your avidity is actually not that close. Oh, that's why he his resources are low. All right, guys. It's time. How well will the players gather up? And will they be able to take down your avity? I personally think your avity will probably find a way to hold here. He's definitely going to get shoved back to his island, assuming everybody plays together properly. Allied Trex is going to have to stop his blood feud with the English. He needs to get these and start landing here. Like a big elephant jumbo squad up on the North Shore would be very, very strong. And we do see some villagers going as the Holy Romans are going to be hunting them down, making sure they don't get their business going. And now the Dew Haas is going to be moving in. Yes. So here they come. Your Avity's got the wonder, ladies and gentlemen. And it is time. So big, big shots. His galleys and all these boats going to be dropping some big bombards on the coast. Uh, you know, that's basically the end, right? The, the Malian Navy is going to be able to take on the Bowchad fleet. Or at least, like, the Bowchad fleet will be softened up by the Holy Roman fleet, most likely. Yeah, killing the transport ships, killing all the fishing. The trade ships are basically uh, dead in the water. And the Malian Navy is sweeping through and killing all these things. So this is it. Literally nobody has died except uh, the, the the legendary Gunhound. And uh, yep, now he's just, he knows what he needs to do. Just mass Pringles, mass Mangonels, and Lancers and just defend. Defend your wonder in the back, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see. Now, is there a wonder timer built into this? That would be pretty cool. It looks like there's relics. Um, I don't think I see a wonder timer. Let me see if there's something. I guess if we go like this. I don't know if this mod has a wonder timer. Eh, a bit of a shame. So we'll have to keep tabs the old-fashioned way. Can somebody notify me on when the wonder is going to be going down via the replay? Oh, your avity's been really scary. All right, big fight here. The Holy Romans got the numbers, though, man. They're putting up a good fight considering the circumstances. They also killed all of the docks here. And the Malian Navy is making sure to sweep uh, your avity off the water. Just shutting down everything. We see transport ships coming out, but that's not going to work. As the Holy Romans also took out the villagers on the island, and uh, it's it's basically it. The die is cast, which is a really, really cool expression. And uh, it looks like the navy is going to be going down. The Chad Navy will maybe finish off the Holy Romans here, but the Malians will soon discover it. And the Malians will come across and uh, get him. So, um, somebody in chat asking where he is getting his gold from. Uravity was getting his gold from the relics he has. He has three relics, and he, he had a lot, sur- a lot of surplus, but um, he's going to quickly devolve into a horseman spamming situation. Because he has... Only the only source of gold income he has is coming from the uh, coming from the relics at this point, and of course a little bit of piracy that's going down. But the Holy Romans actually fight them pretty much to a standstill here, as the Malian navy really, really just ravages the coast. But here's the thing: a lot of players get such a hard on for their navies that they don't actually build a landing force. Like once your avity is driven out of the water, everybody else needs to get a landing force going. You have to start building that type of infrastructure, or else. Like, look, he's, he's got a, a doom stack. This is how you defend, dude. This is like straight up 101. You can hit the UI button to the minimap to cut it off. Oh, I can? That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, <clears throat> look at that. All right. 
So going to the Wonder Timer. Thank you, Gunhound. 12 minutes and 33 seconds. And the Malians are bombarding from the shore, but the Mongols can simply pack up any buildings and move them over to the edge. I don't see anybody getting through gravity. I, I think Allied Trex may be going to be building up an invasion. Okay, good on Allied. Allied's doing the right thing. He's building cannons. He's building men-at-arms. The French are also building up a landing force, which I love to see. But um, unless they're really coordinated, I think your Avity is going to meth methodically stomp them with the uh, 11 Mangonels and 12 Springholds that he has. Can Balachads do spin to win? Yeah, I think so. I think they shoot from both, both sides. All right, so the docks are down, and uh, we got demo ships coming in. Yeah, absolutely no reinforcements. Villager is going to be hustling back towards the Wonder to repair it. Uh, all of these, every single one that you see that has the little windows open, like the little window panel, has a cannon in it, right? The other ones do not. So not all of them are cannon towers, but... A pretty substantial uh, amount. And it looks like he still actually has a gold vein here, which is really big. Wow. And he actually is going to be getting the step read out over there. So that's that 4,000 gold is going to be so valuable for helping him to uh, get through this game. A little bit of a naval fight here. Uh, obviously, it's hard to avoid as the Holy Romans are just kind of parked on the shore. You know, a little bit of a naval embargo, but you got to delete. Um, you got to delete these guys. Spin to win is gone. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Chris. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, you definitely got to delete all this. Yeah, this is not. This ain't gonna do it for you, man. It is not gonna do it. That is for sure. So we got 16 villagers coming from the Malians. I like that. I think that's a good idea. Like set up on the on the shore and like build infrastructure so you can start producing an army there with like some siege. Um, where is Delhi's invasion? Okay, Delhi has seven bombards. They have some Jebeks. They're definitely gonna want to build some infrastructure there. I'm surprised they're not bringing any villagers. It looks like they're gonna do the old-fashioned ferry system. And uh, now navies are kind of going at it, doing a little bit of a scrap, which is fine. I guess it frees up supply, whatever. Maybe it'll kind of uh, help the players go. And demo ship's going to be attacking as the Holy Roman's going to be landing a Dew Host Force, but it's going to get just crushed. Gravity is just going to crush this Dew Host Force because there's no supply lines. It's just a couple troopers, which sure, they might kill a couple archery ranges, but when you're doing island invasions, you secure the coast with your boats, you build infrastructure, then you, uh, you, you can delete your navy at that point and start building mass military. And, and, you know, that's how it needs to be done. Setting up a keep is a really good idea, too. If you're going to be doing a sustained siege on somebody um, on an island map, like, clear the coast with your navy and set up a keep and then build infrastructure all around that so you can't be pushed off the uh, island, which is obviously the way. So, that did not go well for Allied Trex. Oh, my God. Absolute disaster. Allied Trex gets just driven to the seas. And... You know, every bit of units that you actually kill here is pretty big, right? Your Avity's got nine minutes left, and this is the play. Live and Direct is doing the exact correct play. Secure the coast with your navy, build a keep to keep yourself from being driven off, build mass infrastructure, push. This is uh, this is really, really good. So we'll plan to get together for 1v1 King of the Hill and some team ranks. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a King of the Hill stream. We'll have, um, yeah, maybe we'll have a ranking, like, threshold. Like, we'll have to figure out a way to do it. Anyways, Holy Romans at least are killing some units. If we go back to the UI here, we can switch back to that. You can see that Uravity is very low on gold. So, like, every good unit that Uravity does lose as it pertains to, like, knights and different things like that is going to be, like, not insubstantial. Um, but, yeah, Holy Romans need to gather a, a massive Duhas fleet and just land. And they need to bring villagers. The only person who's sieging, like, super well is uh, the Malians here with Live and Direct. Like, because now he can mass Sofa and he could just push. That's really good. Sofa can catch the artillery out of position. But uh, they're really running out of time, and they didn't kill that many units. Uravity still has 12,000 food, but he's really running low, like, on wood and gold. Which means he's not going to be able to replace most of his military, like, straight up. So villagers are coming. Good good play there by Professor. Um, we haven't seen anything from the red French player yet. Okay, now he's coming. Here we go. This is what I like to see. The French coming in with a pretty good navy and villagers. So, yeah, the players are doing good. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. I, I, I understand the English not doing much. Oh, uh, but even then, okay, I eat my words. The English are coming too. It seems like every player here is uh, doing a good job. They're all getting over there. They're all wanting to help. And, you know, even if they're they're trying. Yeah, very, very good by Allied Trex. I love it. And he's also torching down some of the buildings here. If he gets his keep up, that would be a really big power play for sure. Um, that would that would be incredibly strong. Holy Roman setting up infrastructure, but again, without a keep, they're going to get driven off the island. And we see the keep coming up. Is Allied going to get it? It probably will go down to the Mass Megan else, but still, you finish it, and you cover with your warships, you repair it. This is going to do a lot of damage to this army. And he does have burning oil, so it's going to start killing the good units that Uravity has. And then Uravity is going to be stopped with mass artillery, and his actual army will be gone. The Jebek warships should really just bombard here. Really, really nice play there. That was very good. That was really, really good. Beautiful stuff. So Uravity losing a lot. He's he's running very barren resources. Just mass siege now. 
And we do see Sofa coming out. So Sofa trying to get and uh, shut down these units. And he's going to be producing his own cannons. And your Avity's going to be forced into the corner. Holy Roman's also getting a massive amount of infrastructure here. The Order Tide has come, dude. The Order Tide has come. The French going to be landing over here by Allied Trex. Allied Trex is going to be setting up a second keep. Um, it looks like there is some cannon fire from these uh, shooting in here. But these towers, obviously. Oh, it looks like he's going to lose this one. He might lose it to the cannons. Oh, that would be a shame to just lose a keep like that. The other keep, of course, very, very damaged. Uh, he doesn't have much room to work with here. But here comes the French landing force. He has zero Landsrad standing, Major Mulla. Yes, that's very true. The, uh, the, the Emperor here, Emperor Christopher Walken, is coming for him. The French force, pretty good. Definitely going to be able to hammer down some landmarks, guys. And you know what's actually a bit of an issue? Is uh, he better start hiding his, his landmarks back there. Because he could lose his landmarks here if he's not paying attention. Like this TC, which is his main one, is going to go down to the French here for sure. So the French have landed, guys. The Order Tide is upon us. Let us go back to the Wonder Tracker. We've got about six minutes left, so the Order Tide is going to be setting up some infrastructure here. Dude, the Deerstones, the White Stupa. Oh, shit. The White Stupa can't be moved, can it? Or can it? It should be able to. Yeah. And look at that. The Holy Romans are here. They got trebuchets, guys. This is going to be a tough hold from your avity, ladies and gentlemen. The French have landed, though, and every little bit of effort matters. Like, even if the, he gets pushed back here, it's still buying time for other players to kind of get some work done, right? Dude, this could be a throw from your avity. If he doesn't pull his landmarks back, okay, he notices it. He notices it. You need to pull your landmarks back and hide them back by your monument. Yep, he does it. That could have been a throw. That could have been, like, one of my plays, for sure. So they're driven back, but the Malian Navy doing some good work. They have gotten cannons. They got Sofa coming out. Um, definitely not much room to set up infrastructure on this island. And now they delete all their warships, which is the correct play. Uh, don't want to be bombarding the French. It's very, very tough to work together when, like, all of your armies are kind of bunched up. Allied Trex probably going to be gathering... Uh, he's got nine trebuchets. Allied Trex actually has a lot of trebs. He could land. Allied should be landing and sniping these cannon emplacements. That would be the strongest play for sure. So Wonder Tracker's at five minutes and 38 seconds. Holy Roman's moving up and uh, taking down some of the hand cannoneers. And now we do have the Holy Roman trebuchet squad moving in, slowly pushing back the cannons. The deer stones are still active, and here you can see the step readout is being hidden in the back. As the Holy Roman Navy getting a couple kills, or military, I should say, not Navy. And uh, they're going to be going down to the mass artillery, though. But that mass artillery could be compromised, for sure. Now, where are the trebuchets? Uh, we definitely need to see those from Allied. Allied needs to get them in and just start killing these towers. That would open up pressure for other players and allow the siege to push in, right? Holy Roman's kind of trickling in a little bit. A lot of cannons coming in from the Malians. Malians do have a very, very scary force. This is all micro from your Avity, like doing good micro here. And it uh, looks like he does get the Trebs. Very good play. Holy Romans need to start stop using Reaganomics and trickling in. They need to gather their resources and distribute them a little bit more effectively here. Uh, as they are going to get pushed back. More towers blasting into them. And a couple of Haggard Spearmen going in for the old prison shank on that hand cannon here. So where are those Trebs at? It looks like he's getting more and more Trebs. Allied Trex always does that. He'll always roll in with like 30 artillery pieces. And now you can see the uh, forces of gravity are forced back into the corner. The three nations or two nations have secured a foothold. The French have a little bit of a foothold, not much. The English, uh, I think, are coming. Oh, the English Dreadfleet. Here they come. All right. They got four minutes and 18 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a tight hold, dude. On, like, this is such a Mongolian style hold. Yep, towers are being taken down by trebuchets, which is really, really strong. We see Mangadels, or excuse me, Spring Alts coming out, but like every piece he loses, he's not going to be able to replace. Cannon Towers moving in. He needs to get the sofa on top of these right now. Okay, Spearman get on top. Gravity might lose a couple pieces here. Looks like he does lose a Spring Alt. He might lose another Spring Alt here. Every single one of those is a really, really big deal as the Spring Alts are getting popped, and now it's just going to be Mangadels holding. Wonder Tracker is at 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Trebuchets are moving in. It looks like they might be able to get close. Those Bombards need to start shooting at just random shit. Kill the towers, kill whatever. And the Spring Alt numbers are really low now. Now there's only a couple of them, and there's no way in hell he can uh, afford to remake those. All right, guys, we got the double uh, Trebuchet squad coming in. As the Holy Romans are just sending wave after wave of troops in, truly using attrition tactics. The Malians setting up more stables here. The French also gathering a little force, which is being killed by some friendly ships here. Oh my god, dude, look at that. Three minutes and 18 seconds. He's got four Spring Alds left. The spring all does go down, or the trebuchet in the back. More and more spearmen just coming out. Just like a survival challenge. Oh my god! Look at this! Allied Trex! Allied Trex with the steel chair! Oh my god! Oh my god! Allied's gonna get him! He's gonna get him, dude! Oh, he's trying to repair! Here comes the next wave! He's out of wood! Oh my god! Allied Trex got him, dude! Allied Trex got him with the steel chair. 
And with that, Uravity is basically dead. That was his gambit. Holy shit, what a play by Allied with the mass trebuchet land. Cause like it was not that far, right? He just needed to get right there. Wow. Wow, that's, so yeah, for Uravity now, he just sits in his base and just hopes that people lose interest in him. Although, I would probably try and kill him. <laughs> Although, easier said than done. Easier said than done. I mean, he's basically dead in the water now. Like, his his eco is non-existent. Um, he, he actually has no more wood, so I don't think Uravity can even ever again get off his island. I think he's like straight up trapped here. Dude, that was really close. <laughs> allied Tretch. Yeah, yeah, he's Allied Tretch for sure. I love it. All right. Oh, the English backstab. Look at that. The old English getting revenge for earlier. Oh my God, guys, it's happening. You come at the king, you better not miss, yeah? Dude, the English backstab. Oh my God. He's going for it. Is Allied gonna be able to defend? Probably. CNN wants blood though. He's got a lot of men at arms here. A lot of the thick English men at arms and Allied doesn't really have much of a military here, guys. So that's one landmark down that's compounded the defender. We have the town center here. Um, we have the uh, Hisar Academy, and I don't know where the other one is. The Dome of Faith. Honestly, he could die here. The English might straight up just kill him. Yeah, that's a lot of men-at-arms. I mean, he does have a keep here, but that's pretty much it. But those four bombard cannons should get the job done. Dude, the Holy Romans are not stopping, bro. Look at them. He's still going for it. Okay, I think he stopped. The Mongols actually could get some wood by uh, torching all these buildings, which is really funny. All right, guys, the Mongols are moving out. Uravity's on his way back. We got the cannons. The English backstab is on. Man, that's that's the reward that Allied gets. Nice spring alts, though. He does have spring alts for the defense. So it looks like the keep might go down, though. Yeah, keep's going to probably fall. Yep. So the men-at-arms can just rush in now and torch the city if, if, he, if he knows what he's doing. Looks like he's just going to chill there for some reason. Yeah, probably gonna give uh, Allied a little bit too much time to get his bearings, because those men-at-arms could just move through and torch all three landmarks, and uh, Allied would probably be dead. But yeah, the Mongols might get some wood via torching all these buildings of the Holy Romans, and the Malians, um, obviously, are just chilling here, too. They have their keep, so. Yep, CNN with the backstab. Here he comes, torching down one of the buildings. Now gonna be going after the other TC, so he's learning the ways. He's learning that he could kill the landmarks. Although he's going to be trying to fight the Delhi army, which I think just landmark torching might be the way. English men at arms are incredibly tanky. On the middle, we have the French doing something. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on here? The French just communing with the forest? Okay, that's pretty funny. The French just... Okay, their, their horsemen coming towards that. They landed a couple villagers trying to secure the island here. A lot of wood. But um, yeah, this entire French army here, which is... I think those are only castle age horsemen. Yeah, so the French never upgraded their horsemen. They're still very, very low tier for Nani Yori. So Nani Yori really needs to do that, like stat. Um, all right. So Delhi probably holds this. They got enough spring alds to start popping these guys down. And now the English are going to be trying to torch the TC. Are the old English going to be able to get back in the game? I don't think so. Um, his main base is still plowed. He doesn't really have a good eco behind this. He's just, you know, trolling Allied basically and getting some work in there. I mean, he might have been able to kill him if Allied hadn't responded well. Uravity's still alive, dude. He's farming resources. Look at Uravity. He's got 170 wood. He's going to be able to get a transport ship. Dude, wouldn't it be crazy if Uravity came back and won this game somehow, dude? That would just be nuts. Like, after all that. After all that. The first cavalry ambush for his navy. I know, like, ambushing from the trees. Communing with nature. Okay, he's got, like, all these haggard horsemen here. The Malian's actually looking to be pretty strong now. They have trade ships bringing back a decent amount of resources. Yeah, going back here. It's not much. 66, though, isn't insignificant. Dude, and look at this. The Malians have not run out of resources this entire game, which is just absolute bananas. Professor Finbar getting nice gold here, and uh, now we see Uravity's score is still so high. I think it's because of all the siege tech he has. And yep, he has pushed him off the island. Uravity is back in business, guys. He's still alive. He's going to be setting up a dock and looking to uh, get the Mongolian power going once again. But the wonder in the back certainly cost him quite a bit. Dude, honestly, guys, I can see Uravity still winning this game somehow. I feel like he's a good enough player that Uravity could find a way to win this one. Like straight up, I think I think he totally could. So big Mangadel shots shooting downtown, going into the stables and clearing out the old invaders. And yeah, the Mongols still have a good military. They've got like a lot of stuff. If somebody tried to invade them, they could definitely defend their shores. This island, I mean, kind of belongs to the French, but not really. And now we see the Malians gonna be going down and uh, attacking the French fishing. Gonna be trying to drive the French back to the uh, coast as the, the French horse naval ambushers are here. 
to deny the bounty. Yeah, I know he deleted all that, which makes sense. So your Abity has 55 wood now, um, but he did get what appears to be a transport ship coming out, I would wager. Is that going to be a transport ship? No, a trade ship. Oh my god, he's trying to trade. LOL. Wow, dude, he's getting that trade going. I like how they're still just like ruined stuff from the old empire here as we do get a gear moving out. He actually still had wood on his island too, so he wasn't really out of that, but... Yeah, your Abadi needs to just lay low for sure. Holy shit, allied treks with a lot of trade ships. But he took a beating there for sure. He definitely took uh, took the wrath of England. England is is not out of this game. It looks like England is trying to re-secure its mainland and get their landmarks back, which is good. Allied already took a lot of the wood off the island though, so we'll have to see. Your Abadi almost almost speed 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 ran that game for us. He almost did. Now, who has crazy gold right now? Uh, CNN is actually very rich. Wow. Uh, live and direct is very rich too. 27,000 wood is like insane. He's just cackling so hard right now, dude. Like all this wood that he's getting back here is so good for him. It is so good. Gravity could invade someone. That's actually true. Like this army, uh, it, it might get overwhelmed by horsemen, but I think Allied could fight him off. I think Allied with the Spring Alds and Men at Arms diving might be able to fight him off because Allied has how many Spring Alds here? He got 13 Springs. He could definitely fight off a siege invasion. So, looks like uh, he's going to be landing some villagers, going to the center island. And uh, I love that Uravity is trading once again. It's pretty nuts, dude. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. So there he goes. Going to be bringing back 99 and 99. It looks like he does have enough for more trade ships here, as we see those being produced. So, switching back here. Yep, we can see trade ships coming out for our boy. And over to the east side of things. Live and direct, setting up his glorious Malian Empire. Setting up towers here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this? What's this? Could this be a wonder? All right, here comes the Karax. Karax driving back the trade. Going to be taking away the gravy train. The England, England doesn't want to share with anyone. They, they want to score some goals all on their own. Dude, look at the amount of trade ships, though. Man, from Allied. That's pretty bonkers. Allied probably really wants to kill the English. Like, I, I would imagine he's got a huge heart on for killing the English. Which I wouldn't blame him. Like, he, he, he got backstabbed there and... Uh, yeah, your, your white stupa is still here, Gunhound. It's still a, it's still a, a, a monument to your to your your glorious achievements. A couple of trade ships going to be coming to their doom as the English uh, blockade here. The trade embargo is in full effect. The Du Host has been very strong navy this game, just punishing the French man. Any Ori here getting the business once again. Yep, Malians going for the kill, trying to kill the French as well. So this is a good this is a smart play by the Malians because the French are a neighbor that could land on their coast if he decides to go wander. So this is, uh, I think, a very, very smart, you know, got to take out your neighbors. And Red is also being 2v1'd a little bit. He's being attacked by a big navy, uh, shutting down his food, but Red might be able to defend. I mean, he's got the Red Palace here, but the Malians uh, are setting up a keep. They have a lot of bombards. If you try and fight them near the coast, the Malian navy will punish you. But the Red Palace is certainly not going to be an easy one. The Guildhall only banking 180, so it looks like he just claimed from it. So that's not going to be terribly eventful here. As the villagers for uh, Uravity. Not sure what they're up to. I guess just taking the last wood, loading up on the transport ships, going to be trying to set up here. This would be really nice for them if they could set up on that island. And England is kind of taking control of the trade there. Yeah, trying to take control of yield trade. Allied looks like he's loading up for some sort of an invasion. I don't know what he's planning yet. He could be landing with his trebuchet legion. Honestly, landing here would be pretty strong and just killing the Berkshire. That would actually kill the English player. If you just land there with like 10 trebs and just kill his Berkshire palace, he's dead. Like, he's gone. So I would imagine Allied Trex might do that. Maybe. That would be a... He, he's obviously tried before. He's aware of the situation. He's landed here. You can see some destroyed houses. Berkshire Palace is obviously pretty tanky, but it's also... Uh, would be vulnerable to trebuchets. All right. So here they move. The Holy Romans uh, attacking live and direct. Live and direct trying to invade the French, but it looks like the invasion has been thwarted. And look at this. Oh, my God. Look at Look at your avity. He's forcefully trading with Allied Trex's dock. Oh my god, that is so funny. Oh wait, are they trading? Are they like willfully trading with one another? Gunhound, we we need uh we need to know. It looks like there's a trade agreement between these two navies. Oh my god, this is so funny, dude. Look at that. Uravity's trade ships are just getting in there and trading with Allied Trex. Oh my god, that is so. You're gonna let. I would not do that if I was allied. Like, that is a really bad idea. Uravity is too strong to be left alive. Like, Uravity is the true Palpatine now. He's been, like, you know, Mace Windu came in and gave him the business. He's laying on his back. You know, he's weak. But the problem is they're going to let him shoot his Force Lightning. And they're going to let him get back in the game. This is a big mistake. Look at that. He deleted the dock? Did Delhi delete the dock? What the heck? 
Or did somebody else? What? How, how did that die there? Yeah, he shut down the trade. I don't know if they signed a pact. Yeah, see, all the, all the that's all gone now. You do not want to let your Abadie get back in the game. He is a very skilled player. You have to finish him. You got to finish him. So the Duhost actually attacking live and direct's navy and cutting down his naval trade. But it looks like the Malian navy has the Holy Romans cornered. The Holy Romans might be able to fight them off. We'll have to see. So they're going to turn and engage. We got a big naval fight between the Holy Romans and the Malians. Dude, this FFA has been really, really wild. Yeah, the feuds have been pretty serious this game. They have. The Malian Navy, though, if they're using the Siege Festival, should be able to win this trade. Man made three wonders in our last island FFA. <laughs> Allied is Anakin. Yeah, Allied is for sure Anakin. He is. Yeah, he, he's definitely Anakin. You know, he was a Jedi. He helped to take down, you know, Darth Sidious here, Palpatine. But in the end, he's going to join him. It, it seems like that might be the case. You do not want to let this happen. Uravity is going to just get take this and come back and kill you. Like, get these Springalds down here and start killing all of your Abadie's trade ships. This cannot be allowed to happen. I think, though, it's on purpose. Yeah. So, big trading going down here on the island. On the other side, we do see the uh, naval conquest is going to be going to live and direct. It looks like he just barely wins that fight. Very, very close to the Holy Roman Navy. Holy Romans, of course, repair out of combat, which is quite good. And a, the Holy Romans do take the island here, so they're going to be getting a lot of wood. But I honestly think Gravity's in a position to win it. The English have been killed! Delhi came in and killed them. Oh, I wasn't looking. Allied killed the English. Yeah, he landed. Look at that. Allied landed nine trebuchets and killed the Berkshire Palace. The English have been dispatched. So now he needs to he needs to shut down this this theft that's happening at his docks. This trading against his will. Yeah. So now, yeah, look at this. They're just all going to that neutral trade post, dude. They're just gonna let Uravity win this, I think. If they let him trade like this again, dude, it's going to be as if he never lost in the first place. As if he never got brought to the brink of death. So, on the other side, we see uh, Delhi trading with Uravity's docks. But Uravity, it's all fun in games until he builds a navy and starts killing you again. Yeah, the English died up in the corner here. It looks like they did. So, building the little arrow emplacement, I think, or no, building the swivel cannon and some of the other upgrades for his navy. He cannot be allowing this to happen, dude. Holy Romans are doing pretty good. I mean, they have a couple islands worth of resources, I suppose. No trade, though. They don't have any naval trade. Naval trade is the big deciding factor. The French, not sure what they're up to. I think the next thing we're going to see is maybe a wonder from Live and Direct. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a wonder. Live and Direct, I, I would do that, too. You need to do it, like, right now, before your avidity gets too strong. I think Live and Direct just pulls the trigger. Nobody is really that strong here. Um, but Live and Direct doesn't have good food. So, and a lot of these are just unmanned towers. So, I guess pulling the trigger now could be a little bit precarious. Yeah, your Avity could just go wonder again, straight up. Like, he already has all of his static defenses. Very, very good point, Nelosi. Very, very good point. So, Delhi trying to get some big trade up in the north. And what are they going to be bringing back? That's a really, really good trade for Delhi. So, Allied Trex is going to be strong, too. But I don't know why he's not shutting this down. I don't know why he's not shutting this down. All it would take would be a couple warships. That's it. Although, I guess his money maybe isn't as good as we thought. Let's see. I mean, okay. I understand. Allied has no wood. He, he's got no wood. So he's not able to um, to muster a fleet to shut down this trade. Makes a little bit more sense now. All right, guys. Going to have a quick water break here. As we look around the map. Very, very good stuff from Professor. Taking all this wood on the island. That's going to be incredibly valuable. CCN says, I wanted to help the wonder, but I kept running into other people. Yeah, yeah. I saw you trying to sail over there, man. No worries. It was a good game, brother. Good survival. Good attempt, my friend. Good attempt. Big Malian Navy. I I think they're they're underestimating Uravity, and they're going to regret it. Look how rich he is again. Uravity is becoming a dark wizard. His bank is is honestly better than anybody else's in the game, except the English who are dead and Live and Direct. Live and Direct better pull the trigger on that Wanderer. Better. I can even see Uravity going for a counter Wander, hundred percent. Okay, so now the Jebek is out. So Allied is here. Trying to trying to stop it. Looks like we have a little bit of a naval conflict as the Jebek is going to be doing battle with the Bowchad. But uh, yeah, they need to fight because whoever gets the better of the trading here is basically going to win the fight, right? If your Abadie gets the better trade, he's going to kill Allied and vice versa. Look at the Trebs! Look at the Trebuchets, guys! The haggard coastal Trebs! They killed the Chad! Oh man, that was a good play. But is it too late? Has your Abadie gotten enough money to get back in the game? It kind of seems like that's the case. The Duhast looks to have a bit of a blood feud with the Malians. Going to be heading up there now as the Malian Navy looks for them too. So, two navies there. Going to be uh, looking to clash. Yeah, he's going to be sailing right past them. Just going there. 
Nobody's really going playing the Saker too much. Looks like we do have a little bit of an invasion force being planned, so the Holy Romans have a little uh, little crusade of sorts. Not going to do a whole lot, I don't think. As the Jebek is trying to shut down the amount of trade ships, it's pretty hilarious, so its DPS can't even match the amount of ships here. He's going to need to get more warships. So it looks like, uh, is he building transport ships? No, it's another Jebek. So going to be continuing to try and shut down this trade. But dude, this is so many resources. Like, dude, look at that. Stone, gold, wood, and food. Rabbity probably, honestly, is going to build another wonder, like, right away. As soon as he can, I suspect that's going to happen. Because these two are just banging their heads against one another. All right, guys. Big battle. Laggy game audio from all the action that's happening. Hard to tell who's going to win this one. The Holy Romans are pretty big. Live and direct has got the wonder. The Great Mosque is up. Now, Live and Direct wants to build a million stables and use warrior scouts for cheap food to dive artillery when people land on the shores. And, and you know, also um, the, what's it called? They're really good. The, uh, the sofa. So it looks like the Holy Romans do defeat the Malian Navy. They are able to drive them back. You know, that's going to give water control. And how well is everybody going to be reacting to the, uh, to the news of the wonder in the corner? Could Live and Direct get the W, ladies and gentlemen? We'll have to see. It's very, very possible. Although Live and Direct is going to be pushed back to the island, which is okay. The Malians do have good uh, infinite gold via the pit mines. They're going to be giving them about 400 gold a minute, assuming they have all four. And now they need to get some towers upgraded and get an army marshaled on their shores. 100%. Gravity is going to have to build some transport ships, or is Gravity going to counter wonder is the question. Um, probably going to be getting an invasion going. Let's see. So on the island here. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. Uravity's got all the wood on this island. Oh no, he's gonna take over the water again. Look at that. And just like that, Ally Trex uh, is gonna be basically his minion. Cause uh, yeah, he's not gonna be able to stop the Chad fleet. Although the Chads are probably gonna wanna help. I mean, Uravity's gonna go for this. Looks like we do have a Muso Fatty Warriors. Man, they only have 130 HP. Does he have the, um, does he have the, the university upgrades? Yeah, a lot of stables coming out. Stables are of course very good cause you can spam out warrior scouts if your food is low and you can dive artillery to try and save your landmark. So far, are also quite good for defending your shores. So far, counter uh, pretty much anything that isn't a spear, right? We're do very well against it. Yeah. So here's how. Here's my prediction. If uh, the wonder obviously has a chance of holding, but uh, if it does get destroyed, gravity wins. It's just a fact. The French are very weak. They've been weak for most of the game. They're just guild hauling resources and trying not to die in the corner. Um, the Holy Romans are good, but they seem to have trouble consolidating. Going after the right. I mean, they're battling the Malians, I guess. Nah, they're doing pretty good, I guess. Yeah. But they, like, the fact that Uravity is getting all this wood is basically game blouses if, if they if they don't kill this wonder, or if they do kill the wonder. Um, all right. So, the Malians chilling out. They have good resources. Live and Direct has low food, but what you do if you're Live and Direct is you go cheap warrior scouts, and you also max artillery. So, if you're low on food, it doesn't matter. Just build, like, five bank and owls, ten, uh, ten spring alts, you know, and just defend with your towers. That's how you want to do it. Yeah, Pink's got a landmark really, really far back here. He's got the well, the Great Mosque, but aside from that, he might be able to get landmarks sniped. Yeah, that's a really good point. Let's see. Um, so yeah, no landmark back here. He's got he's got the Griot Barra, so he does have a landmark here. Uh, he has the Frimba Garrison, the Town Center, and the Mansa Quarry. Okay, so his landmarks actually aren't in the best position. He could just die to landmark sniping. And Holy Roman's going to be doing their thing as we get the Bow Chads kind of sweeping up, killing some uh, old trade ships from the fallen English player. Delhi's trading pretty well too, man. 126 and 126. So yeah, Allied Trex is probably doing pretty well on money as well. Yeah, he's, he's pretty rich. 14,000, 3,000, 2,400, not doing bad. The landmarks here are very vulnerable, very vulnerable. Siege Workshop's gonna be coming up. And uh, yep, we got Sofa coming out, Elite Sofa. Will he be making his opponent sit on the sofa today? We'll find out. And looking at the wonder. Guys, that's like almost 11 minutes. Holy Romans do get a landing force here very quickly, though. So the Malians are going to need some siege. They're going to need some mangonels. Mangonels will be excellent against the mass bunched up infantry, especially in the choke points of the city that are kind of naturally created by all of the buildings here. Holy Romans doing their thing. I have no idea what the French are doing. Are the French even going to try and help here? I don't know. It seems like Nanny Ori is kind of Netflix and chilling here. Understandable. Just trying to lay low and just be the last you know unit to or last player to kind of get the whack-a-mole treatment. Okay, it looks like there's going to be a dot coming up. And taking a look at the UI, Nani Ori has enough wood to help. Uh, perhaps. Could just get like, you know, even just some knights or something to just start like torching buildings. Like every little thing does help in these invasions for sure. In the meantime, Uravity's here. Uh, Uravity does not have much in the way of a, uh, of a military. 
Now, maybe he's going to be landing and building infrastructure. I mean, dude, look how big this island is, like, straight up. You could you could build and set up here, 100%. Looks like he's going to be scouting that out right now, but they better hurry, man. They better really hurry. Holy Romans are... I got to say, I'm very impressed with Professor Finbar, like, how good he is on these invasions. He is definitely the spearhead of most of these invasions. Like, he sets up infrastructure correctly. He lands an army. He, he you know, is pretty heavy on the navy, but understandably so. He's fighting the Malian navy here, but... This landmark, do we have cannon towers coming up? We do have a couple cannon towers. We have a keep. And the Malian army is, is pretty okay. They got 66 of these uh, these angry uh, sword ladies here. And now we're going to be getting siege workshops. So the battle is going to be getting quite real for sure. So yeah, the trade of of, uh, of your boy, your Avity, is still just being allowed to go unchecked. What a chad. Your Avity is very scrappy, dude. Like a lot of players would have just been dead. But he found a way, dude. He's, he's, he's like nature. He finds a way to... You know when you like walk down the street and you see like a root that has like grown through like, you know, a concrete sidewalk? That's your avity right now. He's the tree. He's just, he's defying, defying the, uh, you know, the odds and just getting in there. Holy Roman keep going to be set up on the shore. Good call because there is a big Malian army. But the Malians do not want to fight here. They would get wrecked by this navy if they decide to fight on the shores. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with this. It looks like they're going to be moving in, trying to shut down this landing force before it gets really saturated. And they're going to realize how bad that's going to go with all these ships. And they're going to want to fall back here pretty darn quickly. Now, transport ship coming. Yep, very good. Gravity knows that if he can shut this down, he wins. 100%. He's like, dude, he's the Dark Lord again. He's got this all this island to himself with all the resources. And uh, I think he's going to be able to do it, most likely. They do have time. Let's see how much time they have. Uh, nine minutes is enough. Yep, we got mass stables coming out, so it's going to be Lancers for days. Gravity's bank is probably pretty gross. Uh, let's look. Yeah, oh my god. 26,000, 15, 12, and 10. He could straight up just build a wonder right now and also pressure people. Naval trade is one of the most powerful things in the game. It's insane. So Delhi coming in to help. Delhi is like, you know, the blunt instrument here of, uh, of the Mongols, essentially. Moving in to, you know, just get in there and brute force it. And yes, the stables are going to be coming up in droves. Men at arms moving towards the backfield. They are going to be running into some unupgraded towers. So none of the towers are really upgraded here. Anyways, the Malians are going to want to just run them over right now. This would be the like if they just kill all these little spring alds. I don't think Allied even has trebuchets here or any proper siege equipment. I don't think so. I do not think so. Yeah, your is going to have military infrastructure. I can assure you that. In the meantime, the French are going to help. Yeah, good on Nani Ori. Nani Ori is going to get in there. Going to get some transport ships up. And it's going to be trying to help. It looks like here we do have a you know, fair amount of cannon towers back there. And the Malians are going to be rushing in to fight. We do get the Mangonels doing some good damage. And it looks like the push from Allied Trex is going to be shut down here. Since he didn't bring infrastructure. And now Mass Lancers as well. So Lancers coming in. A couple of these cavalry. Going to be trying to take out the Spring Halls. But Spring Halls actually uh, able to fend them off. You guys remember Turbo Spring Halls from back in the day? How horrible those things were? Live and Direct might be able to get this, guys. Live and Direct's looking pretty good. He's got a nice army here. He's got Sofa, he's got Mangonels, he's got Springalds. But the Holy Roman War Machine is getting momentum. They are getting good production. I mean, this is really nice. Beautiful play here by Professor. I really, really like how effective everyone is being at Sieges. I think that the Malians might actually die just because of their landmark positioning, though. If there had been a landmark built in the back corner, I think, like, the odds of winning go up by, like, a lot. But here, like, seven minutes, but, like, it's this, this, um, the town center is already dead. And then it's basically just the, the Griot Barra here in the back. And, you know, Uravity is going to know that. Yeah, he's building siege workshops too. He's got Lancers coming in. Those Lancers are going to be torching and ca causing some problems for sure. Pasta cooked in the microwave. Tea with Slim Chips. The Smoking Hot Wife is here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Muso, Fado, Muso Fatty Warriors moving in. Big Manganel shots. Big, big burst damage. Very, very nice. Definitely need to drive back the Holy Romans here. But the Landmarks are going to be the bane of the Malians. As we do get more uh, knights moving in, just starting to torch down buildings, some Muso Fatty warriors trying to stop them. But yeah, I actually think this could have maybe been won, but I'm pretty sure that the Malians are going to die and your Avid is just going to win on a wonder in the corner. Like, I don't see any counterplay to that. The French the French are like trying to muster a little something something, but they've been pretty econo economically poor for a long time. They've been kind of trapped on their little island between the Malians and the Holy, Ro Holy Romans this entire game here. And... Uh, all right, Manganels doing their thing, shooting back, putting a little bit of a dent in the forces of your avity, but he's just going to keep building more infrastructure here. More and more knights are on their way out. Let's look at the bank resources of all the players. He has enough to build a wonder right now, and, and some. Pulling back here, this is his last landmark, and this one's going to be torched by the Holy Roman trebuchets. 
I love that trebuchets are still very relevant to the uh, to the next ages. Cavalry move again, torching the artillery. We see Sofa and Scouts getting their uh, getting their business ready as more trebs are on their way in. The Wonder is about five minutes away. There's no way he survives. There's no way. Not with the Griot Barra being so overextended like this. There is no way. I don't see it. A good attempt, though, man. A very, very good attempt, but... I'm super impressed at how well the Holy Romans were able to get their invasion force going. Ally Trex um, probably is going to want to try and backstab your Avity here. I think that's your best play. Because this is clearly going to work out. If I were allied, I'd, I'd try and backstab your Avity. 100%. Yeah. Because this is just disgusting. The amount of trade that's being allowed to happen is just so foul. And, you know, Allied is pretty rich as well. He's definitely not poor. All right, guys. The battle is on. The Griot Barra holding firm. As the trebuchets continue to push deeper into the city, we see the trebuchets going after it. Yep, that's going to be the end of the road. Man, Live and Direct might have won it. Although, man, that's a lot of pressure. I don't know. I think he would have died either way. I think it would have gone down to like two minutes. You can see a couple cavalry getting in there trying to take those down, but they are shut down here as the last landmark is going to be torched. Well played to Live and Direct, and yeah, it's looking pretty bleak, guys. That is a lot of pressure as the French get in there. You guys ready for a wonder? How, how quickly is he going to build it? Oh, look at that! Look at Allied with the backstab. I love it. I love it so much. Go for it. Oh, the trebuchets. We got villagers coming out with the men-at-arms. Should be able to cut them up. Here comes another volley. Oh, my God. Your Avity lost another landmark. Was that the original TC? I don't think it was. Okay. He immediately grabs his white stupa and he hides it in the back. Oh, my God. He's losing a lot of eco on his mainland, though. He's losing a lot of eco. Yeah. He's trying to get the trebs back, but it was a cheeky attempt. It was a cheeky attempt, but... You know, as somebody said in chat, when you try and go for the king, you better you better finish him. And uh, you didn't finish the king, and uh, I don't think Allied will get another chance. As now the Bow Chad Navy is here, the French are just torching random buildings, and uh, Allied tried. So the Step Redoubt, the Deer Stones, the TC. Wow, he was one landmark away from dying. The White Stupa was the last landmark. He was one. Ryan says I didn't have enough food to defend. You tried, dude. You tried. Had to go before Uravity the Wonder God. Ryan, well played you, man. Well played. I don't know why the French are still here. Uravity's straight up going to build a wonder right now. Yep. He just gives no shits. He's just like, screw you guys. I'm going home. Building a wonder. Come at me. So what is the Du Haas doing? Is the Du Haas still around? Yeah, they're still around. They have a good navy. So they need to go crush Uravity at the water. They need to do the same thing they did last time to him, but actually finish him this time. Like, that's the problem, man. Like, if you're playing against maybe a lower level player and you, you, you let them live like that, you might not suffer. But if you let some dark wizard like get back on their feet and sheave you then you're gonna that oh that's really good you got sheaved dude you got like shivved and sheaved it's like this kind of a good play on playing words there all right so the bow chads are just blasting allied's coast allied uh allied certainly could get in there again and do the same thing with the trebuchets assuming the du Haas can get in and uh battle their navy we'll have to see mongolian docks being set up on the coast the amount of trade here is just disgusting the french need to get in their transport ships and go back and uh and, and get the pressure going up north. Holy Romans are obviously going to muster what they can. They got their big navy here. And uh, yeah, they have a fair amount of units. Do they have any villagers in here? I don't think so. Yeah, I think Gravity just gets this, though. For the sake of turns, needs to, which is why turn needs to jam. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. I, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be over here. Gravity constructing. We do see the Monument of the Great Khan going down. So there it is. We got the step readout. Yeah, and he's just got... Look at this. Look at this. Just full production infrastructure. Ready to go. Holy Romans could go for a, a wonder... Or a sacred victory. They could. Send a prelate over there. Grab this landmark. Get this one. Go for that. And try and shut him down that way. Ah, it totally could be an option. The audio is really messed up because on aquatics maps, when there's a ton of action going on, Argel, uh, it just gets it gets absolutely out of control. The game starts to glitch. It just can't process it. it, it it's nothing. There's nothing you can do. I could turn off the game sound, that's pretty much it, and put on some music or something. But um, that's basically the extent of it. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So big shots going down here. Trade ship getting blasted. And uh, now the bow chads are going to be surging forth. But yeah, this is, this is a step in the right direction, obviously. I think he's going to go for it. Oh, yeah, the chad, holy Roman. He's going to grab both sacred sites, but not before the Chad fleet comes in and descends on him. He's killed quite a few of the trade ships. That's going to be shutting down your Avity's uh, eco there. But will the Holy Romans be able to defend the, the sacreds? I don't know. That's going to be very tough. Your Avity will probably find a way to land there and potentially shut it down. This one is a little bit more defended because it has a keep here. Uh, looking at the bank resources of Professor, 
I would probably trade and build like a bunch of keeps there. Okay, he does get it. So now there's a sacred counterplay guy. There's sacred counterplay going down, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how effective it's gonna be. Holy Roman sending in more warships. Trying to fight the uh, the big old bow Chad fleet, but it looks like there's more Chads coming out constantly. The French are on their way up, maybe? Nani Yori, okay, Nani Yori does have an invasion force. Th this is gonna be much harder this time because there's no Malians. The Malians aren't here, right? So that's gonna get a little bit precarious. What I would probably do if I were the other players in this game, I would say, hey guys, I'm not gonna help you. So I'm not gonna help with the, I, I would say, I would help the player with the sacred sites until the wonder is deleted. Because then when the wonder is deleted, you have a chance of winning. You'd be like, I'm not gonna help you with those sacreds. Although not that your Abadie is gonna need much help probably. It looks like he's pretty he's pretty well equipped for this. The Duhas is gonna be mustering another push. We got the sacred, which I think is very, very cool. I don't know, they might still go after your Abadie because your Abadie is so much stronger than everybody. He's so much stronger. Looks like the French do have their uh, their landing force here and I think they have another landing force down here. Nope, looks like that's pretty much it. So Nani Yori, just kind of chilling there. This is basically, you know, an allied. I wonder what allied's gonna do. Allied is having his coast kind of raided here by the bow chads. He's got those men-at-arms there. The men-at-arms trying to torch the boats. So it looks like the chads are going down here, which is going to give the Holy Romans a little bit more of a fighting chance. But yeah, your Abadie's going to land here and shut this down. Yep, he's got lancers. He's got guns. He's got guns. Holy Romans are not going to be able to hold this. And the keep is coming a little bit late. Not late per se, but it's just... Oh, yeah, and it was within range of the boats. Look at that! The Holy Romans have arrived! They're here with their fleet! Oh, they need to kill the landing forces! Okay, the Holy Romans are going to be trying to fight for the objective. Here they come. Will they be able to hold the point as the big war fleet does move in there? Both sides taking heavy damage. I think the army of the Mongols might be strong enough here. Might be strong enough. Oh god, the sneeze is coming. The dreaded sneeze I told you guys about earlier. Oh god. Oh, the audio is so bad. God damn, dude. Oh, cursed allergies lately, dude. They've been, they've been coming. All right, guys. So big shots going down. The big fleets are fighting, but... It looks like the Mongols are barely going to shut down the sacred site, which is pretty big. The Holy Romans will have a little bit of time to try and get it back, actually. To still be ahead of this, the wonder. But it looks like the Mongols win at the sea, too. The French, in the meantime, do have their landing force. Allied Trex, obviously, is trapped. The Mongols are just barraging his coast and really, really kind of keeping him pinned in there. And the sacred site has been taken. Oh, man. That was a sneeze. Yeah, sorry, guys. I had a heart attack on the other side of the house. Yeah, I've, I have, uh, I'm not that big of a guy, but I, I definitely have those annoying sneezes. The dread sneeze. Dude, I have, I have allergies everywhere, dude. My, I'm, that's my curse, dude. <laughs> Such a dad sneeze? Oh my god, yeah. Dad's, dude, my dad was, was not a big dude. He was like, my dad was 5'6", maybe like 160 pounds, and he had a sneeze like a 250 pound man. He was also like, a singer and an actor and all that, so I guess he just had a powerful voice in general, but... What are the French doing? What is this? They need to get over there. The French are just chilling. They're just like, all right, I don't really care what happens. Are they trying to build their own wonder here? Is this what's going down? Let's look at the UI. All right, Nani Yori, no. Nani Yori has, like, no resources, so that's not what's going down. The Holy Romans are the only one who's still, like, somewhat strong enough to fight off the Mongols, but the wonder is, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait a second. Is Friar Tuck going to get this? Before? Oh, no way. Eight seconds. No, Friar Tuck is going to be just behind your Avity. Wow. That's really unfortunate. So Friar Tuck is literally a, a couple seconds too late. So your Avity does have the timer advantage. So now the die is cast. You basically... Oh my god, the Dread Legion! It's the Dread Legion! Holy shit, look at this Navy dude. It's so fat. This game's definitely over, I think. I don't think anybody here can hang with gravity. When there was more people, yeah. But now the, the old alliances have fallen and Mordor has come back in full form. Mordor is back, dude. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't know what Nani Yori's doing. I really don't. Yeah, he's okay. He's, he's bringing some ships. He's loading up an invasion force, which, I mean, is not going to do much. The Mongols actually have all those static defenses still. The only way I can see this maybe working out is if Allied's able to get another Haggard Trebuchet snipe. That's like the only way I can see this going. The Holy Romans are putting up a hell of a fight. They're trying, but they're working against such a resource deficit. Although, let's look at the resources right now. Um, Gravity still is low on gold, actually. Yeah, his, his trade has been mostly shut down. I don't think he has trade anymore, so... 
Gravity's kind of getting to that point he was at before, where he did he his eco was kind of hampered. We'll have to see. Delhi trying to get a bunch of trebs up. We see 19 trebuchets, which is hilarious. The French, wh what are they doing? What are you doing, Adiori? No, it's the wrong island. Why are you trying to take this? Oh no, Nanayori, no. I don't think he knows. I think I think he thinks that the sacred timer is still the biggest threat. Which understandably, you know, it's a mistake, but it's not the end of the world. So he's got a good army here. He just needs to load back up. I mean, yeah, he's just taking the sacred. That is a mistake. Yeah, there you go. But the keep is down, and he does dispatch the sacred site, but um, yeah, that's not the real threat. It's the wonder here. And Uravity is not going to be having any mercy on Allied right now, that's for sure. Allied, though, with the trebuchets! Look at the trebuchet legion firing back at the bow chats. Hey, they killed one there. I mean, trebs actually can do good against the big slower warships. They, they, can, they can knock them down, especially the English ones with the shattering projectiles. All right, so the bow chad fleet is going to be forced to retreat. I don't know what the Holy Romans are doing. I think they might just be dead in the water. It seems like they ran out of steam. I have no idea what Nani is doing. Is, does he think he can beat the Wonder? So looking at the Wonder Tracker, it's seven minutes. He's, he looks like he's like trying to get a sacred position. Where, is trans where did he send his transport ships off to? Oh, they're down here. All right. So big fleet, ladies and gentlemen. Big, big fleet going down. It is a blood feud. He warned Purple to let him decap or unite. Oh, so a little blood feud. Okay. That's very interesting. I don't know. Like, I don't know if he could really do anything. Like, I feel like this fleet would just punish him. Oh my god, Allied, I love it. Allied's trying so hard. Okay, here comes the traps. They take a second to set up. Oh! Oh, and they sink one! Now they gotta retreat behind the walls before they take too many casualties. Ally oh, he's not letting that shit happen again, bro. He's not letting it happen. Yeah, you're having to won this game. There's no way. The alliance is too haggard. Like, the Holy Romans are just like... And Uravity is even more entrenched this time. Yeah, dude, look at this. They should have killed Uravity when they had the chance. They had him on death's bed. But they let him live. It was a big mistake. And then the English backstab, too. Yeah. But the English player... I mean, I understand the English play. You know, trying to kill your, your neighbor who had been getting you all game. Okay, so now the French Navy is going to sail into a keep and die. <laughs> Just losing ships full of soldiers here to this random keep. Oh, Nanayori, no. Okay, he's running. Oh, my God. Okay, he managed to salvage some of it. That landing force is so haggard. There's like, it's going to get wrecked so bad. Even by this like tiny army here. I love how Allied is just fighting back with his trebs, though. And Allied is trading well, too. He's like, he's, he's not, not a poor guy. It doesn't even matter, though. If you try and land this time, you're going to get it. it. It's easy when you're caught up in the moment to not finish somebody off. I've, had a, I've won a lot of FFA games like that, where people, people don't finish me off, and I manage to come back and get it. Yeah. Thanks for putting this together. As always, looking forward to the Blood Fuse in tomorrow's tournament. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, it's going to be really fun. So, Red is uh, not sure. Let's see. Got some boats coming in. Going to be a bit of a rude awakening when he arrives. As we see, the Wonder Tracker here is at five minutes. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's, I think they're done. Yeah. When the Malians were still alive, they had a better chance. Because the Malians had enough naval pressure with the Holy Romans that they could take down the Mongolian Navy together. But now, like, there's... I think I really think the uh, Holy Romans have run out of steam. I don't even know what they're doing. They're like sailing some villagers over to some random island, maybe to try and get this gold at this pit mine. Could be the case. Could be the case, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, you have gravity's back. There's no way this is over. This is like every one's nightmare on an island map. Look at look at Genghis Khan here, just all smug, sitting on his horse with his golden pimp jacket on. He's just like, come at me, dude. Come at me. Yeah. All right, so yeah, there's a landing force here, but dude, he, he's got a full Chad defense of his coast. There's not a single spot that anybody can land without brute forcing down his navy. So I think that's probably GG. We just have a couple minutes left now, four minutes, where we can, you know, talk about talk about fun things. Naniori means above all in English. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, is it Nani? As in what in Japanese? Because Nani is like what in Japanese. I, I have a feeling it pertains to something like that. 
<laughs> Genghis Khan being so smug with his wall of bouch as he is. He's very smug right now. It's one of the, like the funniest emotions ever when somebody's like smug. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's an attempt. I, the Holy Romans went from like just producing these fat navies to like, yeah, okay, he's out of wood. So the Holy Romans had these big fleets that were kind of keeping the Mongols like honest, but then he ran out of steam. Ally Trex is like the only one who kind of has something, but like he's not going to be able to get there. His 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 gambit isn't going to work once again. Red is just chilling here with a bunch of villagers. Uh, maybe they're going to be trying to build a wonder. Not that it would matter. It kind of looks like they're sitting there. All right, so I think that's going to be it. GG, well played. You're already trading like the heathen kings of old. Look at this. Oh, is he going to get anything? All right, some brave knights of Bretonia have landed. You guys ready to follow them? Here, let's do this. Brave knights of the grail. We charge to wrath, to ruin. Yeah, the red sun rises as they charge back. This is like King Theoden's last charge, except like Gandalf doesn't arrive and they all get massacred. That's basically what's happening here. Oh, here are the messed up game sound as well. Enjoy it. Oh, that's so messed up. Oh, and the last of them get popped off their horses. He tried. How do I get out of the cinematic mode? There's no, there's no button. Okay, guys, we're stuck in cinematic mode for the rest of the game because I, I legit lost all my UI. It's gone. Is there a hotkey? Does anybody know the hotkey for cinematic mode? We gave you guys the, the, the epic charge there. I wonder if that like had a pang of fear for your avity. Like if he thought that was, <laughs> that the game closes with the last samurai, it does. Yeah, it does. All right, let's see here. What's it gonna be? I don't know how to get my UI back. Better figure out how to fix that before tomorrow. Look at this. Look at look at the haggard try from Allied. He's trying to sneak in with the transport ships full of trebuchets. Oh my god, bro, that was so janky. I love it. Just got absolutely dunked on. T-Rex push-ups, another incredible battle. The heaving king of the, with the final charge. I know. Oh man, he's done for, dude. GG, well played. I don't know the hotkey, so we. Just, that was so bronzodia. I love it. Oh my god, the bronze charge. Alt F4, there you go, Durin. Yeah, all of you guys. Thank you thank you for the pro tips. You guys are great. I couldn't do this without you. Trebuchets are back. Hmm. All right, guys. That's it, GG well played. I don't know the timer, but it's over. It's over. The biggest mistake was killing Pink while your avatar was alive, yeah. Yeah. Next time Turin tries to play, the cinematic mode will be waiting. Dude, I can't defeat it. I can't defeat it. Look, look, one last try. Ally Trex is really a fighter though, man. He saved he saved the world earlier from the early victory. But um, he's coming one last time. It's, it, I'm reading it's control U. Oh, you did it. You did it, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Wonder Tracker, 33 seconds. All right. Holy Romans man managed to get a navy up, look at that. They're putting up a little fight. I like the I like the last minute, you know, puncher's chance type action. It's GG well played, guys. Your avity is one. We're a couple seconds behind, but that is going to be it. So I'm going to go hang out with my smoking hot wife. Thank you so much, T-Rex Pushups, for the donation. I really, really do appreciate that. And tomorrow night, we'll be back with another stream. It's going down, baby. It's going down. So that will be very, very hyped. Warhammer World Championship this weekend as well. If you guys are looking forward to that, I'll be casting on Total War Official on their YouTube channel and all that. And it should be good. That's going to be on Sunday is the Grand Finals. Yes. GG, well played. Congrats to Uravity. The Dark Lord shows why he has earned that title. I will see you guys on the other side. Take a look at the statistics real quick. Uravity crushed everyone on resources. There were some people who were close. Professor was pretty close. Allied tracks with his trade. But at the end of the day... The Mongols have won. GG well played. See you guys next time. Thank you guys all for the generous donations and support. And we'll see you guys on the other side. Take care.